Hello everybody, welcome to a big deal Kirby stream. New Kirby game dropped, so of course, of course I'm gonna play it. What do you, what do you think I am? People were always asking me, up like right, like right, right when this game got announced, like, hey, are you gonna be talking about the new? Like, are you, are you kidding me with this? Who, who do you think I am? Of course, of course I'm gonna talk about the new Kirby game. Am I? Are you guys, are you guys crazy? Of course I am. Welcome everybody. Welcome those who are joining me on this momentous occasion to another YouTube live stream. Uh, that that's pretty cool. Let me know if the audio sounds good. By the way, um, some stuff we're we're figuring out on the on the back end of things here. There 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 are a few things to hey. Oh, you're fun playing though. I'm sure you will with how big of a Kirby fan you are. Give me so much nostalgia and it's so much fun. Yeah, man. I brought I brought props. Uh, so I, I went and picked this up earlier today because, of course, I couldn't uh, rely on the mail uh, this showing up on time. And sure enough, I have uh, Octopath Traveler 2 coming in today as well. And that package has not arrived yet. So I'm glad I went and picked this up so I can stream it on time. Uh, so we got that. And as, as, as everyone knows, it's a, it's, a, it's a remaster of an old game. I brought props for the occasion here. It's the same game here twice. I'm excited. A lot of people are super nostalgic for this game, and it's an interesting little plot point, uh, or whatever, not plot point, just nugget of information that, yeah, this came out uh, 11, a little, a little over 11 years ago, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, this game is roughly as old as Kirby's Adventure was when that game got a remake with Nightmare in Dreamland and Superstar got a remake with Superstar Ultra. So it's about it's about like on the same level actually, which is which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I figured we'll stream it. Why not? Uh, the, you know, if if you haven't seen a stream before, I only streamed the Nintendo Direct previously on this channel, at least recently. Um, Interesting, you know, developments with the, the whole content side of things. Uh, for those of you who don't know, streams will be happening a little bit more. I I would say often, but they weren't happening really prior. But we're going to figure things out. If you notice on the side, the chat occasionally will freeze and then shoot up. Still figuring that part out. I don't know why that's a thing. That should not be a thing. Uh, so apologize. I, I apologize for that. And if anybody ever asks... If anyone in here is still around when someone else asks, that's the answer. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, you're going to see live streams maybe like once a month probably is the most realistic. Uh, same thing with the shorts. I know some people get a little bit upset. Very few people have gotten upset with uh, shorts being uploaded. But re rest assured, mainline video production still going as smooth as ever. So of course... Uh, this Kirby video will be happening as fast as humanly possible. I have to capture footage for it anyway. Why not stream it? A uh, couple of a couple of messages I got real quick. I want to don't miss out on. Thank you so much. I love your videos. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hope you are as well. Hope you enjoy the game. You don't have your Switch. That's unfortunate. Well, I hope you get it soon. Uh, someone asked, "What's the problem with with shorts?" I don't know. It's it's weird. It's it's an additional form of content. Um. That's just me doing what I normally do, but in a less than 60 second window. Some people have taken issue with it because I've done it, like, more often than proper videos. But that's, I, it's just, it's a different world. It's something, something different. Uh, but mainline videos are still happening, so don't, don't worry there. Um, I don't want to waste too much time here. I, I want to get right into the game. The plan for today, um... Because I want to get this as done as fast as possible. Is I, I definitely will be beating the main campaign today. Should take probably like four hours or so. I've I've already played this obviously multiple times, not the deluxe version, but I've played the Wii version multiple times, and potentially will dive into uh, Magalore Epilogue and maybe the mini games, the Merry Magoland after this. But I know primarily we have to finish the main campaign, which would take about four hours or so, and then. Um, yeah, and then all the other side content, I don't know. It'll depend on how often I want to stream this, or if I want to come back to uh, tomorrow to do more. We're going to figure this out. Again, I'm not a regular streamer, so it's going to mostly depend on how my mental health is when uh, things are, like, in four hours or so. Um, but yeah, we can, uh, we can get, we can get this party going. 
naturally, once again, the uh, text boxes... Oh, I know why. I gotta make sure the text boxes get uploaded. I see that $2 from Arcade Perfect. Just thank you for great videos. I appreciate it. Thank you. I remember what I have to up, up, uh, open up. There we go. Hey, I remembered how to do a thing. Okay, cool. So the, <laughs> the bottom text actually... Right? Yes. Okay, cool. We're good. See, I'm working on it. It's just the chat's gonna be a little funky for a little bit, but I'm gonna I'm gonna figure that out. Um, but yeah. So uh, did I did I catch that last super chat? I did. Thank you, Arcade Perfect. I appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let this uh, intro play out, and then we're gonna start playing the game. So welcome everybody for another Kirby game. It's not, not the most exciting thing in the world, because it's an old game. Oh, there's the butterfly, though. That's pretty exciting. Um, but still cool that it's here. This is really triggering a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people, which is cool. Uh, me, who's been playing every Kirby game regularly, doesn't have that same nostalgic effect, but it's super cool. Uh, but we, just, we do have New King Dedede, and I've been seeing a lot of people scrolling by in the chat about your opinions on the new Dedede design. I... Maintain my thoughts on what I said in Forgotten Land. I think I do. Where it, I, I think this is like near peak D to D. I'm gonna I'm gonna really say I honestly do think that. Um, I think below this is probably Smash. I think Smash has a pretty peak D to D. But honestly, I don't know, man. I, I I didn't like triple the triple deluxe's design. He always looked angry. It was weird. The furrowed brow looked a little looked a little weird. Um, I didn't like the Star Allies design. I thought he was too big and lanky. You know, buff DDD aside. Uh, everyone has different opinions on it, but I actually really like this Club Penguin looking boy. I I, I, I approve of, of uh, our Club Penguin DDD. Let's hope this holds me over until RE4 Remake. Ooh, my personal favorite Kirby for pure nostalgia and non-objective reasons. Absolutely. You'll have Roo Splatoon Story Mode on your channel this year since you've covered the strange games throughout the year, so that'd be cool. Probably not Splatoon single player. I really don't have much to say on that front. Um... But I appreciate the interest. Um, I'm not as big into Splatoon, I think, as some others are. So I, it wouldn't be my place. Yeah, RE4 Remake, it, it, do, it do be looking good. And I think, what, in terms of Nintendo games, we've been kind of stacked. Because I got Metroid Prime a couple days ago, physical. Um, I got Theater Rhythm. I got this. I have, I have uh, Octopath Traveler 2 coming in the mail. Busy times. Busy time. And then... And then RE4 next month? It's crazy. It's crazy. That Sony State of Play was garbage, but... Man, RE4... RE4 looks pretty cool. Let's see here. Did someone ask if my chat has a better... I don't know. I, I will get the chat figured out. I thought I would have had it figured out by now, but sadly, no. So the chat does work. It'll just cycle back. I can still read everything. It's just in the VOD, it'll be a little, uh, little behind. But I can read everything. Alright. Now that the opening's done, we can at least get the game going. At least the super chat and stuff works. I was worried that stuff wouldn't work. Everyone stay hydrated. We're in here for the long haul. I see Mr. J with the dollar, thank you. And Chasmo. Have you heard of Hi-Fi Rush? That game is incredible. I, I have heard of Hi-Fi Rush. That game is great. Uh, so I, I've not booted this at all. I played a little bit of the demo, uh, and that's about it. So, I'll, I don't know exactly what's connecting online. Do I need to block this out? Is, is, there, is something gonna happen? We're gonna... Connecting, it says. I don't know what's gonna pop up. Why is this connect- Oh, is there online? I forgot, there's online for the... Yeah, okay, it's just online for the Merry Magoland. We're good. Kirby's not gonna dox me. We're doing alright. Uh, I don't even have Mary Magoland yet. Thank you guys so much for the, the super chats and the support. I appreciate it. Alright. Uh, Auto Swallow. Not my thing, but I'm sure some people would, uh, would be cool with that. So yeah, let's just, let's just dive in. This new menu is, is very clean. Uh, thank you for the other two dollars. Appreciate it. God, they have made so many Kirby games. Holy. 
Sorry, I tend to go through all the menu options before I pop into the game itself, so we're just checking everything. Um, I always like- I like these menus because it just plays, like, the music, and it, I- I like seeing what music they- they put on. It's just Nintendo promoting themselves. Um... It's wild, because some of these games are not even going to be accessible in a little bit. Because uh, the eShop's going down, so you can't get Drum Dash, you can't get Kirby Fighters, you can't get Team Kirby Clash, or Blowout Blast. You already probably don't want to play Battle Royale. That's barely anyone's playing that. Mario Movie in April, Zelda after that, yeah. Oh god, Spider-Verse too. God, so much. I do, I do respect them still showing Rainbow Curse in here. The one... The one Wii U game that for some reason they never ported. I thought... I thought Epic Yarn did not need a port to 3DS. This they could have figured out. I know it would have not looked as good. But the fact that this game is now stuck on the Wii U is a crime. Because it's a really good game. I like it more than Canvas Curse. And that is a, as a shame. Because I don't know how they can get that going on the Switch. Um, but, okay. We're diving in. We don't really need to see the opening again. I let it play out, uh, so we're just gonna we're just gonna dive in. I forgot the opening plays there too. That that makes all the sense in the world. But all right. So if you don't know, I have obviously played this game a bunch uh, in the past. So I'm gonna kind of just plow through it. I need to get footage. I'm currently recording the raw gameplay as well, so I'm just gonna really plow through this. Um, and yeah. So so this is already new. Uh, okay. He'll give you potions that double stamina and save you from falling down holes. This will also activate autos. So can I activate? Okay, yeah. I don't want... I don't want that. I can capture that footage later. Final boss has to be the best part of the game. Always is for Kirby games. And then Segno. Opinion on the theory that Fecto E was the spearman among the heroes that sealed Void Termina. I haven't done a deep dive into the Kirby lore in a minute. I want to for the sake of a video to really understand what's happening here. But I, I do not know that theory. Uh, so I'll have to I'll have to dive into that at a later date. But thank you for, for shining some light on what is possible here. Alright. Kirby time. I'm full of excitement and vigor now. Let's see how uh how I'll be in four hours or whatever. I do not plan on seeing Evil Dead Rise, no. Stayed up till midnight to get the game and play it, and you're on level 5 already. Very nice. So what I'm interested in is all of, like, the small changes that are going to be happening throughout this. Um, I already know of, like, one little change, uh, like, aesthetically. Um, with one of the super fire areas. It's in level 2 or 3, I think. That's, like, slightly different. Um, otherwise, I should not have my buttons pressing into the microphone. I'm learning here. Also, I hope the audio is good. Clearly, no one's saying anything. So, I, I'm assuming the audio is good. It does feel good to play this with a proper controller, though. So, that's... That's nice. Having... Oh, that's still so good. I, having gone through... I already went through this level, like three times in the demo, just because it's nice to it's nice to be here again. I always enjoyed Return to Dreamland. Uh, it's not, not my favorite. Um, people who watched my ranking video, I think I put this... I think I put this in the high 20s, low, low 10s. I forget exactly the number. I know I'm a fraud. Um, I think the 3DS games are superior. Uh, so I would have loved a trilogy pack. But... Uh, that does not deny the fact that this game is still, still very good. It is just a very, like, traditional Kirby game, and if this is an avenue to get more people to play a good Kirby game, I'm all for it. Because Star Allies, it's not good. I know there's a subset of the community that's tired of the, uh, Star Allies disrespect, but I went back and played a little bit of it. Really, does, I, I, not my thing. The, uh, the side content is good. You know, uh, guest star mode is good, but the main campaign, no bueno. Uh, not, not my thing. I'm seeing, man, you guys with the super chats. I did not expect this. Um, but 
Pick one boy to be your friend, Kirby or Meta Knight. Um, I think probably Meta Knight. I think Meta Knight's just cooler. It would raise my value uh, as a person to have him as a friend, I think. But both are obviously incredible. If you hold up with the sword, you can use the sword beam from Fighters 2. Well, I just got rid of the sword. Uh, would this be worth it if you play the OG game? Uh, I mean, it depends. I mean, at that point, it's, it depends on how willing you are to just spend money on the same game again. I clearly am. Here we go, new animation. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's very good. I like, I like that. That's a very good animation. Oh, and the characters hit the screen. Ah. I know some of the swords are different too. I hope some of them will pop up, but they'll pop up at some point. Oh man, yeah, that feels a lot more powerful. If I don't get the new sword, uh, I'll just spam the button until I do. Yeah, that feels better with the characters hitting the screen. Alright, I'm not going in yet. Not going in yet. Am I still timed with the super- I damn, I don't know why- I never understood why there's a time limit for this. There's never any worry of a uh, time running out. That sword, that's- okay, that sword is new. And there's the Galactica sword. Uh... Yeah, okay. Scimitar. Where's the fish? Okay, there you go. Got that one. So we got the Morpho Sword, the Gigant Sword. Isn't there a fish? Am I crazy? Is the fish just super rare? We've passed a thousand people watching. Thank you. We're, we're trying to get the fish. I might have to, uh, might have to move on. I did not, I did not think, uh... Alright, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, and ten. We're out of here. Just for good measure. Yeah, no, not happening. Shame. But I got the Morpho Sword. So that's cool. The Morpho Sword's really cool. But we'll have opportunities in the future. That screen transition is new, also. Um, I can't tell if there were those floating shards in the foreground last time. I don't know. There, there's a lot of new visual touches with this game. Uh, but it is just nice having a proper controller with this game. No rumble whatsoever. I mean... I think in the Wii game, to do the super inhale, I think you can just mash the D-pad. But it's nice, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm so, I like the Pro Controller so much, it's just nice to play this game with the proper two-handed controller and not the Wii mode on its side again. So that's cool. Is this the game you use one of your vouchers on, using one for the Tears of the Kingdom? No, I did not use the voucher. I get the game's physical, uh, but... I'm a big physical collector. Uh, I have a lot of physical Switch games. May as well. So, w was this not a thing in the Wii game? Someone said to hold up and do this. This is from Star Allies, I think. But was this not a thing in the original? This wasn't? It was in the Wii game. It was in the Wii game. That's new. Alright, I'm gonna have to load it up, I guess, to, to cement uh, whether or not it's actually in this one. It was introduced in Triple Deluxe, so this wasn't in the Wii game. That's cool. All oh, this is valuable information for the video. Thank you. I did read also that the um, the multiplayer characters, Dedede, Dedede, Bandana D, and Meta Knight, all play slightly slightly differently. Also. Um, I haven't done co-op yet, so I have to I have to test that out. Apparently they play more like they did in Star Allies also, which is kind of cool. Skybeam was from Triple Deluxe. Pretty sure the sword dive was from Triple Deluxe also. That one or... Or that. Uh... Wow, okay. I'll have to do a lot more, a lot more research on the ability differences. Looked on the wiki, the Sky Energy Sword is from Triple Deluxe. So yeah, that's new. 
All right. First time. Let's go. One thing I also don't remember, um, because it's been a minute since I really did a deep dive with this game, I don't remember where the HAL rooms are. Um, so if, if anyone ever wants to see a, one of the HAL rooms, you'll have to let me know, because I really, I really don't remember, uh, where those are. So. God, I really think this game looks great. I, I, I think some people, um are a little iffy with the outlines and stuff, but I like them. I played the demo, I have a Switch OLED, so I played the game on my uh, handheld, and it looks <laughs> it looks insanely good on, on a handheld. There is a HAL room in this one, and one in level, first one's level four. People are saying in one two, people are saying in one four. We'll see. But yeah, I, uh, I, I think this game looks, yeah, the, those screen transitions are all new. Uh, the Wii game still looks good. Like, resolution aside, uh, obviously, Switch running in HD looks better. But, uh, like, I think the Wii game still looks good. And, um, even in Dolphin, you know, obviously the game looks really good. But, I really appreciate... Oh, that's new, too. The, that checkered outline on the bottom, to let you know that that's death. That's new, also. There was a lot more detail to this. I am a big fan of remasters um, of this generation, not just being how the games would look like in Dolphin. Um, like, I think the only other game that really comes to mind immediately is, like, Sonic Colors Ultimate, which obviously I don't think looked better, but I appreciate the differences. Uh, Skyward Sword looked very similar, but at least that was 60 FPS. Um, this... Naturally, Kirby gets the best treatment of all. This is not uh, my bias talking. It's 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 just what they do. They treat Kirby the best out of everybody else, um, and I'm totally okay with that. Oh, Metroid Remastered. That's true too. So, if anyone watched my um, Nintendo Direct reaction, I was uh, not as enthused about Metroid Prime as others were. I think I was so tired of the the rumors of the game, and it also played with my nostalgia for how I remembered the game looking, because I, I the game is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I really undervalued how good it looked. But that was really my memory playing tricks on me, making me think that Prime Original looked better than it did. Uh, so that's that's on me. That's that's on me with that part of the direct. The direct reaction not being super hot. <laughs> so, my bad. Yep, okay. Ooh. See, now now that you guys brought up the new move for Sword, I, I like, I really don't know. I'm gonna have to now cross-reference every ability in the game. Uh, and see what else is different. Because, like, could you do that in the original? I don't remember now. It's been so long since I really died, like... I played a little bit of the original for the video coming up, um, but that's it. Is this a HAL room? No, it's just a... Still a banger of a song. My favorite song to drive down the highway with at obscene speeds. There's one. Trying to keep my eyes peeled for a potential, uh, potential fire or a HAL room, but now I'm not getting anything. Yeah, someone brought up, there's also, there's also emotes now, which I think started in, um, I think Forgotten Land was the first one to do this. It's just tilting the right stick. I could be wrong. Oh, that one just has him looking? That's cute. But the high button is good. I know for a fact this wasn't in the original. Fire has a new spin attack. Ooh. Was... Was that not in the original? Am I crazy? Uh, fire... 
Spinning Firebird, B in midair. Oh, down B in midair. Okay, yeah, that looks... That looks different. Yeah, that looks different. My crate... Like, is that the new one? Uh, touch the ground. Press A during a roll for a jump. So what's the new one? That was in the original, I'm pretty sure. Getting conflicted uh, messages in the chat. That's fine. I'll do research later on. Beam is superior anyway. Hello, old friend. GG! You can do infinite beam? Man, was that also not a thing? This is some Pavlovian... Not Pavlovian. This is some, like, Berenstein Bear effect. Like, I could have sworn these were things. Did I screw up? I screw up. Oops. Uh, This is what I get for not... For focusing so much on the thing. I'm gonna have to go back and, uh... <laughs> fight this boss again. Um, um, unless... Can I burn the... Okay, yeah. I gotta come back. Oopsie daisy. That's fine. That's fine. You know what, I'm gonna speed run this level again real quick so I can make sure we're 100% caught up. I should've got the ability. I'm normally good about getting the abilities after bosses. It's taking a second, but I saw a super chat. Pikmin-styled Kirby game? That would be adorable. Isn't that- that's technically Mass Attack. Mass Attack is kind of Pikmin-ish. If we weren't going to get Pikmin on the original DS, that would have been the way to do it. There it is. Alright. We're going to... Oh, there's Mary Magoland. Just takes two levels. Easy peasy. Alright, we're going to... We're going to speed run this real quick. Also, I didn't find a HAL room. But people said room 1-4. I'm going to take your word on it for that one. Oh yeah, there's the masks too. Yeah, I don't I don't think we'll end up diving into Mary Magdalene today. Um, I think we will. Uh, I want I gotta get the campaign done, so we're gonna focus in on that, and uh, we'll see after that. I mean, after that, we could potentially do a Magalore epilogue, pending how exhausted I am after what would be like four hours of streaming. So we'll see. Yeah, I definitely want to 100% this game, the, the campaign at least today. Because I know there's extra mode too. These are all things that I'll be spending my weekend doing. If you follow me on Twitter, I guarantee that when uh, tomorrow night or Sunday night at the latest, you will see a tweet of like whatever fancy 100% uh, image they show up on screen once that's all done. I'm going to do all the missions for Magoland, all that stuff, and uh, try to get this video out as soon as possible. But until then... Thank you all for joining me uh, for the, the footage capturing process. Alright, we're almost... We're almost back to getting new content soon. Once again, if you're, if you're new to the chat, I uh, apologize if the, the chat box in the bottom is not synced up and it's freezing a bunch. Uh, I am able to read the chat when I can. Uh, that is something with the plugin I'm using just not working. So I'll, uh, if I continue to stream, I will have that, hopefully have that adjusted next time. This, these are the still the, the somewhat new streaming, uh, blues that I'm, I'm finding myself in. Oh. Easy baby game. Alright, we're not making that mistake again. It was an arrow that popped up. That was new. There we go. There we go. Gamer. Big gamer moment. Boom. 
Easy baby game thwarted. It's that simple. It's just that simple. It does feel surreal to be playing this game again. After... What, I guess... Yeah, it was 11 years ago the original game came out. I did my video... Five years ago? God. God, that's gross. Alright. Uh, glad to be back. Some things never change. I'd be curious to know how many people out there are, uh... Picking this game up for the first time. Um... And playing it for the first time. Or buying it for the sake of nostalgia. Because I think... Realistically, as cool as it is that this game is remade, it's probably like the least interesting remaster. Like Nightmare in Dreamland was rebuilt. Uh, so is Superstar Ultra. I guess Extra Epic Yarn. This is more. This is better than Extra Epic Yarn. So I, I, I'll, I could say that much. Try shaking the controller. Does shaking the controller still work for this? It does. Wow. I likely won't be doing that. I wasn't doing that in the original either. I was always a fan of doing that instead. I think that's faster. It may not be faster. I just think it's faster. I know those bouncy uh, enemies, they have like new detail on their, uh, on them. There were so many little things about little details that were coming out when the demo showed up. Like, apparently, the, uh, the Waddle Dees, the enemy Waddle Dees, I think used the character models from, um, Forgotten Land, or Star Allies, and the helper Waddle Dees from Mary Magoland used the Forgotten Land models. I think that's how it goes. It's just these things people are able to find out, like, instantaneously. It's, it's pretty wild. God, I love Beam so much. That move has saved my ass so many times in the arena. See someone saying shaking is faster. Shaking, yeah, it's... I guess it's fast. I don't know. I guess I just don't... I just don't like it anymore. Um, I was never someone who was against motion controls or anything of the sort, like in the Wii days. I've always been pro that. If you watch my Wii content, you know that's the case. But my thing with the Wii was always the pointer, and not so much the motion controls. So, the less I have to deal with that, the better, I think. Especially since this game just looks and feels better than Star Allies did. I like to imagine I have an evil twin brother named Anti-Dude. He's like the dark apply- oh my god. Uh, no. That's not- that's not true. If you want that to be your headcanon for how- how my life is operating, Godspeed, I can't stop you. Um, that just makes me think of, like, that era of YouTube where everyone just happened to have, like, an evil doppelganger clone that was just them in a darker shirt and sunglasses begging them to not play Sonic 06 or whatever. That That's all that ever sounds like to me, and it... Just picturing that triggers my fight or flight, so... Wanted to, don wanted to donate, ended up fist fighting my Google account for 15 minutes because I forgot the password. Been there before, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Alright. Well, I'm glad I have, uh. Oop. Glad I get footage of this thing. I don't know why that's in the game. I don't know why they brought that back. I really didn't need to come back. Um, I didn't think there were people who liked Festival. Um, granted, I guess the whole thing is if they're encouraging co-op, it's cute if everyone dances, but I would prefer if everybody exploded as my, as my, my crazy hot take on that one. But... Hey, something. 
It's something different. Alright, one floor. This is supposed to be the sage with the howl, with the howl room. So let's pop on in and, and uh, see if I can find the howl room. Oops. I do feel like some people in the chat have been um, telling me about some differences for some abilities. And if I miss them, I apologize. Uh, I have been reading the chat. It's just hard when I'm actually playing the game. And dude is live! Love your content. Let's see more live streams. Thank you. Keep up the great work. That's the plan. What's my favorite Kirby spin-off? I think most people would say, uh... Would say Air Ride for City Trial. But my favorite spin-off... It's good because now I'm one... Like, I feel like I'm gonna... Like... I'm trying to remember what it was in the... I forget what my top spin-off on the list was. Um... For some reason, I just have an urge right now to play Kirby Pinball Land. I don't know why. So I'm just gonna say that one. <laughs> they're all... They're, like, all good, so... Kirby and Clive and Wrench in one day. Platformer fans are getting stuffed. Uh, I haven't played uh, Clive and Wrench yet. They did send me a code, but I've just been so busy with other stuff. Um, but I really want to, because that game is right up my alley. So uh, definitely check out Clive and Wrench. It's gotten good reviews. It looks good. So even though I haven't played it yet, I feel like it's 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 exactly what fans of platformers would want. What is that? What the hell was that? What was that ticket? Dude, you guys with these super chats. Oh my god. I wanted to say I love your content, and I wanted to ask why you think they don't use animal friends more often. I agree. Um, oh, one of my pearlers fell. And then just a $10 win says, Spongebob Cosmic Shake. Yes. That was a damn good game. Uh, I think over time, people are going to probably see my number one on my ranking list. Um... And probably just assume that it's because I got a review code. That's my favorite one. Nah. I think I think Cosmic Chick is genuinely like a really good 3D platformer. And uh, having the, the SpongeBob license in there performing well. Like it's treating that franchise with respect. Um, I thought that game was great. So yeah, platformer fans are actually eating good. After years of not, the last like... Five or six years have been really good to platformer fans with no signs of stopping. So that's that's great stuff. I missed the Hal room. Damn. 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 I need to be in the first room for the Hal room. All right, maybe I'll pop back in after beating the level to just see. Once again, I'll say it again for people who are new to the chat. The chat is working. If you see it on video, frozen. Trust me, it's working. It's just, it doesn't work on OBS for some reason. Alright. Super Billy number two. Ooh, that's a clean animation. I don't remember if the, like, the star silhouettes that pop up, if that's new too. I really gotta psychoanalyze uh, all this stuff. Whoop. I'll read that super chat in a second. So my thing with Return to Dreamland and this gimmick uh, of the super abilities, I always thought obviously it made you feel powerful, but I thought mechanically they were very boring rooms because you just run forward, press the attack button, and move on. I thought the um, the super suck in uh, Triple Deluxe was a lot cooler. Obviously, the RoboBot armor is a lot cooler. Um, but they really added a lot to the flash with this. See, so this is new. The tree falling backwards. That's new. Before, it would just... Uh, it would just disappear. That would, there would just be a, a, just a chunk of broken tree. Uh, and the portal would show up. But now, something actually happened. With Metro Prime Remastered, do you think we'll get all the GameCube games on NSO, or will they just remaster the highly rated ones? I think, I think the highly rated ones. I have a lot of opinions on what NSO could do after this. They're not very exciting, though. I don't really see GameCube NSO happening. I think the files will be too big. Um, but if they just remaster all the big ones, then better than nothing. I think Prime Two and Three will definitely happen, though. 
Uh, Prime 2, probably this holiday. Prime 3, early next year. For Prime 4 happening next holiday. Is my deep philosophical thought on that one. Especially if uh, Switch Pro or whatever happens in the future. So. Alright, uh, we're gonna go... We're gonna go Spark on this one. And but easy baby game made for babies. I think my favorite Twitter interaction of all time was when I made a joke tweet that just said Kirby sucks, because that's a very original joke, and then it it blew up past my Twitter bubble, and some clown tried to mansplain Kirby to me on how it's totally cool to like Kirby. You don't have to always like hardcore games and whatever garbage. And I was like, bro, what are you talking about? Definitely my favorite interaction so far. Alright. There we go. Alright. For some reason, my, my perler fell too. This one that's always on the wall. Gotta pop him back up. Alright, I'm gonna pop back in to see the the HAL room. Apparently that's in the first level. So we're gonna we're gonna quickly Oh yay! Stamp tickets can be redeemed for Oh, that's what they are. Okay. All new things. Alright, we're gonna just quickly see if I could um point out where this room is. Let me see if I can find it, because people were saying the first room. Let's see if I can find it before uh, I resort to asking asking chat. Although I might need... Eh, I'll just ask anyway. Let me, <laughs> where's the HAL room at in this one? I'm probably not... Sometimes they're like very uh, obscure. Go all the way to the right, someone says. Alright. Oh, and then, do I go all the way back? Yeah, okay. I remember seeing this in the video, and there we go. That's so crazy. That's so weird. I love that stuff. That's... Okay. This sounds like a different remix, but again, I don't know. Really struggling to know what's new and what's not. Favorite part of the video making process? Let me get to that in a second. There's the HAL room. Uh, sand is here now. Very early access to sand. Uh, I think... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I like that move a lot. That move is really cool. Bop. And he just looks like Dio from, from JoJo's. Um, which... Yeah. Why not? Like, that just explicitly looks like JoJo. Uh, or like Dio. Like, it just... That's not something where I'm like, is that a JoJo reference? Like, that just looks like... That just wholeheartedly looks like Dio. And it's, uh... It's gonna lead to some of the most crazy fan art of all time. Alright. Ooh, and I, I float! I don't know why I didn't realize that. I think I did... I said that before, but now I'm playing with it. I didn't play with it in the demo. I played very little of the demo. But I'm about to... Oh, wait, look at the lighting! Oh, look at the lighting on the ground with the... The fire coming out of the jetpack? Bruh. Bruh, this game be looking good. Alright. We have a- and that also just looks like straight up a Gundam. So we have a Gundam and Dio as our new abilities. It's sick. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know what abilities- oh. Okay. Okay, I got that one. Uh, fire fist. Okay, what else do I got? Tappy, press and hold. Hold even longer. Extra long. Oh, storage. Okay. Dash. Dash wall. Okay. Oh! <laughs> nice. No! Ah, uh, I got too excited. No! 
<laughs> That's sick. Alright, uh... During Shock Knuckle, hold... So, during Shock Knuckle, hold down. Hold B. God oh, damn it, I'm gonna get... I'm, uh... Oh my god. Okay. And then... Mortars, Rocket Flight, Shock Bomb. Holy cow. Battery Bracer just holding down? There's so many moves. Oh, there's a down up one? Okay, what is... I don't know. I'm just gonna... There we go. Alright. That's pretty cool. That's my first time really getting to dive into Mecha. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so... Really quick. Uh, Simply Sore asking my favorite part of the video making process. And since he asked, I don't want to forget that. Uh, I think I, I enjoy the research part of it the most, like the earliest part of pre-production, getting to ideas and sort of planning out what videos could be, um, which is why I've said oftentimes, like on Twitter and stuff, that I have video ideas for months and years, honestly. I, I do have content planned for 2024, so there's no, there's no stoppage anytime soon. So probably that part, um, doing this really early planning stuff. And thank you for the two bucks. Alright. World one done. Easy peasy. <laughs> Kirby Mecha looks so excessive. I couldn't tell. I'm so... Man. I couldn't tell if that was a donation or... I forgot that's the sound that I use. Because that was trippy to hear. I love Magalore. He would never do anything wrong. What the hell? Oh, do I have to unlock the minigames? Then challenge rooms. So I'm excited about that. There's new... There's, there's some new challenge rooms, at least for Sand and Mecha. There would have to be new ones. It would be really cool... If the um, Kirby's Dream Collection ones were in here, likely not, but it would be cool if that was the case. I'm going to save all this stuff. All this stuff is going to be at the very end of the game. Uh, I just want to see the rooms first. They removed the Spark Challenge room? Oh man, that gets good horizontal movement. Uh... Whip, high jump, normal, bomb, mecha, water, wing. Did they get rid of another one? Because there's two in this one. Um, Magalore. Is this just so I can play the minigames here instead of going to Mary Magoland? So there's two menus for this? I guess so. Interesting. Unless there's a challenge... What happens if I... Difficulty levels. Alright. That's new. And then... These are just rooms to get abilities in. Nothing special there. Alright. Oh, what's up, Lonely Goomba? One of the Dream Collection stages too and never played them. Yeah, I don't think they're in here too. Which is a shame, because that would have been very easy content for them to... To pump in here. Especially since they gave Magalore more content. And Magalore... You can race him in the Dream Collection ones. It's a shame that content is locked into that collection. Alright, I gotta stop recording that gameplay snippet. Now we're gonna jump to level 2. Thank you guys for sticking around. Um, level 2. Alright. Desert stage time. We are one world done out of seven? I think it is. One thing I'm... Oh, uh, I guess Mecha wouldn't make sense here. One thing I'm curious about... I heard some people say this, and I can't really tell. Is the music any different in terms of um, being remastered at all? Like, I can't tell if the music sounds cleaner, if they touched it up a little bit. Uh, it's definitely not remixed. It's definitely the same song. I just can't tell if it's slightly different at all. Um... 
Someone said I heard it's slightly remixed. That's what I thought. Like, I, I've heard people say it's just, it just sounds cleaner. Um, but I can't speak with certainty on that one. Music doesn't seem to be edited. If they did, it's just touching up. There's no remixes out of the Magalore epilogue, so there's new songs there. I am very excited for the Magalore epilogue content. So, uh, I might be able to touch on that today. Whoop. Bop! Oh, oops. That's the best part of sand, is that move right there. And then it also doubles as whip, which is, uh, interesting. And so my thing, I already have some ideas written down for, um, for my script. And one thing that's interesting is I feel like the new abilities don't really feel, like, fill up a void that was missing. Um, like, you could argue, if you want, that the Ravel abilities in Extra Epic Yarn fill a void of, uh, that game not having copy abilities. But in here, it's just, they decided on two more ideas, and, uh, that was about it. Also, they are abilities, um, 67 and 68. Uh, a lot of people were trying to argue with me on whether or not Sand is ability 69. It's not. I, I, I understand the enthusiasm behind that desire, but that is not the case. Uh, we do have to wait a little bit longer to get, uh, ability 69. But whatever ability 69 is, boy... Twitter's gonna go crazy for that one. The fan art for Ability 69 is gonna go hard. Uh, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I'm ready for it, but whenever that day comes, it'll be coming, all right. You think copy abilities made Epic Yarn worse? I agree. I don't know how much that opinion is agreed upon uh, in the masses, but yeah, I am uh, someone who's not an extra Epic Yarn fan. Sadly, because Epic Yarn is incredible. Ah! I forgot how to do the, uh... Spin dash. Is it just dash and B? There you go. There you go. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I did the thing. Man. Boy, if the Switch had achievements, that would have been, uh... That would have been peak achievement right there. Ooh. I think one of my things with uh, Return to Dreamland also is... The themes of the levels are not really super original. Um... I think the way I feel is how I felt when I was getting older and, and I an adventure got remade. It was just all nostalgia getting polished up. All these Kirby games are good. Anything I say is really just me spitting off random thoughts that could potentially go in my video whenever that drops. Because somebody out there has to do a half hour expose piece on Return of Dreamland Deluxe. And damn it, it's going to be me. So... And then I'll just have a major desire to go back and play Planet Robobot again. Oh, it's cool that, like, your outline glows pretty heavily when you're invincible, too. Noticing all these little changes. Bam. I really like the sand ability, actually. It has good reach. Like, really good reach. Oh, okay. oh. One goes horizontal, one goes a little vertical. All right. Look at that damage! Oh! I feel like sand's gonna be very good for arenas. Bam. But hammer is superior. Easily. And yeah, I want to take a second again to thank everyone for stopping by to the stream. Uh, if you haven't really noticed on the YouTube front, uh, things are changing slightly. Normal video content is staying the course, but there is definitely a little more interest in terms of shorts and live streams. So, we're in an experimental phase with testing these things out. If they succeed, we do more. If they don't, we don't do more of them. It's as easy as that. You're gonna get a video on this stupid game anyway. You think remaking the 3DS games would be better? 
I agree. The fact that Metopia got a friggin' remake um, still blows my mind because there are so many other 3DS games that deserve that spotlight more. And Metopia is fun. I enjoyed my time with it. Um, but, man, uh, not the call I would have made uh, for remaking a 3DS game. The music muted. Like, the music got muffled in the original when you go underwater, right? Oh, Bonsai Pop is here. What's up, bro? Fantasy Life win? Did you not... I guess not remade, but we're getting a Fantasy Life sequel. Which is... That's cool. That's exciting. Oh! New donation. Let me... Pop. I should be getting water, but... Hammer is such a good ability. Just finished the Cacoletta Soul fight, and that was rough. Very nice. Also very good game. Speaking of 3DS games, Superstar Saga was very good. Yeah, Epic Yarn, I think, is an incredible game. Uh, I put that very high on my list, because I think that game is great. And I don't think the 3DS game, the 3DS version did that game justice. Um, I think they did it because they did Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World, and they were like, let's get both Yarn games on the same console, but... Didn't like the new changes. I forgot. I'm ro I'm stone, so I need to I need to check out. Um, I need to do my uh, just spamming of this real quick, because there's three new stones. There's three new stone transformations. Okay, yeah, there, we, uh, there was there was the fish. Man, really just not having good luck with these, uh... So is that one. Uh... There's old Star Allies DDD. So that's just weird. Um... All this talk about every time they keep changing his design... They changed his design, and yet they still have his old design here. So that's... Interesting. Uh, so there's, there's... I think that's one of them. I don't think that was in the original. Hey! That's just cute. Gotta keep... Rick, Kine, and Koo. Very cute. There's Marks. Very cute. I get... Give me the new... That one's new. Okay, so there's another one. There's Magalore on the ship. That's a new one. And then... Oh, that was... I don't remember that one, but that was cool. Oh, God, come on! The, the one I still want is, like, my favorite one. Oh, I mean, that's good. That's good, because QB is still kind of relevant. Thank God. Um... Oh, that's Carby. Okay, so there's two. There's two new ones. We got the Magalore one. We got Carby. There's a- there's one more! I thought the King Dedede one was new. It wasn't. It just is interesting what design is on there. There's one more new one. I'm gonna lose it. I got Carby again! I mean, that's just cool that that's a thing. Oh my god. I'm seeing super chats come in. As I say, it was introduced... With the, oh, through Johnny's Sonic Advance video. Been a fan since. Thank you. Uh, ooh, me. Favorite Mario Kart song? Uh, Maple Tree Way. That, I don't know why I thought about it. That one's very easy. I can change the angle by hitting left and right. Yeah. If you just tilt. Change the angle. It won't give me the last one.
This is crazy. Gave me the other new one. It's giving me two of the new ones twice, and it won't give me the third one. <laughs> Come on! Come on! It's very important. I need to see it. Someone said try Big Stone. No, that's just... There's the Megalore again. There's that again. I can't believe how it's not popping up. So, I'll ruin the fun. It's one that's based off of Dream Buffet. Um, it's very obviously Dream Buffet. And it just won't. It just won't pop up. Love all your videos. Greetings from Mexico. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna have to stop this soon. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and for good measure, eleven. All right. Oh my god. I'm so that's, that's upsetting. My only hope is that it pops up uh, in normal gameplay. That's, that's my one hope. Because holy cow. Unless people really want me to continue going with it. That would have sucked if that was right there when I had to rush. Uh? No, okay. Keep going. No, please don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, God hates me. Ah. You have to complete Buffet 100% for... No. No. Not true. Stone stream. Yeah, this is a big stoner stream right here. Ah, that's upsetting. Did Kirby use to angle swim like? Oh, and I lost stone, so I can't. I feel I can't tell if if Kirby angling like that is new. Really searching for as many new details as I can, and now I can't even test anymore. So there's, there's the end of that. If only I had another whole ass Kirby game to still play to, still have the opportunity to get that again. It'll pop up. Just upsetting. Angle swim, new innovation. I mean, yeah. I'm. Uh, am I wrong? The the developers at HAL always make sure to spend their their marketing or uh, their budget on only the most important things with this remaster. Because if it wasn't going to be here, then people would get upset. It's too similar, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah. But all right. We have hit new levels of swimming. Absolutely. Eh. Also, for those who are like, man, he really hits into things a lot. Yes. Kirby games are very easy, but I do tend to just run into things because they're pretty easy. And I don't end up dying, so. That's what's important. I found out sometimes there are just games I play differently than other like every, everyone else. I was playing um, Silent Hill for the first time, the PS1 one. Uh, and I was like really conserving bullets and had like way too many by the end. And the people I was playing with are like, you are playing this game in a way that I've never seen before in my life. And I was like, I still won. That's all that matters at the end of the day. All right, Super Plasma. Player beam. Damn. Yeah, that's the that's the same ability, all right. I think this game is a better way to play Return to Dreamland. I agree. I think in terms of accessibility, easily, and even if a game has minor improvements, 
if you can call something the, the definitive version of a game, then it succeeds. Uh, even if just by a microscopic detail. Um, which is why I think it's bizarre that a game like Sonic Colors Ultimate managed to not succeed in that. <laughs> Seeing some people surprised that there are other YouTubers in this chat. Holy cow. It's like we're friends, guys. It's crazy. Oh, what's up, my dude? Welcome aboard. Thank you so much for watching. For coming through. Also, yeah. For those who also don't know, the name of the member group here on the channel is The Ant Farm. Because I was with friends and we were all drinking and he jokingly said, how can I become a member of the ant farm? And I thought that's so stupid. I will now take advantage of that and use that. So welcome to the ant farm if you're a member of this channel. It's the dumbest name ever. But, uh, you know, we work with what we got. Yo, ah. Yeah, that's fine. If I die once in this playthrough, I'll be a little shocked. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just not gonna expect it. So. Alright. Yo! Big yeehaw in the chat. Yep! Ooh, that was good. Ah! I wanted to- oop. Easy. I know you probably hear this a lot, but I love your videos a lot. I uh, hope you're enjoying the game. I love the art style and graphics in this remake. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I never get tired of hearing it, so I appreciate it. And yeah, I think this game looks great. I th definitely think it looks better than the Wii version. You joined for the lulls? Thank you, Bleak Forest. You can now say you remember the ant farm. I believe if you if you are a member, you get a little avatar. You do. You get a little ant uh, emote next to your name if you're a part of the ant farm. I gotta figure out what I can do to make that like a more interesting thing. Uh, but, you know. I'll figure it out someday. Do I think it looks better than Star Allies? I don't think Star Allies looks all that good. Honestly. Um... I've never been shy about my opinions on Star Allies. I just... Something about it just... it just Level design was weak. The art style... Tried to... I, it doesn't really have like much of an art style. It just has like a very basic looking lighting engine and stuff. I don't know. The 30 FPS... While frame rate never really gets to me, I think Star Allies... The, the 30 FPS and that looks rough. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just... Not a fan of Star Allies in general. It's only guest star mode that makes that game worthwhile in my opinion. Like, that stuff is great. All that fan service and stuff, awesome. And, uh, obviously the lore behind, like, the final boss is crazy. But, uh, the game itself, mid. Very, very mid. But, I've been around enough Sonic fans to know that give it, like, I don't know, three or four more years. I forgot how good this song was, by the way. It's so good. Give, uh, give it another, like, three, four years, and, uh, you're gonna start seeing the Star Allies Defense Force come in and, uh, really yell at me something fierce. Um, okay, I got bamboozled. Uh, which one? Tell me which one to go down, chat. Gage the Mage. Thank you for so much for becoming a member. Man, you guys... You guys are hitting me with all three. You guys aren't giving me a... I'm saying mostly middles and lefts. The left does have the star in it. I think more people are saying left, although it is very... It is very split, but I think we're gonna go left. Good call. Good call. Good call, everyone. That was, that was, 
a surprisingly tied uh, chat <laughs> that was happening. Right died out pretty quick, but man, you middle and left people were really digging it. I thought Sonic Sands were bad until you poked the Beehive at Bleach. Are Bleach fans bad? I don't know anything about Bleach. I stay out of anime as much as I can, you know this. Uh, let's get top. Top is... Top is pretty top. Someone said the Star Allies Defense Squad is active at this very moment. Is that true? Normally I feel like it's... Six or seven years before, uh... Fans of bad games start to... Start to show people off. Uh, you know, I'm gonna... I'm definitely gonna get tweets and stuff in a few years about how I'm a fake... Kirby fan, um, which is always the damnedest thing. When I know I've been a fan of something my whole life and people on Twitter are like, no you're not. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of Sonic fans mostly, but I'm sure Kirby fans will come after me at that point. It's the only Kirby game that I'm like kind of meh on, main Kirby games. Same. Super Chats. I don't know why it takes Super Chats sometimes a second to pop up. Uh, but I still read it. Oh, there you go. Have I ever watched the YouTube video Kirby vs. Pac-Man video game rap battles of history? I have not. But I know there's a lot of other people making their own epic rap battles. And then someone asked, how do I get the last 9% after getting 120 spears? I do not know, actually. Um... It's been a minute since I 100 percent of this game, so I don't know if it's minigame based or what. So I honestly don't know just yet, and I will find out um, sometime this weekend. Yeah. I think Hyde jumped up. Oh. oh. Well, for the sake of footage. Is there a mini boss? coming up or something, so I can use it there. Alright. It's a shame, because the feathers are beautiful. I just think this is the weakest crash equivalent yet. Oh, and it couldn't even do the job, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Give me the... Thank you. Waste of time. Would have been faster if I had an actual ability. Does anybody, does anybody like Festival? I'm really curious if anybody likes Festival. I understand its purpose. It's supposed to be a more friendly option. Especially when you have friends and or family playing with you, but... I feel like I'm in a bizarre world where I thought nobody liked Festival. I thought it was just a waste. The look is great, but the function, whatever. Festival the Goat. Festival kills the pacing. It's definitely one of the, the longer animations you gotta deal through. Um, for a crash equivalent. Oh god, am I correct with this? Nope. Thank god, okay. I keep forgetting Kirby tends to be pretty good about... Not screwing you out of content. Uh, no, not needing to make me replay a stage again. Cool. Uh, yeah, let me cop that real quick. Easy peasy. Grayson Wells with $2. What are my thoughts on the new abilities? I really like them. Uh, I said before, I don't think they fill a void that was lacking in uh, the original game, but they're fun to use and they look cool. Um, Mecha looks like a Gundam. Dio, uh, I said Dio already. Sand looks like Dio from JoJo, um, which is just hilarious to me. And we are one step closer to ability 69, which will be whatever the next new copy ability is, will be ability 69. So I am, I am very excited. All right, what, uh... No. I'm saving all that stuff for after the the campaign. 
All right, now we'll go back to booking it. Oh, and I see a comment from a, a member of the ant farm. I should prioritize those. Epic Yarn surprisingly had that problem. There were a few accessories every other level. Only had one chance to get. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, the game was so slow-paced. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't run into the issue often, but that is... I don't like when games do that. Um, ever. Um, I would like to do levels once. Um, and then move on with my life. The stars that bosses drop are called drop stars from the wiki. Oh. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. The, the ability stars, you mean? Oh, no, no, no. The yellow stars for attacks. Oh, yeah, they actually have a name. That would, that makes total sense. 69 will be Rubber Kirby. You know what? I, I'd i be down with that. I need Bomb, don't I? Yep, okay. Yeah, I think, uh... I wonder... Nintendo has to know what hell they're going into when they know Ability 69 is coming up, right? Like, they can't not... There has to be something there. And I really worry what it could be. Like, it could be a Splatoon-themed de one, like an Ink one. It's an, it's an Ink ability. And that'll be cursed, too. To be fair, it doesn't matter what it is. Twitter will find a way. Twitter will absolutely find a way. Twitter is where I found that animation of, like... Kirby and Poppy Brothers making out from Kirby Superstar. Um, very iconic imagery right there. So, they will make anything work. Uh, and I am very excited. Why do I think the ability combinations from Crystal Shards never took off? It was my favorite part of Kirby. Because uh, I think, realistically, that it's more so of a fun toy than it is, like, proper utility. Um... And it led to annoyances in that game when you had to have a specific combo to to unlock one of the shards. Um, and just, yeah, it, it's definitely, it, it's fun in that instance. Um, and always fun to think about what new combinations could be. But that game also only had eight combos, so I prefer having more abilities in general than combinations. If you want combination stuff, if you play, it's like Doodle God. It's like that mobile game that I think is on consoles. It's just Doodle God. Just combining two things and then whatever happens, happens. Because um, then ability combinations did kind of show up in Squeak Squad. Uh, and they were just very meh uh, there. Didn't really feel great to use. They were very forced the few times you can think about using it. Not great. Star Allies did kind of decent with it. But that's because it was co-op, so everybody had something different. Um, yeah, I just don't see it working. I had a really deep philosophical answer for that one, uh, clearly. Um, but 64, still good. I still need to use a guide sometimes to remember what ability combos I need to use, but... Still a good game. Went back and double checked. My first Return to Dreamland video came out 11 years ago. Yes. Um, so this would... When the video comes out, this is actually going to be the third time I look at this game. Because, uh, yeah, I reviewed the game when it was relatively new. Which is crazy to think about. Um, I try not to shine a, like uh, shine too much light on how long I've been do doing this. But I did review the Wii game when it was relatively new. Um, and then again when I was doing my retrospectives. And now I'm doing it again. And maybe in 10 years, we do it again. It just never ends. And I am a-okay with that. Clearly, Nintendo shows no sign of stopping Kirby content anytime soon. And I am not... I am not gonna be someone to complain about that. I welcome the more... Like, the, the more Kirby content, the better. That's why, like, I made the short about, like... Tilt and Tumble and Amazing Mirror coming to Switch. I think that's so cool because those are going to be such cool ways to play those games. Um, Kirby fans are just being eaten good, man. Every Nintendo Direct, I'm expecting something Kirby related now. Uh, doesn't matter what it is. I'm just expecting something. Even if it's like, hey, now Dreamland 2 is coming to Game Boy NSO. If they say that, 
at the next direct i'd be down yeah, you know why because it would be cool because they'll be like hey we're gonna bring super game boy color palettes to the game boy app um and they'll show off dreamland 2 and i'll be like hey, hey look sick another cool thing that they're using kirby to highlight and it just will never end can't you skip these oh you could oh well Yeah, you hope you'll be watching me for another decade? Well, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, so. I know some people tend to think about a potential, like, exit strategy for YouTube if you're doing this for long enough, because it is a job after all, after a certain point. But if I'm able to talk about video games on the internet well into my 50s, I'll, I'll make it work. Um, you know, that's... I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. If anyone j it joins me for the ride... I'll be appreciated. I'm here for the long haul. It's all I know. The exit strategy was when people stop watching your content. Otherwise, you may as well keep going. I mean, yeah, may as well. Otherwise, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. If you want to watch me talk about Kirby in my 40s, well, lucky for you, that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. Whatever content is the norm, uh, I'll be doing it. And I'm sure Kirby will be there. Along the along for the ride. Ah, damn. Okay, doesn't work that way. I'm I'm really excited for playing extra mode in this game because I hear that it's actually a little harder. Like they've added new, uh, like even more new enemies and stuff. So if it's actually Genuinely a little challenging and a little surprising. I'd be down for that. 10 million subs just by being on YouTube for 30 years. You gotta get there somehow, bro. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Oh, wait, I have the... Uh... I've been informed, if you have missed this little nugget, that that is it. This is a new ability. That, uh, beam sword. That was in triple deluxe. This was new. That. Ah. But it's a little unwieldy <laughs> to use for that. Bop. Energy spheres completed. Alright, I think, I think this is the last level of World 2. We're about to fight Mr. Duder. Everyone loves Mr. Duder, so we're about to go fight Mr. Duder. I think. Perfect. Send greetings to Poland. Hello, the entire country of Poland. Acknowledge us uncultured folks who Mr. Duder is. You're about to find out. Very political question. Galactonite or Morphonite? I think Galactonite, just based on the song. I'm gonna collect it. Alright. I am gonna take a quick pit stop. Only because I'm curious. Are all the sub games not unlocked? Am I just unlocking them in that menu? Or what? Oh, a different world in a different time. All right, I didn't. Why? This is so ominous. That was such a that was such an ominous introduction. Jesus. Alright, I'm just gonna see if the if the mini games are available or not. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not gonna touch the masks. They look available. This this is running at less than 30 frames now. This is choppy as hell. Luckily, it's just a menu, so it doesn't matter. Cool. Cool. Ooh. 
Right, okay. I don't know what any of this stuff is yet. Hey! Hey! <laughs> okay, okay. This is all I want to do. Uh... Ah, oh, man. Uh... God, it's... Oh, man. It's remixes of the menu music for each respective game. Oh, my God. Man, I just got, like, a wave of... Uh, my nostalgia hit, because, yeah, this is the Amazing Mirror menu. Holy cow. Wow. Okay, I didn't know about this. Uh, I'm going to listen to the music, and then we'll back out. Oh, it's, this is new. Uh... I can't tell if what this is a remix of. If it is a remix. Might be a remix of like the title for that game. That was Superstar Ultra. Yeah, this is from the original return. Yeah, holy cow, yeah, this is Nightmare in Dreamland's menu. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. I'm such a fanboy. Oh my god. Ooh. What what instrument is that? Sounds like a theremin. Very nice. 64? I guess okay, yeah. I love I, I love remixes a lot. Just in general. Like official remixes of games I'm a big fan of. So uh Oh, okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Just the ominous silence. Alright, but I wanted to wait. Adventure. Save this one for last. <laughs> Techno remix. Incredible. Alright. I didn't know there were new remixes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on those things and go back to the story. I was just curious about the menu. Oh my god, that was incredible. Oops. Oh, that remix was sick. <laughs> All right, let, let's let's continue on the story. So that's interesting. So there's just a, you unlock a way to access the same mini games without having to go into the ma the Magoland menu. Interesting call. Um, all right. But now we gotta, go, we gotta go back to Mr. Duder. It's Mr. Duder's time. Here he is! Mr. Duder time! Ah! What the hell? I built a castle? Oh, that's sick. Alright. Well, this is Mr. Duder. Uh, I don't really know his whole deal, but his name is Duder. So, all I saw was a tweet that said, Imagine being a parent, having a kid, and naming them Mr. Duder. And I don't know why that was funny. <laughs> uh, that was funny. I never thought much about Mr. Duder. Um, and now I think the world of him. And I just hope... I just hope for the best. What is that move? Oh, sandballs? Mr. Duder is Mr. Detter. Easy joke. Thank you so much for the 20. I appreciate that. Thank you. Duder is his family name. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mr. Duder was my father. Excuse me. He was, in fact, Mr. Duder. Uh, I hope there's a, a Mrs. Duder somewhere out there for him. Um, it's all one could ever hope for, really. Mr. Duder Sr. I mean, we've gotten... They're, they're, you know, they're, they're, they could expand on the Mr. Duder lore, I, I believe. 
may I recommend a game based on a Japanese live action TV series? Well, based on your name, I have a very, very easy suspicion of what you're referring to. Yeah, 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 the deep, the deep Kirby lore. All right, world two done. Am I sitting at 69 stars right now? Oh, he chills out here too? He's just vibing. I appreciate the vibes. Alright, I gotta stop this recording session. Start another one. For Onion Ocean. For the sake of, like, the footage backup and stuff, I... A little behind the scenes stuff. I like to save video clips and if if I have like a decent stopping point. So now in my in my archives I'll have World 1, World 2 as separate video files. So if I refer to stopping and starting footage capture, that is what I'm referring to. It'll make it easier in the future to uh to sift through content. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This level looks very nice. It does. Uh I think this whole game looks nice. I think it looks far better than Star Allies does. I just prefer star like art styles with a little bit of style as opposed to just graphic fidelity. Um, I think that's my thing with Star Allies is like in terms of fidelity, yeah, it looks good. It looks like they threw the models in Unity with a very nice graphical engine and <laughs> and then moved on. Uh, but I love the outlines and stuff. To make up for the fact that this game does not have themes as crazy and out there as Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot, um, I really think the outlines and the more pastel-y colors for some levels was really the right call. Um, especially all of the additional detail added to the foreground and background, like the textures and stuff. Like, this game looks great. Also might just be a selling point of the OLED, because God, this game looks great on an OLED. Better remember they have Magdalene footage in Chapter 2? Yes. I will know the, the opening bit, but I'm going to go back and, uh... Again, I'll save the majority of that stuff for a separate foot video, but thank you. I do usually keep notes, uh, as well. There's a note-taking process, but... I think I'll have a decent idea of where everything is in this game. It won't be too hard to tell. Oh, there it goes. Come on. Oh. Nah. Does I, does I know? Do I know about the true arena final boss? No. I have a suspicion. So, my suspicion is the final boss of true arena is going to be whatever the final boss of Magalore epilogue is. Um, which I don't know anything about. Uh, I only know that... Um, I know I only know about how long it is. I think it's about like a two hour long thing. Um, that I checked for the sake of my sanity, just to know how long to expect it to be. But I, content wise, I know nothing about it. Besides playing as Magalore, so I am uh, excited. Excuse me, I am excited for the new content. A little annoying that I guess I have to play through the um, the game again that I've played multiple times to get to the new stuff, but. It's co it's Kirby content, so I'm not upset. Oh yeah, that's, I think this is my first look at the Mecha guy. He's cute, and now he's dead. Imagine games like Squeak Squad remade in this style. That's what I'm telling you, man. I would love more Kirby games to be remade. Just really, really drive the point home to the anti-Kirby people out there who get sick of Nintendo giving this franchise all the love. And just do more. Just do more. Just never stop. I wanted Spear. Damn it. I'm gonna get Spear. Um, because I wanted, my fantasy thing was for the 30th anniversary, they do like a remaster or whatever of the Dream Collection for Wii, and include Return, Triple Deluxe, and Planet Robobot. Um, obviously I think if they were to do that, we wouldn't get Return in this style, but I would love to see the 3DS games up -res Um, that'd be great. But the sprite games being remade in 3D... That'd be cool too, but I think the Kirby sprites have such a good style um, that, I don't know. It wouldn't hurt me if they had that, but 
10 Kirby games a minimum, a year minimum. Absolutely. You get what I'm saying. The thing is, I'll also never know how I would feel about this franchise getting so many games if I wasn't make a content creator. Because I just... I was always a fan of this franchise. That was never a joke. I never... I never, um... Played up my enjoyment of this franchise for the sake of views. I genuinely love this franchise. Um... But I don't know how much I would be sick of it if I was, uh, not thinking, like, I could make content out of it. Um, so. Like, I may not care so much about Tilt and Tumble on Switch if I didn't think, oh, I can maybe stream that. I'll never know. One of life's greatest mysteries, but I'm just gonna enjoy it for what it is. Alright, give me the... Look at him, he waves to the camera, so he's... This is adorable. Rox's gamepad with two bucks, and I would love an Air Ride remake or port. I think a sequel... Um... Would be superior. And I think people tend to... Overinflate... Uh, uh... Air Ride's ego, in general. You just want City Trial. The racing stuff is fine, but you just want City Trial. Um... So I could definitely see them doing... A digital-only city trial at some point. Um, it'd be awesome. And, like, if they did city trial and it was, like... We have three stages with a ton more uh, vehicles and hazards and stuff. I mean, you'd have peak right there. Um, but the actual driving stuff, admittedly, I could take it or leave it. Someone asked if I ever played... If, will I ever play Pizza Tower? And I already have. That game is phenomenal. That's probably my game of the year so far. I recommend everybody play Pizza Tower. Um, and also, keep your eyes out for Anton Blast. Uh, coming out as well. A couple of Wario, Wario Land-like games that are just going to be some of the best games of, uh, of the year. Absolutely. Wow, Kevin, you want to play Pizza Tower? You should do that. I don't know why you're not. You gotta go for the world record of number of attempts uh, of 100%ing that game. The fact you've only played it through a couple times so far is kind of upsetting. Which, by the way, everybody, Kevin Figarian in the chat, that's the thumbnail artist. You can thank him for all of the good artwork you see at the on, on your subscription feeds every time a new video goes out. Is Nitro Red superior? Do you want me to say he's alright, I guess? I like James. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the rules of the, the lore we have established and say I think James is a pretty cool guy. That's character development right there. Ah. God, I really feel like they added new tilting animations for Kirby swimming diagonally. Am I crazy? I need to check footage of the Wii game. I really feel like that, like, just seeing that for some reason feels new to me. Zeki? How's that how you say that? Zaikai? I see with the $2, hasn't registered yet. Asked, what do I think about Mecha? Mecha's pretty cool. Uh, very powerful. A lot of utility there, and he looks like a Gundam. It's pretty sick. Oh come on! Oh, I'm in I'm in the peak position. Oh my god! That was that was upsetting. Oh my god! All right, tornado not the most ideal for this area with the water in it. Found that out the hard way. Where's Bandy in here? Oh my god, Bandy, what's up, bro? Oh my god, a video game. Yo, you're right. You're speaking facts right there, bro. I still love the the direct where they announced this game. I like to check all of my friends' reactions. 
and you were like the one guy who was like, oh, Antude has no more Kirby content. And I was like, you're damn right I do. I, was, I'm sorry, I know someone gets it. Never ends for me, bro. My march is good. My march is set now. This video is going to do me great next month. I think my best month numbers wise on uh, YouTube was so far has been April of last year because that was Forgotten Land video and the ranking video did great. So other reasons why I like Kirby. No. How's the game? It is in fact the Wii game again. Um, looks great. Um, played great. Always did. Uh, it's just it's uh, it's always been a really good, solid Kirby game. This is this is, you know, like when they, when Kirby decided to return to Dreamland, they just made it like they followed all of the lists, all of like they followed the list of of checkpoint of a uh, check marks of this is what it takes to make a Kirby game. All right, uh, it doesn't really deviate from the norm too much. It's just a really good, just a really good Kirby game, but it looks gorgeous here. Um. I really love this new art style. Actually, to be honest, I bought this game without thinking about it. Is this game full price? I actually don't know if this game is uh, a full price $60 thing. I would assume $40, but I really have no idea. It, it's $60? I didn't even think about it. I just bought it without thinking about it. Interesting that I don't see more people complaining about that. You were seeing, I, like, it was such a hot, it was a dumb topic, but it was such a hot topic when, uh, Metroid Dread was 60 bucks because idiots were like, short 2D game, $60, this is gross. Um, don't see that with this. People took issue with Skyward Sword being 60 bucks, and they're not wrong. Uh, maybe Kirby just gets a pass. Maybe Kirby just gets a pass. You know what? I think that's really the lore. I think, I think Kirby just, uh... Everyone just accepts Kirby for what it is, and uh, I, I, I appreciate it. Because they could have charged 70 for this too, and I, I wouldn't have thought about it, but I think I'm too, uh... I think I'm too far in to have another- to have a valid opinion. Dude, it doesn't help that with this franchise, they release so much merchandise, it's obscene how much stuff that they release. Like... I try to keep up with at least the Nendoroids, and I don't collect Nendoroids for anything else, because that's a dangerous rabbit hole to fall down into. But, they just keep making Kirby ones, and then, especially in Japan, they're releasing stuff all the time. And then there's the Kirby Cafe, where there's merchandise that's exclusive to the cafe. Um, this franchise is nuts with the amount of stuff that they do, so... I think some people think I'm playing it up when it comes to me saying, like, Nintendo treats this franchise the best. And I really genuinely think they do. They may not get them the most numbers sales-wise per game, but in terms of just pure support for e with everything else, this is undoubtedly the franchise Nintendo supports the most. Way more than Mario. Um, like, in terms of merchandise. Obviously, there's no movie, but in terms of quantity, there's the most amount of stuff. So, and I'm here for it. When I started making content on Kirby, I did not anticipate... All the stuff that'd be happening. A Kirby movie would be sick. Yeah. I think you, you would hear hardcore fans want it to be based off of the anime. But I think if they just did like a nice... Like the Pik... You know, they did the Pikmin um, animated shorts. And those are really cute. I really like those. If they followed that line instead of the anime. I think that'd be really good. I think that'd be stuff that I'd be totally down for. Just Kirby going on mischief, uh, in a, in a silent fashion. <laughs> Actually, the, the Kid Icarus shorts were good, too. They could do stuff with that, also. Oop. I'm pretty sure this is called Karibo Shoe. Does it say? Doesn't say. Because I'm pretty sure this is just a direct reference to Mario 3. So I think it's called Karibo Shoe. That's... Alright, we did it! We did it! We got one death. Oops. 
All right. One death. No longer baby game. Now we have official hard manly man game right now. There, there are deaths. This is the Dark Souls of Kirby games. Ah, oh, damn it. Shame. I was kind of hoping to go through this entire game without dying. That would have been honestly pretty cool. But it is what it is. I'll have to prove it a different day. Oh, I forgot the shoe. It goes away. I gotta focus, make sure I don't die again. That'd be very embarrassing. Boom. Oh. Easy. See, all it does is actually paying attention. I think, uh, do I know this? Okay, no, I don't remember this room. Oh. I'm glad I did that. There's a remake of Kid Icarus Myths and Monsters. Would I like it if they did more of an uprising approach? I mean, quite frankly, I'm at a point where I would just want Kid Icarus content in general. If they remade Myths and Monsters, it would not resemble Myths and Monsters at all. Uh, so just more Kid Icarus content would be good in general. Ah. I'm already planning a line in my uh, video where I talk about the people being overloaded with Kirby content while Captain Falcon is still dead in a ditch somewhere. Hopefully that doesn't upset anybody. I'm just stating the obvious. That's just the facts. That's not that's not an opinion. That's just how Nintendo has done. They've left they've left Captain Falcon in a ditch somewhere. Um, especially with no more Smash to keep him kind of relevant. He's a uh, boy's dead. Is Mega Chonky Kirby Plush worth $30? Depends on how Mega and Chonky you're, you're referring to. Once again, I'd like to take a little bit of time just to thank you all for stopping by. We peaked at like a thousand before and I can't believe people uh, aren't here to just watch me play through a <laughs> video game. But, we still have like 760 people in here, which is crazy. So thank you guys so much for for sticking around. Giving the, the streaming thing a little bit more of a shot. Uh, interesting, interested to see where the numbers will be after all this is said and done. Uh, I will not be overloading anybody's subscription feeds with um, live streams. But, it's good to keep my avenues open. What's interesting, so I, I, I mentioned this kind of briefly before, and it was just an interesting thing that I saw. Uh, well, there's something there. I don't know if, I don't remember if it's a, if it's a sphere or not. Um, I uploaded, so in the last two months or whatever, I've uploaded three shorts as well. Um, because it's the hot thing now. Uh... I'm just, I was just curious to see how they would perform, and they've done fine. Um, it's weird, though, because, like, all of them get at least one comment from someone that's, like, sick of the concept of shorts showing up on their feeds. And it's very confusing to me, because it's a, it's, a, it's a less than 60 second piece of content that is still relevant. It's still the same video making process, it's just shorter and in a different resolution. Um... Plus, videos realistically will only happen once or twice a month. So it's an extra little piece of content. So it's just interesting. Uh, I think the majority of people are at least fine with it. Uh, I'm not expecting them to get hundreds of thousands of views. Um, just an extra little thing to work on while... While main videos are being worked on. And that's the idea with streams also. Something a little bit extra while uh, streams are being... Uh, while videos are being worked on. I think, I think some people just assume that any... Anything diverging from the typical video path is like, oh, this channel's changing. I used to like your old content more. But that stuff's not changing. That content is still going strong. 
I have an editor, so while he's editing that content, I can quickly pump out a short uh, that I think just a cute little thing for an entirely different audience. Um, I don't know how many people the turnover is for new subscribers from shorts and converting them to long-term, long-form video viewers, but hasn't been a negative yet, so it's just interesting. Uh, just an interesting dynamic on uh, on YouTube now, but no, uh, videos are not changing anytime soon. I got some exciting stuff in the works throughout the year and next year. So there are some franchises I do, I do pay attention to what people want me to play and cover. Um, and you never know when they'll pop up. Vertical videos suck. I mean, they're definitely hard to edit with. Uh, I, I do not disagree there. But, one thing I, uh, want some people to realize is it's, it's not so much a matter of what you want versus what you get thing. Like, I'm not everybody can get what they want and deal. It's just, that's just the way, that's just the way things are done. Um, but the long, the long form stuff isn't going away anytime soon. But yeah, vertical, vertical videos are definitely hard to, to work with. How do I do the... There you go. Ah! I love not being able to choose a shorts thumbnail. That's, that part sucks. But I get it. It's because they're like striving for people who just scroll through shorts rather than properly clicking on them. So I get it. But I, I also like having thumbnails for every video. So it, it would be it would be cool. Um... What's your overall opinion on this port so far? Worth the price of admission. $60 is always a subjective thing. Obviously, I always love Kirby. It, this has always been a great game. But there are so many games coming out. It's very hard to... If you like RPGs, it's going to be really tough uh, to convince. Because there are so many RPGs coming out. This, this came out the same day as Octopath. This is just dangerous. Oh, I got to pay attention. Uh... Right. So yeah, it's up. To, it's up to you. This game is great. It also Nintendo game won't really go down in price anytime soon. Um, I I know there are some people who are always like, I have my old console set up so I can play it. You know. Anyway, I was always someone who likes having the newest version of a thing. So always hard to uh, to justify a a, uh, a remaster over a new high quality game. Like, if you have $60 and you don't know what to spend it on, and if you like RPGs, I mean, Octopath will occupy your time for a little bit. Fire Emblem just came out. That's still new. It's still a great game, though. $60 is just tough. I know I said a lot of opinions on shorts, and I'm seeing other opinions on shorts, but I can't read them just yet. Just know that you're all valid, and that's important. Oh yeah, more rock transformations. You have a great point, whoever just said that. Well, hold on a second. We're gonna give this, uh... 20, 20 attempts to get the one that I'm missing. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And for good measure, I want to die. Ah, okay. I don't know why they can't just give me the thing. Okay, yeah, you can't skip them. I had seen that shorts are a real heart... ...that are hot garbage. I mean... It's just a different style of... Though the eyes on those things are definitely... Um, it's just a different style of content. I plan on making shorts that stay... ...pretty relevant... ...to my typical... 
editing style. I saw someone accuse me of just reusing old content for shorts. That's not true. I did that once for the, uh, there's a Captain Rainbow short for when I did my Japanese Nintendo game video. The other three shorts that I've done are all new content. They reuse footage, I guess, because I've had Tilt and Tumble footage on my hard drive for six years or whatever. Um, but it's just weird. Are you on? Oh. Oh, that's it. Oops. Yeah, I don't remember the eyes looking like that. They look like... They look Donkey Kong Country-esque. They, they, they're giving me weird vibes. Alright, do you have anything different? Is your animation different? Oh. Oh. Uh... I don't remember him hiding like that. I remember being able to get this pretty easily. There we go. <laughs> I don't think that was new. Fried that boy up alive. I saw someone ask if I, if I have gotten any masks yet. I have not gotten any masks yet. I wasn't really planning on doing the Mary Magdalene stuff until um, after I got through the campaign. If people really want to see me stop doing campaign stuff and dive into the minigame stuff, then I guess we can. It'll depend. I mean, my goal for tonight was to at least finish the campaign. Um, and then maybe do Magalore epilogue. So... Because I definitely want to see more of the new content. They did save the bulk of the new content for the epilogue, so... Because my thing is, I'm, I'm pretty sure Magalore Epilogue has some pretty interesting stuff in it that's brand new. Because I've already seen a couple of, like, modified boss designs. It's just I have to play through the main campaign to even unlock it. So that's why that... That's why this is taking priority. So... And that's why we're not doing masks. If anything, my plan for content was to play through extra mode with masks, so I have footage of masks. For this, I was gonna just stick to Kirby. Stop throwing the spear, I'm trying to jump. Hey, you know what would've been hot if, 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 uh, spear, oh, uh, not spear, uh, staff was in this game. Staff was such a good ability. Ah. Boom. Golden. See, Diltendo saying a little token of appreciation. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I saw people saying that they want to st see me stick to the campaign just to potentially get to Magalore, so that's probably what we'll stick to. Sorry if you're gonna be if if anyone's upset about no masks, uh, but who knows? I don't know how long I'm gonna go tonight. Cause I know that I know the main game takes about four hours. I've been streaming for two, and I'm not even halfway done. So we'll be here for a little bit. Definitely finishing the campaign tonight, no matter how long it takes. But this is definitely fun still on a level by level moment to moment basis this game is still fun for um oh excuse me for the um star allies or no the ability ranking video that i did i i played a, a, a little bit more of star allies to get some footage that i didn't have and that game man it's uh it's still a bit of a drag definitely a game that's meant for multiplayer but this game has multiplayer also but the level design was not sacrificed to make multiplayer happen. That was always my, my thing. Ten out of ten game again? 
Nintendo keeps dropping bangers, bro. I can't, I can't, it's, it's just, that's just the Kirby effect outside of Star Allies. Damn. I even loved, like, Fighters 2 and Super Kirby Clash. Like, uh, uh, part of that's definitely fanboyism, but typically Kirby don't miss. And it's funny, I think history is going to have people liking Star Allies more than others. And I think it's going to be similar to an Air Ride situation. Where people are like, dude, Air Ride is so good. And they're just referring to um, City Trial. I think you're going to see people be like, dude, this game is so good. And they're just talking about... Um, and they're just referring to the guest star mode, is my, my guess. Well... Oh, I... I don't know why I didn't think I could do that. Pretty good. I feel like water stages are the ones I have to pay the most attention to. Yeah, there's like stars like floating in the background in the water. I want to say that's a new detail, too, but I think part of me is just grasping at thin air. Oops. See? That's what happens when I look away for a split second. Soundtrack's pleasant, though. Finally quieted up for a second. The soundtrack is really pleasant. They made a remake to Air Ride? I said before, I think a sequel would be more likely. Um, I'm pretty sure Nintendo knows the uh, big money they have on making a, a new City Trial game specifically. They could even make City Trial a free-to-play game with a stupid battle pass. They won't, but I'm saying if they could, they'll probably make it, you know, they, they could make it work. They made, uh, like, Super Kirby Clash a free-to-play game. They're not above this. Oh, I think it's like a hidden door, right? I think, think I remember that. Do you not see where the door is on the other side? Is that it? Yeah, it's in the, it's in the, it's in the weeds. Tricky, tricky. No one said anything, by the way, about an additional HAL room, so I don't know if I've just been missing them, or if they're just not until later on in the game. Does Magalore epilogue mean that if we get Triple Deluxe and Rebobot remasters, we'll get Terranza and Suzy modes? That'd be cool. I mean, they both already have uh, DD Detour and Meta Nightmare, but obviously any new content would be uh, would be awesome. I'll take that. Sword's always good. Kirby's Dream Course 2. Dude, that would be hot also. I had, I've always had such mixed opinions on Dream Course because I always played it single player and I'm like, uh, it's not that great. But I played it multiplayer and that's when that game peaks. Um, Dream Course multiplayer is so good. That's one of the best multiplayer games on Super Nintendo. Um, single player is very mid, in my opinion. In my opinion. But the multiplayer really sells it. So if they were to do more, with like a hundred courses or whatever, and DLC courses, four player instead of two player. God, that would be the that would be so good. That's the thing, man. I think I think the developers know that they have a very wide uh, wealth of Kirby content they can fall back on in new ways. Um, that's why it's always impressive when like Dream Buffet, like something like Dream Buffet happens, because that was entirely new. I haven't had something entirely new like that for a minute, so. Well, a minute for Kirby standards, which is a game every year. Is there a... It seems like there would be a thing back there. Do I know about He Who Remains? Is that a... Is that a Marvel reference? Is that a... Is that a Kang the Conqueror reference? Which, I mean, sure. I'm a Marvel fan also. 
Uh... God, I love Spear so much. Oh, this thing. I forgot about this thing. Kirby running with the panic. Oh, I got here way early. Yoink. Easy. It was a Kang the Conqueror reference. I like, I, I you know what, I uh, I know a lot of people are burnt out of MCU stuff. I'm still a fan. I'm still, I'm still all along for the ride. I really liked Quantumania. I know a lot of people a little iffy on it. Oh, I liked it. Loving the enhancements of Metroid Prime Remastered. I only got to play it a little bit finally yesterday. Uh, and yeah, it's, uh... It's gorgeous. That's one of my favorite games of all time, so I'm very excited. Oh, someone says they they prefer the DC universe to the Marvel universe. That is a that is a take. That is definitely one of the takes of all time. I can't stand DC. Personally. Um but I'm also in too deep with the MCU with friends to really ever consider dipping from the from the, the the watch parties and stuff that we do, so. Even if a movie like The Eternals made me want to pull my eyeballs out. Uh, still watched it. But like the DC stuff, I can't get over how mismanaged it is by having all these good actors and they let them go and they were building something and then they fired Alton and... Oh, no, it's, 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 there's, there's too much with that. Um, I'm too deep into Marvel right now. But I also respect people who are burnt out from it. Uh, I get it. It's a lot to consume. As someone who doesn't really watch movies in general, it's easier to keep up with the MCU when I don't really watch anything else. Bam. Am I going to play the 3D platformer Clive and Wrench or release today? It's inspired by Ratchet, Jack, Banjo. I have it. Do plan on playing it. They sent me a review code. And also they sent me a... Oh, I didn't press the button. Um, they sent me it on PS5 also, which is cool. Um, I do plan on playing it. I've just been very busy. There's been so much other things I've been doing. Also, I remember like with the Marvel stuff... It was upsetting, because I, I was trying to, uh, add to my meme and, like, reach out to the actor who plays Paul, uh, who plays Ant-Man, Paul Rudd. He doesn't have a Twitter account. It would have been really funny if, if I got something to work out with that. Uh, because he seems like a, he seems like a pleasant guy, and an Ant-Man, Ant-Dude collab would be amazing. Um, but, don't think that's in the cards. <laughs> I don't think that's in the cards, no. Which is fine. Just would have been funny. And dude, MCU cameo? No. The potential of them saying Ant Dude in an Ant in an Ant Man movie is definitely there. And I can't wait for that to happen. Never will though. Alright, fatty puffer! Let's go. I feel like Fatty Puffer is definitely someone's, like, dating profile name. Whoop. Just look at that little underwater, like, the little underwater city in the back. There's a lot of good detail in this game. Oops. Just Fatty puffing along. Ah, alright, that's fine. Rest in peace! Oh, nope, not yet! Give me the drop stars. Oh my god. No! God, he's just fatty puffing around. Give me the stars! Oh my god! Thank you. I got it! Fatty puffers, fatty dead. Got him. Thanks for stopping by and becoming a member of the Ant Farm. Bleak Forest, you have a good night. We 
we got four new members of the ant farm in this stream. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have to come up with ways to benefit uh, people who actually manage to become a member. I'm not sure with what just yet, but I will I will figure something out. Aside from people just getting these cool little ant emotes next to their name. I'll figure something out. Me and Kirby make a great couple. Thank you. We've been together our entire lives, actually. Alright. World 3 done. World 3 of 7, I think? I really want to say it's... it's uh... I want to say it's 7. It's 5 on the main level and then 2 on a different planet. Spoilers. Aren't we, aren't we father and son? It's whatever whatever lore you wanna you wanna ascribe to it. You know, at, at this point, it's so much to keep up. It's so much lore to keep up with. I can't I can't dictate uh, what it is uh, you do with your time. All right, we are going to run, start a new recording session. Start off with white wafers. I love white wafers. This is where some of the best music in the game is, I'm pretty sure. Outside of Sky Tower. Making our way, though. Mm, is that... Oh. Mutt Red? Is that Mutt Red 5? Thank you so much for becoming a member of the ant farm. Appreciate it. And now you get a cute little ant emote next to your name. Alright. Man, the colors pop... But, like, the outlines in this level pop so much more with these dark outlines. Yeah, I can't imagine not digging these outlines. I'm, a, I'm really a big fan. I'm pretty sure there's also, like, there's a mod that already exists. Um, it did for the demo, at least, that removes the outlines for everything. And the game still looks fine. But, man, I, I'm actually a fan of, uh, of these. Woo! Yeah, it's weird. The, so, Mecha and Sand are really weird because it's like... They're not bad abilities, but no puzzles or anything were ever built around them. So they're kind of just there for the sake of it. With no expectation that you ever need to use them. As opposed to others where, uh... You know, like the ice blocks and stuff. There's a deliberate purpose for some of them. Mecha and Sand are just meant to be fun. Would I ever consider a Discord server? I did have a Discord server in the past that I... I no longer have. Um, I don't know if I would ever consider opening up a new one. As it stands, no plans. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll figure something out. Could always do like a member only stream to really uh, not have to deal with the people who are upset about there being too many live streams or whatever. It's a, it's a potential. As it stands, though, I appreciate the support for anyone who does. You know, a game would be hot if they re if they remastered it. Also, is DKC Returns. Um, Tropical Freeze is obviously incredible, but man, I I feel like I feel like Nintendo has such a lot of money on their hands, and I think they understand the value of bringing every game they've ever done to Switch. Um, just in some capacity, they can realistically resell any of their games again. Uh, I think they know it. Um, DKC Returns would be so good. Like, my, my assumption is whatever the next hardware is, is gonna continue to be called Switch. They can't get rid of this uh, hype that they have. So they'll just continue the trend of, uh, getting these games out on Switch for years to come, and it'd be awesome. I'm, I would still be down for that. Actually, yeah, I guess that's a good conversational topic. What do people think about uh, the potential of new hardware? I know Switch Pro is such an over uh, used phrase at this point. 
but it has to happen at some point, you know? My guess is, like, maybe over the summer, if not, definitely by the end of the year, we're gonna finally see something regarding uh, new Switch hardware that's actually more powerful. And I think they're gonna use Metroid Prime 4 as, like, the launching off point. Um, as, like, a game that's, you know, uh, plays on Switch, plays better on Switch Pro. They do the PS5 approach. Of, like, games run on PS4, they run better on PS5. That's my guess. And then, uh, it'll just allow Nintendo to keep on this trend of doing exactly what they're doing and making a ton of money. Um, and it would prevent issues like Zelda and Pokemon and third-party games from running like garbage a lot of the times. So, that's my guess. I don't actually know anything about Kamen Rider, I just know it exists. Nintendo doesn't value DK? I don't think that's the case. They're giving DK a very prominent role in the movie. And I wouldn't be surprised if they, um... Come up with some new Kirby game. There's been rumblings at this, like, a new 3D one for years. And, and... Those games are always possible. It's just a matter of when they announce them. But... Because who knows what the second half of this year can bring. I can see them slipping a Donkey Kong game in there, why not? Because all they got to do is, is whatever new Donkey Kong thing happens is they say, Hey, King K. Rule's back. There's everyone. There's all the pre-orders. There you go. It's the highest selling Donkey Kong game of all time. And the thing is, I don't, I don't even think I'm joking. I think that's like a genuine possibility with that one. Oh, is this the level where I can finally become a snowman head? I was waiting. This is a very important moment in this game. Oh, Ninja! I forgot this was in here. I don't know why I remember Ninja returning in Triple Deluxe and not here. I'm cool with this. There you go. Ninja's so cool. Because ninjas are just cool in general. And then you can wall jump. Oh. Look at this Mega Man X looking... Slide on a little bit. So good. Such a good ability. What's up, Gage, again? Thank you so much for the content over the years. Am I going to be streaming the Pokemon Direct in a few days? I forgot that was happening. Uh, probably not. Um, I think... I, I spend too much time worrying about sticking to franchises that are under my umbrella. Um, Nintendo Directs are generally pretty hype, but because I don't see myself as a Pokemon tuber... I'd rather just sit back and enjoy it, personally. Because I don't have as much input as some other people do. Um, so probably not. Uh, can I burn these? That's absurd. Well, the lighting, though, looks nice. The, the fire going through the... Um, oh, can I... Yay, it works. Okay, cool. Uh, I do know that there is supposed to be, I guess, the rumor circulating is that... Um, Wow, you can really blast through this. That there's supposed to be a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. Which I know people are very excited about. Uh, I have not played any Mystery Dungeon game. I own... I own all of them. Technically. I own the Switch one. The remaster. I own Explorers of Sky. Um, and I... Uh, ooh, and I own the two 3DS ones. I don't own every version of every Mystery Dungeon. Um, but I own one version... I think, the, I think the definitive version of the two first ones. It's something I would like to get into. Because uh, I know people are super into Mystery Dungeon. I did not realize how big into Mystery Dungeon people were. People are into Mystery Dungeon. Um, so. You love Super Mystery Dungeon? So I made a tweet once the rumor started circulating about general thoughts of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. It seemed like the general consensus was Rescue Mission, good. Explorers of Sky, incredible. Super, underappreciated. And Gates to Infinity, bad. Unless you play it for like hours and then it gets good. Oops. Damn. That was the uh, assumption I got. Um, damn. Yeah, let me go get the shoe. But yeah, I'm, I'm still going to watch this, the, the direct, whatever they do. I'll watch. 
I'm assuming there'll be DLC for Scarlet Violet. I really like Scarlet and Violet, so... Pretty spot on. I just want to... I want to play more Mystery Dungeon games in general. Like, not just Pokemon. Just, uh... The genre. Okay, there's another one on Switch that just came out called Void... Void Terrarium? That looks cool. Um... I, wa I just want to give that genre a shot. You know it would be hot if they made another Pokemon channel. That would that would be that would be interesting if they make a new Pokemon channel game. I could see this company undoing any good faith they've had uh, with the last few good games and being like, "Hey, we're bringing Pokemon Rumble back. And it's going to be dreadful." I could see it. I could see it. They're not above that. Pokemon Channel Deluxe, hell yeah. Saw so Explorers of Cry... Uh, Explorers of Sky made someone cry for the first time. That's what I've... That's what I've heard. I've heard that story is genuinely, like, really emotional, which is wild. Pokemon Sleep! Oh, God. Yeah, when's Pokemon Sleep coming back? Alright. Alright. We're gonna, okay, now we're gonna give it. We're gonna do 20 more attempts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight, nine, nope, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I want, uh, 20. I wanna die. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know. I've seen it. There is a rock form that is based off of Dream Buffet. It, you don't need any weird save file from Dream Buffet to make it work. It's just a thing. And I've gotten the two other new ones, which are Magalore and uh, Carby from Forgotten Land. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. What, I don't know what the deal is. Is there anything here? No. But, God, I'm so tired of waiting. I just want it so bad. And for those who are new and have missed this, uh, well, I can't spin now. But that one uses the older, uses an older D King DD design. There's the Carby one again! That's another new one! The Magalore one's, I think, new too. I could be wrong on that. I saw the QB one. Wow. Oh my god. I, it's driving me crazy. Try dashing and then stone? I mean... That wouldn't change anything. It's just annoying. Gonna have to go through hell to get footage of this. Oh, they gave me sand for the boss fight. Let me, uh... Where's the guy? There's the guy. The new enemies are really cute, though, at the very least. Pokemon has more merchandise than Kirby? Yeah, no, that's true. However, Pokemon is its own thing. Nintendo just happens to pump out the games. Pokemon Company has always been its own subsidiary. Um, so it's not as cut and dry as Nintendo doing stuff with Kirby. But yeah, in terms of merchandise and stuff, yeah, there's obviously more Pokemon stuff than Kirby. But that's Pokemon Company. Oh, I didn't even realize it was Super Hammer time. Alright, cool. Pokemon also has more characters, yeah. Like, they're gonna make plushes of every single Pokemon if they haven't already. Uh, obviously that won't get topped by Kirby anytime soon. 
But if they ever do a plush of the new Sand Dragon, I'd be down with that. Whoa, whoa, I'm going too fast. You know, I think they recently just did new plushes of Rick Kine and Koo. I think that's important. That's a very that's a very good thing that I was considering buying. I didn't because I have no room for plushes anymore. Um, but always good when there's new Rick Kine and Koo merch. Oh, I don't think I no. See, my thing, I I still, I still never will understand why these segments are timed. There's no rush. And if you just move forward, you'll get to the end by the time halfway is done. It's a, it's a weird thing to have a time limit for that. There might be a pitch plush? I don't know, actually. I don't keep up. There, there's so many plushes out there. There's, uh, there's Twitter accounts out there that promote whenever there's new Kirby merchandise. And it is insane, just how much releases, so. I realize that there's a very strong possibility that by the end of this playthrough, I'll have 99 lives, and that'll just be kind of cool. Obviously, I already died once, and that's unfortunate. I don't know what I'm doing. That's fine. You know what Kirby spinoff I would want? I think I've said this before, but I want a Kirby Warriors game. Kirby's canonically a Star Warrior. Quite frankly, it writes itself. We can give Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors a break. I want Kirby's Star Warriors. That would honestly be pretty dope. I want to talk about the amount of characters that they can pull from. Bro. HAL Labs has been on, like, a fan service tear with Kirby recently. Um, so they could easily facilitate a Warriors game. Uh, that would be so good. Especially to have, like, a Warriors game that's, like, really bright and colorful. Um... Something way different than uh, the style of Zelda and Fire Emblem. They're more likely to probably do something with, like, Metroid or Xenoblade, but it would be pretty dope. That's all I'm saying. Plus, Super Chat from Mario Yoshi4723. Any games you would recommend for an Atlanta to DC road trip? Besides this, of course, already getting it. God, there are so many to, to, to choose from. I mean, Metroid Prime... It's probably the, probably the good one. P play Pikmin 3 Deluxe if you want to catch up on um, before Pikmin 4. If you want a good story game, my little gem from last year was 13 Sentinels. I played that last year and that was really good. Um, yeah, I'll just stick to those three. Because, I mean, I have hundreds of Switch games, but I'll stick to, I'll stick to those three for now. You can throw... Oh, and Fire Emblem's also... A good choice. Engage was really good. Good entry level Fire Emblem if you haven't played Fire Emblem before. Oh yeah, Minish Cap. The, G the Game Boy app also. Gargoyles Quest 2, or just 1, being on the Game Boy app is super cool. So, more of that the better. Yeah, but we're, we're still trucking along here. We're making good, good progress. Underrated Switch Gems Video 2. I was thinking about it. Uh, probably bide my time before I do that again. But I've played a lot of Switch games that I think a lot of people haven't played. So, I'll save that for when the, when the time feels more appropriate. But I do want to shine more light on indie games and stuff for sure. What's up, Brian? I feel like Hal Labs doesn't make the Kirby games. They stop... What? I feel like Hal Games don't make the Kirby games. They stop the Kirby dimension from completely taking over, but a game seeps out every month. It just... It's a curse and we're all living it. It's a pandemic of Kirby games. And... 
I'm living. I'm living it. I'm living for it. Gotta catch them all. Oops. Well, there went the spear. I got that for two seconds, and it was a fun two seconds, but that was about it. Alright. Every time I look at the chat for 20, 20 milliseconds, I get hit, so... We're gonna get out of dodge real quick. Anxiety inducing than it had any right to be. Oh, which way are you going? Cool. Well, I want to still thank everyone for sticking around. We still have like roughly 700 people in here, and that's crazy. So thank you so much. I figured normally I wouldn't like the idea of streaming a brand new game because obviously a lot of people want to play the game for themselves. I'm not that type of guy who wants to do that very often, but I figured. It's a Kirby game, and it's an old game, so no harm in that. You guys aren't really getting spoiled with anything. Oh. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I can go through this. I forgot I was invincible. I thought I was just invisible. Oh. Is that all that was for? The new outlines. I know people are getting spoiled by the new outlines. A shame. I'm spoiling the masses. There we go. Bingo. Bingo. And just another mention, if I if I'm missing people in the chat, I do apologize. I'm trying to pay attention, but clearly every time I look away from the chat, I miss things. Um, the only way a message can get guaranteed is with a super chat. Uh, that's just the only way I can guarantee a message gets seen, but I'm trying. Trying my best out here. Ah. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> nope. We're gonna stick to one death. Uh, this is gonna be bad. Can I, like... Well, <laughs> that was risky business. That was a little, a little too tight, but hey, worked out. I should not have survived that. That should have been death number two. Really tempting fate now. Bop. So that was about to be me. You know, when we're on the topic of, like, Kirby dominance, what else is there that can really... So Kirby Dream Land 2 needs to come to, to NSO, as well as the spin-offs. That'd be cool. Uh, I think... Is... I think Kirby... Uh, oops. I think the Star Stacker sequel is on Japanese Nintendo Switch Online. I uh, could be wrong there, but I think that's the case. No. Incorrect. Clearly, as you can tell. This boy about to get... Bop! Oh, man. This back just got obliterated. Poor guy. I hate to see it. God, I hate... Oh. God. There yeah, I... For some reason, always hated this room. Oh, my God. There. It's the least favorite room in the game. How will Tilt and Tumble run on the Switch? It's going to use the gyro controls of the controllers. I'm pretty sure that's already been confirmed. I think people who have gone through the emulator already have tested it. I think it already... I think it works. 
It's just a matter of them officially releasing it. But that means native tilt and tumble on console just by tilting the controller around. And that's Luigi Blood. It was you. I forgot you you follow me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was uh yeah, you. Um which is super cool. Um just being able to play tilt and tumble with this is going to be a life changer because I played when I did my video on it years ago. I had modded my Wii, played it on that emulator, and it works with the tilting um uh Wii remote just fine. But having it with gyro controls on a Switch controller, have it be official, that's going to be so good. Um, doesn't change the fact that the game is still kind of just okay, but people will get to actually experience it. I feel like playing it on an actual Game Boy is not fun, because you're tilting the whole world in your hands. I want to just be able to, I want to see the entire game straight on, personally. So, yeah, just very cool. Very cool stuff indeed. Oh, oh that's a ticket, uh, short. Well, no ticket for me. It's fine. It's Kirby. Isn't kind of okay? Still about a 7 out of 10. You're not wrong. Very rarely is uh, Kirby ever truly mid. Which is why when something like Battle Royale comes out, it's truly devastating. Oh, also playing with fire. Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, I forgot. The switch is portable, so you still can't tilt the screen. I won't plan on doing that. I might test it out just to see how it works. I'm sure it'll work fine, but I will likely not. What I'm more interested in is wondering if they can pull off uh, WarioWare Twisted, because I know like that gy uh, gyroscope you can turn it 360 degrees. I think the Pro Controller gets a little finicky if you try to do completely upside down. But I think they can... I think they can make it work. Then they would also port Topsy Turvy. And... The game is trash, so... Wouldn't, wouldn't really even matter. Yeah, the GBA emulator, just from the test I put into it, I think is also great. I'm not a huge fan of the, the color palette. I think I'm so used to typical emulators that the more washed out look is definitely more faithful. Um, I just prefer the more saturated colors, but still great to have all those games on, on standby at any given time. I forgot the noises and that startled me. I feel like those are louder than everything else in the game. No! Oh, Rip. That was almost good. Oh. oh, that's upsetting. Here it is! Oh, no! I get- get- get your ass! No, no. Oh my god. There we go. Important. Best part of the game. It's the best part of the game. Without a doubt. In the leaked GBA emulator, there were traces of the Japanese-only tilt puzzle game. Oh yeah, I know about that game. That they can definitely pull off. I just, I just wonder about uh, Twisted. Didn't have a great day today, but you put <laughs> my day right now. I like your work. Hope Hal will put some more Kirby games in. <laughs> Thank you. Kirby is always uh, an epitome of having a good time. So I hope your day gets better. You know what I hope Magalore Epilogue has is more of these chase segments. I always like the pressure of chase segments in platformers. Just need more more difficult ones. Oh, that, that's a shame. Cool. 
the chases and <laughs> yeah the chases in pizza tower are also incredible which someone asked before but yes please play pizza tower i think that's why i want more intense chase segments is because i was playing a lot of pizza tower which is pretty peak honestly oh. Go up, up, up. Very nice, very nice. Why do I need chase segments? I just think they're fun. I like the intensity of them. Don't attack! No! Aw. Oh. Damn, that was so close. Oh my god. Ho 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 ho! That was pretty cool. Uh, I gotta lie, that was pretty cool. This is it. That just went face first into it. That was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. Oh, yeah, Star Allies, the ultimate choice mode, was definitely no joke. But True, true Arena uh, final difficulties were always very intense. The final difficulty in Forgotten Land Arena was pretty crazy, too. Ooh, a bonjour from France? Awesome, thank you so much. For everyone who, who knew, by the way, who keeps coming in, you may be wondering, I gotta keep reiterating this, why the chat below keeps freezing and then will just suddenly shoot up? It's a good question. I don't know either. I'm gonna figure it out, and hopefully by the next time I stream, it's uh, it's all situated, because I am not a fan of it either. So, But, I'm able to read the chat clearly. It just doesn't always work uh, as intended. Oh, there's another stage? A five-stage world, holy cow. Oh, look how atmospheric with the Aurora Borealis in the background. Oops. Would I consider moving back to Twitch for streams? Uh, not likely, honestly. Um, I have a lot of reasons for it. And it's it always sounds like I... I, I don't know. It, it, Twitch is fine. Uh... I don't like how Twitch is run as a company, uh, and I think YouTube has more benefits. I like being able to have a YouTube thumbnail um, for for my streams. I think the VODs on YouTube are better. Um, Twitch VODs are terrible. Um, discoverability on YouTube is still not great, but you know, in my case, I fortunately don't really need that. I just want to give my fans what they already what, just more of me. Um, yeah, so, and I also just kind of want to have it where I only have to have one platform to really worry about, and now I have three avenues I can worry about, because I'm adding shorts into things, and I don't really plan on tackling TikTok anytime soon, uh, or Instagram, so, just works out for me. Um, things I could do to maintain myself while also doing a little bit more. Um, I know, like, when it comes to streaming and stuff... Oh, what the hell? Oops. When it comes to YouTube and stuff, people typically subscribe for one thing and then always feel uh, iffy when a YouTuber does something... Ah, well, death number two. When a YouTuber deviates from the course... Like, if I were to stop doing Android videos and started doing something else, people would understandably be a little upset. At least here, I can study the course with my videos and then still experiment a little bit. Plus, I do have a second channel that I do have some ideas for. So. We're making it work over here. Am I crazy? I, there was a door. Oh, I need this thing. That's why I blanked out. Uh, party time. Plus, I think Twitch really enforces um, a very rapid streaming amount. Like, how often you are, re like, required to stream to really make something of yourself. And on YouTube, I feel like I don't have to do that because I'm tackling multiple pillars of content. 
you're not going to see multiple streams every week or so from me. If I do one stream a month, it'll be a miracle. So. Yeah, that's just my deep, somewhat deep uh, thoughts about content. I don't, I don't want to bore anybody with that. I think about these things a lot. Um, clearly, because it's my job. Also, regarding videos, my editor is in the chat. If you see Hey Raguio, uh, that is my editor. Uh, and he's making videos of, of himself now, too, for himself. So, go and check all that stuff out. He's a good, he's a good little lad. Sixty-eight hours of streaming a week just to do the terrible new ad stuff. Whew. Whew. YouTube is by no means perfect, um, but they seem a little bit more pro creator uh, than Twitch at the moment. Up, 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 up. What type of content? Does Hey Raguio do? He also does like the, uh, the the sort of long form editorial stuff. He's working on a video now of like photography modes in games. Everyone should go and subscribe. He's a good lad. This environment looks way different. Oh, snowman jump scare. <laughs> the pressure's on now? That's right. Once people know you make content, it never ends. What am I holding? Oh. Oh, okay. No. Cool. Easy peasy. What's the best invincibility candy theme that someone asks? I think the Kirby 64 one's underappreciated. Because it's only used in that game. But they're all good. It's pretty, pretty peak in, uh... Forgotten Land. Oh, oh, oh. Playing with fire. Okay. I missed a sphere?! Oh, God. When the hell did I miss a spear? Oh, that sucks. Alright, I gotta redo this level. When did I miss a sphere? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna back out now. I'm gonna have to redo it anyway. Damn. How embarrassing. How the hell did I actually miss one? That's what I get. I keep I keep not I keep not paying attention and then I just just bad things happen. Other way. And I can't make that mistake again. My credibility will be ruined if I miss any more spheres. I don't know why I'm saying spheres. Spheres. I think I'm at that part of the day where I'm just losing it. Been streaming for about three hours now. This is going to be a lot longer than I thought. There it was. Okay, well I saw it. I think that was the new one, at least. Hey, hey! A spear! No, someone unsubscribed because they because I missed a spear. Hit the thing. Okay, cool. Alright, so there's that one. That, that is the first one. Where in the hell is the second one? Alright, uh, 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 uh It's not up there, right? 
Nope, nothing up there. Is that... No. Okay, doesn't look like it's in this room. Okay. Oh, it's behind this. Uh, surprised I didn't even think about it. Come on. There we go. I'm such a fool. I'm such a damn fool. Alright, what I gotta do is gotta race. Woo. Uh, man, that thing gets some pretty good horizontal speed. Yeah, I like uh, I like Mecha. Oh, I don't think it popped, but Figer? Figer2103 became a member of the stream. Thank you so much. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome to the ant farm. Hopefully you enjoy your stay. I wish I knew what was customary to reward people with on uh when it becomes when it comes to becoming members. I don't know if I would do a thing where you get to access my videos one day early. I don't know. It's all new to me. Damn, Nintendon showed up. What's up, bro? Welcome. Terrible. Not showing my, my true Kirby fan ways here. Alright, I just gotta... I just, I want to get back to new content. Usually YouTubers just make emotes. I do have emotes. I just don't know if I actually have them enabled. Oops. Uh, for the, the stream. But I have my old Twitch emotes that I realistically should just pop on if they're not already. Most people do the early access stuff. Just happy to be able to support one of my favorite creators. Thank you so much. Had this game for less than a day and Mecha is already my favorite copy ability. That is totally fair. Dude, if they if they were to add... If they were going to add Mirror to this game, it would have been over. This would have jumped to the top of the list of my rankings. That's my favorite ability for those who are not kept up with the Ant Dude lore. Alright, finally back to new stuff. God, there's a stupid festival star. May as well. Wait, get them all on screen. There you go. I don't know why I'm so not caring about festival. I feel like I'm overdoing it, but I genuinely just think it's a waste. I would so much rather them just, like, throw more crash stars everywhere. Because it's just Mike with the cutscene? Yeah, more or less. Uh, it just doesn't evoke, pa like, crash, Mike. Uh, they all are, like, these things where you just, like, destroy... Whatever is on screen. You just dance, and for whatever reason, things blow up. Um, I get that it's cute. Kirby's cute, but I don't know. I don't know. I think it's... I think it's dumb. I think it's one of the few times I'm like, you didn't need to do that. You, you really didn't need to bring that back. That, that, was a, that was a waste of resources. But probably it wasn't even a waste. They've been using the same engine for so long. It was probably like a copy and paste. Uh, oh, I'm glad they put sand up there. All right, let's do this boss. That's Santiago. I see that. Just spelling Santiago out with numbers. I like that. Thank you. Welcome to the inform. All right, Goriath. 
Always loved this thing's design. I think this is super cool. Man, sand is actually kind of perfect for this. Whoop. I love that he does that. He's like, ow, my hand. Oh my god. Do the jump. Ah! Ah! Alright, I'm not doing... Oh, that was a that was a pretty deep collision right there. Oh, now he's Super Saiyan. Oh, I forgot he does a, a beam. Ah! Come on, come on! Ah! Jump. Oh, are you kidding me? They didn't hit. Oh my god, I'm not I'm trying to do new moves. This is not this is not working out super great. Alright, that was not that was not a very clean run. I'm not gonna lie. That was not good. Very embarrassing run of Goriath. Basically no life for this game, just like I'm doing now. Finish the campaign overnight, rapidly re the minigame missions, epilogue, and extra net. There's a, there is a, a pretty good amount of content. All these Kirby games always have a lot of content if you wanted to 100% it. Main game, extra mode, which is just the, ex the same game again. Magalore is supposed to be like two hours. Arena can take a while if you want to beat the hardest difficulty. It's like watching Helen Keller play? Wow. Wow, that's a new one. Thank you. Thank you, Bungaroo. VTuber when? Not likely. I think that's out of my wheelhouse. Appreciate the interest, though. Do I think the epilogue will give us major lore? I expect there to be something. Not major lore, though. I don't think they'll throw major lore in a remaster. I'd love to be proven wrong. Oh, I said I was a cool dude. He's a cool dude too. He'll never do anything. He'll never do anything to make me upset at him. VTuber would be an actual ant with a beard. Sick. I appreciate the thought. Nutty noon. Between Star Allies, Forgotten Land, and Return to Dreamland, which one's the best? Forgotten Land, I would say. Uh, I would. I would definitely say Forgotten Land. Um, this game is great, too. Uh, Star Allies, you can really save that towards the bottom. Uh, I am going to take just a quick break to re-up on my water. It's always important to stay hydrated, so I'm going to do that real quick, and we'll come back, and we're gonna finish the rest of the game. We've been going for three hours now, thank you all for sticking around, and, uh, yeah, we will be back shortly. Oh, it st still shows the Nintendo Direct. Uh... It's just a black screen. I'll be back in a minute. Everyone go refuel. Get your drinks. Go to the bathroom. I'll be back shortly.
All right. Easy peasy. Thank you all for sticking around. Always a sharp drop off whenever there's like a be right back moment of a stream. It's wild. People are like, this is my chance. I can leave now. <laughs> like, fuck, deuces. But no. You all who are sticking around, I appreciate it. We, uh, we still got, we still got a few more worlds to go. We got three more worlds to go. So we're gonna start off with Nutty Noon. I missed the biggest Nintendo Direct moment. Oh my god. I forget, yeah, I just forgot to update that, uh, that screen. What's, what's whatever. I'm a, I'm a novice. Alright, so we're about to, we're about to hit, like, the, uh... Oh, Mary Magdalene's in the back. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're about to hit some of the, one of the best songs in the game. That's actually kind of cool. Like genuinely, just hit something new. Like late, like this late in the game. All right. Uh, anything else fancy on this screen? I don't remember. I don't think so. Let's go. I just like that, that that that's in the background. I think that's really cute. Why does Saiyan Kirby look like Dio? Yeah, that's what I've been saying. It's funny. It's it's really it's really funny. I like I like that a lot. Yeah, the background looks really nice. This game always looked good. I was definitely on like the Wii fanboy side of things. Um, really loved right from the offset how good this game looked, and it's very simple, obviously, but. I think it just looks pleasant. Looks pleasant and dreamlike, as it's supposed to be. Plus this music, holy cow. Uh, I think I need whip for this, but we're gonna have to build up to get to 100 lives, so let's, uh... Let's quickly get the whip real quick. Magdalene is supposed to be in another dimension. You're right! Mutt Red with the two dollars just breaking up the the canon of the game. That is true. They explicitly made a point to say that Mayor Magoland takes place in another dimension, but why is it there? Hmm. Damn. This game just went went to a two out of ten. That's a shame. Broke the lore wide open. I'm gonna have to call that out in my video. Thank you. Man. I know also, I found this out, they changed the design of Wing a little bit. Uh, it's a very minor thing, but he used to have more standard, I, I don't know what you would call them, but just different red feathers instead of wings behind his like ears, like that part. And I think, I, I don't know why, if there's like a a racial tone with it or something like I, I don't know what it is because they did something similar with um mr. game and watch in uh, smash um, so I don't know if that's the reason I genuinely have no idea I was just looking at the Kirby wiki and it was like hey they changed this design and I'm just assuming like why would they change feather to wing and they did the same thing with mr. game and watch if you if you look uh, into like cut content from smash ultimate um, just an interesting little nugget. Was wearing a war bonnet headdress. A big no-no. Yeah, see, I don't really know anything about that. that. That's not something that I really am too familiar with. Um, at the end of the day, Wing is still a sick ability, so... Whatever maintains uh, being able to keep this ability around with no problems is fine by me. But the idea of Kirby going to war is admittedly kind of funny. As we've already established in Forgotten Land, he has no problem uh, holding a gun, so. Antid, you are one of my favorite YouTubers, and I find your love for Kirby so cute and wholesome. Did I look more into Maxwell the Cat? Well, thank you, Aqua Sky. And I did. I still don't really know much of the origin of uh, Maxwell. Um, I just know it's a cute low poly black cat uh i've seen a lot of tiktoks with it just bouncing around with that one song sure it's just cute so it's i'm i'm okay with it 
Uh, it's just crazy to me that Sonic Frontiers was my first exposure to that thing. Yeah, Nutty Noon is like... Are we in agreement that this is probably the best stage, the best world in the... in the game? Like, this is some of the stuff that I wish the game did more of, and that we got more of in the sequels, is more like... Like, um... Themes that are a little bit more unconventional. Sky is definitely not uncommon, but it's not as common as grass, fire, ice, all that sort of stuff. Will I ever... Someone asked if I'll do an in-depth video on Cosmic Shake. Not looking likely. I know I put all that work into the Spongebob retrospective. Um, and then a new game came out. But... The way YouTube kind of is right now, doing videos on solo games is not as enticing to me. I want to do game uh, videos where I cover multiple games. Kirby's an exception. Um, so the timing just didn't really work out. So sadly, no uh, in-depth review of Cosmic Shake, although to be fair, I don't really have much to say anyway. It's just a really good platformer. Um, definitely recommend it, especially if you liked Battle for Bikini Bottom. I don't know if I still have to legally say thank you for the code THQ <laughs> for that. I don't know if I'm able to legally just mention it without saying it, but I was I, it's a good game, so... I forgot that uh, talking for over three hours straight can really put a strain on your throat. Water, getting extra water was really, uh, really a good call on my part. I appreciate all the love in the chat. I know I don't catch up with everything, but I, I appreciate it uh, nonetheless. It's just hard to, to get to everything while also playing the game. Is this Sky Tower finally? Is 6-2? Is this it? Yeah! Oh my god, I this, this song is... This is a peak top 5 Kirby song. And the theme with the, the sunset, god, is so good. This is, this is really... This is peak Kirby, honestly. I love this so much. The few times they've done remixes of this song, too. Just fantastic. You always think that... Some games have their soundtracks and their classics on lock, and then Kirby just comes in and just consistently makes soundtracks that are just... God, they're just... They're always so good. Just so good and happy and cheery. Nope. Oh. Damn. That's it. Okay. I don't want another death. It's just so happy. And yeah, this sunset's looking great. Whenever the background gets a little bit brighter, like how it did in the ice level, the outline style really pops a whole lot more. I like it a whole lot. Just feels good to be playing this game again. Man, I forgot how much that I did like this game. And the fact that it was like only kind of the middle of my list just shows how good Kirby games usually are. And I think, which which is the stage that has the Hal room? Uh, I think someone I heard someone say it was World Six. I think was probably the next one, but I should be able to. I should try to keep in mind when it pops up so I know. That was perfect. Six five. Okay. Been watching me since twenty nineteen. Thank you so much. If Star Allies had all its DLC at launch, I think it would be viewed more positively today. Potentially, but it would still have the issue of um, a lacking campaign. Like, I don't know how much uh, Guest Star alone would have saved it. Especially since it mostly just appeals to hardcore fans. Okay. There we go. Because, yeah, the main campaign... I mean, Heroes in Another Dimension, the extra mode was also just kind of okay. So, eh. Um, I'll, I'll, I will forever hold that opinion about Star Allies. 
Um, but even then, it's not a terrible game. It's just one of the weakest Kirby games. But I hope that, like, they really take the 3D stuff with Forgotten Land and really push it uh, in the future. We don't need another Star Allies. They have to keep improving somewhere. That's not true. Not every sequel needs to be a massive improvement. Um, it was just such a blatant downgrade, though, I thought. Damn, look at me, that fir the first try. Uh... Not first try. Not second try, either. It's okay. We out of here. So someone asked, well, what Kirby game would I want next? I mean, 3D platformer's been done, but I think 3D platformer with some more original themes would be good. Because similar to Return, that game didn't really do much with its theming in terms of typical level designs. Obviously, it did some cool stuff. It's a great game, but more original. Like, give me a good gimmick with the 3D stuff. Um, but I've said, uh, yeah, I said before, a Kirby Warriors game would be sick. And if they can somehow get an RPG uh, with the copyability idea, that would be super cool. Otherwise, I'll be down for whatever they throw at me. Clearly. Hasn't stopped me before. Nice. And honestly, more Kirby collections. I'm such a sucker for collections and re-releases, man. If they if they now now that returns is out, if they do like a triple deluxe Planet Robobot combo pack, I'll leave that up. I'll leave that up, play it through, 100 percent it in two days. Uh, I'll, I'll be down for that. Realistically, for me, even though it, it's like remaster heavy, kinda, with Nintendo stuff, um, so far, I I'm really eating good this year because my top three Nintendo franchises are Metroid, Pikmin, and Kirby. And man, eating good this year, man. They're really treating me good this year in particular. Oops. I will say, for the for, for those little bits, uh, the HD rumble does pop off a little bit. So that's cool. That looks different. That star graffiti? Really just trying to find any little detail I can. One thing that's maybe a little disappointing, but it's always the expectations that I have versus what's realistic. I kind of hope that they would bring back the two cut uh, super abilities. Because there was a super cutter and super spark, I'm pretty sure. Um, cutter even has its own hat. And you can find it in the game's files and the cutting room floor has it. Would have been cool if they incorporated that in here somehow. I don't know how they would, but they made new abilities, so... Wouldn't have been impossible. Especially for like a hard mode or whatever. Very good. We made the face. I have played. I've had. Yeah, I've, I've played Pizza Tower. A few people have asked. Actually, it's it's interesting to see how much the uh, buzz that game's getting. Yes, I've played Pizza Tower. That game's incredible. And Super Cutter is in a Return to Dreamland mod. I need to see that. I need to. I, I I need to do more research into mods. I didn't really. I know I've seen some mod of Return to Dreamland in the past, but I don't. Don't keep up with it, uh, clearly. But if there's a really cool mod for Return, that'd be cool. I haven't looked up much stuff since I, I did my Kirby ROM hack video, which was... I think 2020? I think? I don't even remember at this point. All these years are blending together. Revenge to Dream. That's okay. Yeah, I've heard of uh, I've heard of Revenge of Dreamland before. I've seen the logo and stuff. Um, 
I don't typically try to play a lot of these things. I think I don't even know if I mentioned it in my ROM hack video. A lot of times I forget stuff I even cover in my in my videos, depending on how long it's been. Um, whenever that that mod is completed, I am definitely down to see what it's about. Oh, they got close. Oh, some stone references, you're right. Alright, let's, uh... Alright. Another 20. Another 20 going in here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I feel like I'm being gaslit. I feel like I'm definitely being gaslit because I 1 million percent saw an image out there that was of. It was the Magalore one, it was the Kirby one, and that there's a Kirby's Dream Buffet one with fat Kirby sitting next to some strawberries on a plate. It is 100% a thing, and it just won't. It won't show up. I've gotten Carby and the Magalore one a bunch, but it's it is definitely a thing. Either it was a really good Photoshop and some Kirby Twitter I follow retweeted it or whatever. But you saw the fat Kirby and Failboat stream? Okay, so it it's real. It just it won't show up. It's driving me crazy. I can't believe I've gotten Carby and Magalore a bunch of times, but it just it just won't do it. It just won't happen. Whatever. I, I, you know, I realistically shouldn't uh, spend three hours uh, just doing stone abilities. I'll save that. Oh, I'll keep trying every time I get stone. But if not, you're gonna catch me sitting here in my office just pressing the B button for three more hours. Um... Sunset is a very underappreciated video game theme, and not enough games have a sunset theme. Um, I want a sunset theme in more games, and an autumn theme in more games. That's one of the reasons why Quiet Forest in Kirby 64 is so good. It's because it's an autumn level, and I wish more games had an autumn level. It's the best season. Uh, visually, it's great. You can get cozy vibes. Without it being annoyingly cold. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, the, look at these orange clouds. Pretty old game. Really glad the Wii Kirby game is outshining the properly built HD Kirby game. Just shows you how uh, every Kirby game is the same. No, you can't play as any other character as single player, which is a little annoying, but so much of the game's identity is obviously the copy abilities, so you would need to be Kirby. Um, but it, it, I wish there was a mode where you could play as them that's not multiplayer. They could have, like, a guest star type equivalent. Like, they could have probably figured something out. Um, no! No! There you go. I one punched him out of the out of the out of existence. Also, Autumn Heights and Tropical Freeze. Yes, that is a damn good example. Yeah, no, obviously I have I have more pro controllers, so I will be able to get footage of extra characters easy peasy. That's that's not a problem. It just, you know, the. Triple Deluxe had DDD Tour, there was Meta Nightmare in a few games, Guest Star Mode, you can play as all these characters and more. Obviously, I'm not going to really complain about it, because this game still has a lot of content, but it would have been cool 
because um, they do play differently if there was just some set of level I mean Magalore has his own thing um, and if I had to choose I would prefer a Magalore thing especially considering where the story goes but just the Kirby fanboy never happy with all the million hours of content I get Click Clock Woods, Autumn Part. Very nice. Sonic Unleashed has a good sunset stage. Yeah, so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not completely uncommon. It just does... I wish it happened more. It always stands out when it does. Not a single Autumn level goes by where someone gets to it and they're like, Oh, it's pretty. So... Here we go. Underappreciated ability. I will die on that hill. Also, the fact that the enemy that gives it to you is just a little... He's just a little yellow guy. I think he's supposed to be like a star, but his head is split open. He's just a cute little yellow guy. I'm a big fan. Ooh. Got those good frames. God, this remix is so good, too. One thing that's kind of cool is they have managed to sort of incorporate Mecha and Sand pretty seamlessly. There are some times where, like, you can tell, like, they just kind of threw the enemy in there when it wasn't it's not part of the original group granted you probably can't tell it's such a minor thing but they managed to throw the enemies in spots where it doesn't really feel forced uh they've been incorporated well so that's cool really just a lot of uh smack talking uh extra epic yarn at this point Opinions on Sand and Mecha? Yeah, they're both good. My whole opinion was that they, they, are fill, they are not filling a void. There was no void for more abilities in this game. Um, but what's here is really good. Bam. Opinions on the DDD redesign? I've touched on it a little bit before. Uh, I think it's pretty close to peak DDD, honestly. Um, I still think Kirby 64 is potentially peak, but I, I, I really like this new one, this Club Penguin looking King DDD. I didn't like the Triple Deluxe design. I really didn't like the Star Allies design all that much. Um, I thought his return, his original return look was okay, and his Smash design is fantastic. Um, but I really, I really like, um, he just looks like, he, he looks like Club Penguin. He just looks like a Club Penguin character. And, uh, I am a big fan of that. The fact that they redid all the cutscenes, all of, like, the CGI cutscenes, uh, well, all of the CGI cutscenes just because the D, the D design is different. I love it. I know if you really want to get deep into it, I know Meta Knight has a slightly different design. I think his visor is slightly sleeker now, um, but DDD has the obviously the more notable. Also, big, big development with Deluxe um, over the original. Um, fans would be happy to know that in the original, while he was just called Waddle D, he is properly called Bandana Waddle D in this one. Uh, if you look back, he was just called. Waddle D in the original. Um, so they finally they finally gave him the name, which I, I appreciate. Did they change the trees in the opening cutscene too? Man, I gotta do more direct comparison shots. I'm going to be so loaded up on these stamps, boy, without even doing any of the minigames yet. 
That might be the progression of things. I think... Well, I mean, I'll leave it up to the audience, what you guys... After we do the campaign, if you want to see... Um, uh, where's the Switch? Am I crazy? If you want to see minigames first or Magalore epilogue. Where am I crazy? Where's there? Okay. Oh. I'm sure I saw that coming. Hey, Leah, this song again. Hey, there's Mecca. I wonder, can I make a poll on uh, on YouTube? I can. Let's do this. There's still over 600 of you in here. Oh, what is it, Mary? Does that work? There you go. There you go. My very first ever uh, YouTube poll. Have at it. I have a feeling I know where it's gonna lead, but never hurts to ask. Ah. Oop. Yeah, that moves good. Yeah, that moves good. Getting the hang of it. Okay, yeah. It's it's leaning very heavily towards Magalore. I figured as much, but it never hurts to ask. I figured the Magalore stuff is, like, the most interesting, because that's actually finally new content. A new character with new level designs, new bosses... It's interesting seeing how many people actually do the the eShop um, vouchers thing. Uh, I think I'm so deep into collecting physical. I'm not like a physical diehard necessarily, but I, I like to collect Nintendo still. I don't really collect physical much on PlayStation or Xbox anymore, but Nintendo I do. But I saw, I've seen a few people talk about getting this game with one of the vouchers, which is kind of cool. I think, uh, the Zelda at $70 thing probably convinced more people to get some vouchers. Since that ends up making the game close to 50 I think. But, I, I, you know, there used to be a time where people who collected physical would, like, really talk smack about the digital gaming space. But, PlayStation and Xbox, quite frankly, it, I find it very hard to want to buy physical. When so much of the game is already just... You have to install it anyway, and be like, why not just have it on my hard drive at all times? Um, Nintendo, though, I think I'm just such a sucker for Nintendo. That I'm, I'm trapped. Um, I don't know, I also don't tend to resell games very often. So, and the value of games drops dramatically anyway. But I'm also deep into, like, the limited run scene, and all of those companies. Um... And those values do not drop in price. So... Typically, buying a game from Limited Run, or any equivalent, the value either stays the same, or goes up. Regardless of whether or not you open it. Um, so that's that's nice. But like, when Resident Evil 4 comes out... Oh, wow! I didn't think that was gonna happen! Alright, death number three. This sucks. Um, like, when Resident Evil 4 comes out, I'm likely just gonna get it digitally. I'm going to miss out on a stupid steel book, but I'm not going to use it anyway. It sucks being a collector for retro. Yeah, also the prices are crazy. I did buy Path of Radiance when I hit half a mil in subs. I was like, this is my treat. I'm going to buy Path of Radiance. Um, so I did. Thing is, though, I'm not even planning on playing it. It's, uh, I'm gonna emulate it, like, on my, I don't know, on what, um, I don't want to ruin the disc, because <laughs> game collecting is stupid. But Nintendo, I'll always collect physical for if it's an option. Um, even then, 
I have Smash digitally. And that was actually a good call. I, I popped that game so often. Um, it made it worth it to always have it on me. Same with Animal Crossing. Up, up, up! That got close. Gotta pay attention to this. I was trying to see opinions on game collecting. Considering I'm into indie games, I'm definitely someone who is all about digital gaming. Because waiting for digital games to get physical always means that there are going to be a lot of games you just never get around to. And that's unfortunate. We talk about Pizza Tower. That game is currently PC only. So, I, I, I didn't want to wait for that. So... But Nintendo games, I'll always wait for. I didn't buy Metroid digitally. But I that you can tell that's a strategy they plan on implementing in the future. This digital release first, physical release later to like start converting people to doing purely digital. Either that, or capitalizing on idiots. And I, I say this as an idiot, uh, who will double dip and buy the physical um, after buying the digital. Uh, I say that as an idiot who has done that multiple times. I haven't really used Fighter in this game, so... Ah, damn. Do PC games get physical releases? I think some, like, the big games do. But typically, it's, like, just a formality. I don't know why they do. Everyone just gets them on Steam. But I know some games still get physicals. On PC. It's just a weird when they do. 80 energy spheres. We are two-thirds of the way there. There's 120, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, the mini boss tower. Uh, which means... <laughs> I wonder how many of you knew about this. It blew, blew your guys' mind. Uh, yeah, bomb is good. Oh, also you. Hi. So I'm assuming... Someone said this is the level with the HAL room. Is this how I get to it? I would imagine. Very rarely. Yeah, PC physical games are a weird beast. Oh. Well. I tried to just... I wanted to use Mecha. Bye. The music track for this, this stage has changed? Is it? I like that I'm doing worse now. Is this music different? This is music from Superstar on SNES. Is this not what it was in the original? The music was originally King Dedede's theme. Oh. Oh. That's kind of cool. It's been so... Like... It, it's... Yeah, it's just tough to really... For me to remember a lot of specific songs when I've played so many of these games. A lot of them do blend together sometimes. Stage 5 of Egg Engines. Aren't there supposed to be three HAL rooms though? I feel like every Kirby game has three.
Did the music ever change in extra mode? That I don't remember. Alright, how, how effective is this? Nope. I don't know how that didn't, how that wasn't getting hurt for that second. Okay. I mean, yeah, that attack is better anyway, if I can actually get in range. Thank you. Yep. A uh, bop, and then let's go. JoJo Part 9, my thoughts? I don't. I don't read manga. I watch the anime. I keep up with the anime. I finished part six. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with sport. I heard extra mode in deluxe has it does have changes. I just don't know what yet. I tried, you know, doing some media blackout for some of the changes and stuff. I guess I'll there you go. I'll, I'll shake. I'll appease the people who want shake. There you go. Die. Oh, man. You're staying corrected. There are only two HAL rooms? Man, I feel like most Kirby games have three, but I know Forgotten Land had three, so maybe I'm just... I'm just assuming. Come here. Yeah, my JoJo opinion in 20 years. There you go. When Part 9 finally gets animated. I feel like that's not even likely. But, you know, who knows. Alright, Ninja not really working out so much with two bosses. I'm not gonna lie. This may not have been the most sound idea. I got really close. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, the first... Uh, so Ninja was not the right call. I'm gonna be honest. Ninja was not the right call for that that uh, that boss room. That was, that was really bad. I like Ninja a lot. It just doesn't do a ton of damage. Yeah, the sand is definitely the... The better. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Dude, this flaming uppercut move has always been the most powerful move in Kirby history. And that that remains that remains the case. There you go. There you go, I died four times, and now here are my four lives back. Easy. Ah, but I couldn't even get that stupid thing. One thing I like about Kirby games a lot, it's like a, a little piece of trivia that a lot of people realize, it's kind of a running trend, is that every, well not every Kirby game, but a lot of the Kirby games that have these mini boss gauntlets, they always have an alternate path. They always do. The Tower and Adventure did this. Like this, this, eh, this game does. Uh, Forgotten Land has the um, the bridge of the mini bosses that has an alternate path. That's really cool and really obscure. Um, I'm sure other Kirby games do, but off the top of my head, those are the ones that I remember. All right, boss time. Oh, so evil and ominous. Level 5 complete. We're doing it. We're getting close to the end of the game. Uh... I wanna... I wanna... Yeah, 
Yeah, why not? What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? I don't remember this m music, this jingle playing though. Oh, that's why, because it's just there. Oh. What? This isn't the end of the game? Oh my god. Wow. I can't believe this isn't the end of the game. Bye. Oh. Always love a good warp attack. Oh, oops. Still trying to figure out how to best utilize Mecha. Mecha has a lot of moves. Oops. I tried to dodge that. That does pretty good for this. Yeah, you get good invincibility frames with that attack too. Oops. Oh no, another attack. What could pal- Oh no, his health bar! Oh my god. Oh yeah, doing the, the Drossia stuff? Hell yeah. I love that Drossia soul bouncing. Iconic. Let's go, baby! That was the sword animation from the original game. So they included both. That's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, I can't. Yeah, there's no getting. Okay. I don't know if you can, like, tech him while he's uh, fading, but no. Oops. Bah! Cracking him like an egg. Give me the good sword to end him on. Oh. Classic. But I want, uh, give me the Morpho sword. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Dead. Rip a Roni. Kirby is the most powerful being in all the universe. But what could happen now? We restored Magalore's ship. That's it. We beat the game. True work of art. Gorgeous. We did the thing. I'm glad Magalore's our friend. I'll uh, always be happy about this friendship that we share. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! I like to think that's how he sounded right there. Halcondra. I'm just staring at DDD every time these cutscenes were playing.
I love his dumb face. I see people say this often, but I think King Dedede is the best when he doesn't have a neck. I think that plays a good role in uh, what constitutes a good King Dedede design. The less neck, the better. Oh no. It's Landia, I think. These beeps always make me think there's going to be some crazy song about to pop up. Man, why would Landia want to stop? That's crazy. That They're such a mean thing. They're such a mean four-headed dragon right there. Why would you want to take down Magalore like that? That's crazy. For Kirby, we'll do anything. Hey, there's the boy! I like King Dedede's face. I feel like the way they designed his beak, he can't smile. He just, like, opens his mouth and that's it. Uh, needs more emotion possibilities. Besides cocky smirk. He can pull that off. Otherwise, it's good. Very minor complaint. Alright. Glad the, the souvenir Waddle Dee joined us in hell. Appreciate that, the dedication. What is it? Egg engines, yep. Alright, I'm gonna stop that recording. I'm gonna get prepared to do level 6. Alright. One little sip break, and we're good to go. Egg engines. Definitely more interesting world, having a whole level uh, area based on mechanics is cool. I know the uh, the final world being lava, not as interesting, that's very cliche, but Egg Engines is cool. And we just come here, guns a-blazing. I'm glad they gave us Mecha right, right from the jump. Sometimes the the mecha ability is really just there. Oh god, that caused fire. I guess it makes sense. This is probably a part of the Forgotten Land. You're gonna get way too deep into theories if we start trying to say games happen in different games. I appreciate the, the thought, though. I wonder how much they'd think about these things behind the scenes. The deep Kirby timeline. Um, probably crazy. Nope. I figure, can I... I can't charge it. There you go. Hit him with the testo, baby! Love to see it. What are some other hobbies I have besides video games? I like to cook. I've posted some food creations on uh, on Twitter in the past. It's probably my, my second main hobby. I feel like I need footage of sleep. I probably don't. Everyone knows what sleep is. I always like the idea of sleep being used as the anti-ability. The one you have to avoid. Oh, sorry. It's not Testo. It's Chesto. Apologies. I couldn't tell uh, with his accent, you know. No! Are you kidding me? Good. 
Good. Good and great. And now I can't even easily die. Alright, so there is a part of the game where if you screw up, you gotta replay stuff. Almost there. Death number five coming. Everyone get excited. I feel like they changed the eyes of that thing. Now that I'm staring directly into its soul, I think they changed its eyes. There's no restart. Not that I'm aware of. Because it just does exit. I also don't want to restart the whole stage. I just want to restart this room. I had the opportunity to fall and die again, but I goofed up there too. Alright, so five, five deaths so far. Really stays closed for a very short time. There we go. Nailed that. That part was easy. Kirby games make it hard to die, they do. Dang, I think the poll that I said, 80% of you wanted to see uh, Magalore Epilogue over the minigames. I figured that'd be the case, but man, that is a stark jump. Man, that thing stays close forever. Yeah, the VOD's gonna stay up. Streams stay up in a different tab uh, on channels now. But yeah, of course the, the stream will stay up. I have no reason to take it down. That's one of the benefits of streaming on YouTube now, is it is considered a different form of content. Uh, so... Yeah, the VOD will stay up. No worries there. Oops. Oh, how do I... Uh... I mean, I don't really need that. I just don't know how to get it. Unless I can fly under it. No. Well. Unless that was a sphere. If that was a sphere, then... Then I gotta do this all, all this crap again. Very wild of them to put invincibility candies in the middle of their own bases for me to come and kill them all and appreciate it. Good. Ah. Give me the. Give me the. Oh. Give me. Do I think Haltman mechanized egg engines? You guys are really going crazy with the lore. I appreciate the dedication to the really, really deep Kirby lore. But I don't think it's that deep. I don't think. If I'm proven wrong, that'd be sick. I just don't think that's the case. I think every bit of lore is, for the most part, self-contained. Uh, which super ability is in this one? I think the fire... Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I pressed the button by accident and just really skipped that cutscene. That's not something you were able to do in the original either. So that's good. Oh, I'm seeing spamming in the chat. Please don't spam. Very common courtesy there. I shouldn't have to say that. Could you always carry abilities? Uh, yeah. If they're in that star format, you could. Um, which I think started with this game. Well, okay. That one you can't. That one you can't carry. But all the other ones you can carry. But yeah, I think in Trouble Deluxe and Robobot you can. I don't remember if you could in Forgotten Land, actually. That I don't know. Not something I ever really tested. It's always just a... An interesting thing you can do, and not much more than that.
Also, I remember there's a thing where you can, like, um, store items for your later use. I think that's just the Magalore Helper mode, though. So. You cannot forget. Okay, yeah. Maybe that'd be too overkill in Forgotten Land, I don't know. Get the hell out of here. I love the the vase of dead waddledees. Oh, 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 that's not good. Come on! Oh, it makes a weird noise. Okay. It makes a weird noise when you get close to the thing. I did not... The hell out of here. I didn't know it ever made a weird, ominous, spooky noise when you get close to that. That's, uh... Terrifying. It's just Kirby getting sucked into the void. Intense one yet. See something here. Is that how that works? There, yeah, that works. Guy was trying to be like a s smart guy and keep posting things that were getting blocked, but. Whatever. It's so weird to me that someone tries to be like an edgy someone. Like, oh, look at this. I said an F word in the chat. I'm so edgy. Oh, kids are weird. But this is me needing moderators. Oh. Easy. Should I use sand or mecha? Honestly, I think I'm liking sand more. Mecha is cool. Uh, I'm finding it a little bit more cumbersome to use. I think um, I think sand is uh, just its area of effect is a lot stronger. It's very much like a a different take on water. It seems like the more I use it. Plus, all I can think about when it comes to sand ability is that one King of the Hill clip with pocket sand. And that, quite frankly, is hilarious. Um, that is funnier than sand Kirby looking like Dio. So. How do I like the recolor of the Dimension Rift? Are they different colored? I thought they were always purple. They look the same to me. Again, I have not... I've done, like, no looking at direct comparison shots to know if, um... Like, to know exactly what's different. Oh, hell yeah, this song. Okay. Things are finally getting a little hype. I think someone said level 5 of Egg Engines was the one with the Howl Room. So... I'll keep that in mind. I have not forgotten. Oh, I heard a donation. Epilogue is only two hours long. Gonna beat it tonight? Yeah, probably. Um, that'll probably be the extent of it. I don't think I'll do any... I don't think I'll stream the minigame stuff. Um, I just wanted to get the main campaign out of the way. The minigame stuff, I assume, when I have to do the missions and whatnot, that's just gonna be grinding out missions to 100%. Uh, and then I have to do extra mode and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna just mostly stick to... Um, I'll do this, and I'll do the... Um, the Magalore thing tonight. Quite frankly, because I'm not a regular streamer... By the way, NintendoFan85, thank you for becoming a member of the Ant Farm. I appreciate it. Um, because I don't stream often, and can't see myself streaming often, I think I will have a lot more mental capacity to do uh, longer streams. Because the idea of doing three to four hour streams multiple times a week makes me want to die. I can't do that. But if it's like a once a month thing, that could be arranged. Welcome to the ant farm. I love it. It's, it's, it's a good tagline. 
And I think I have it set for the longer someone is a member, their ant gets shinier. Because that was how it was over on Twitch. I haven't seen a sphere yet. I should start to panic. Oh, there you go. The ant farmer is also a Disney thing. I'm not giving Disney credit for that one. Will I stream the arenas when I get there? Probably not. Um, again, I wanted to just get the bulk of the campaign in this one. All the extra content I'll likely do on the side. Unless it's super exciting. Is the true arena final boss some big grand reveal? Or is it whatever the final boss is of uh, Magalor Epilogue? Because I'm assuming it's just maybe a harder version of whatever is at the end of Magalore. Speaking of Magalore, I got the Magalore one again. New phase to the Magalore boss, but o is only in True Arena? I don't know, we'll see. Only in True Arena. Alright, well. We'll see. It's gonna just depend on my mental stamina. I'll stay as long as I am willing to live. Uh, at some point I'm gonna need to eat dinner. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm really just holding strong. So, we'll see. We shall see. Oh. Do I need to die? Can I backtrack and not do another death? I might just take the death anyway. That's going to be faster. But pause stream and eat? No. I'm doing good. I had, I had a sizable lunch. I did that on purpose. Um... I will just have a big dinner waiting for me at the end. I was entertaining the idea of door dashing midstream, but I feel like that would be rude. And I'm not a rude person. I'm a good boy. I was going to get some, some Chipotle and just go, go to town on it, but I'm actually doing alright despite streaming for four hours now. Oh, hello. I wasted so much time. Glad to see you enjoying a new Kirby game. Been a fan since 2018. Thought I'd give some thanks for all the content. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. People sticking around for quite a minute over here. Thank you all so much. I know people who have been staying around for uh, like 10 years. You guys are crazy. Gives me reassurance that I can keep doing this for another 20 years or whatever the hell. No signs of stopping. This is my life now. Shut the hell up, Gil. Just because you can't monetize Kirby content like I can doesn't mean you gotta be upset. How many deaths? That is... I... Th oh, man. Uh... I don't think I died in a recent level, so I want to say that's five. I want to say that's five. Um... It is six. I, I, couldn't rem I couldn't remember when the fifth death happened. Maybe I'm just getting delusional. Alright, someone else said six. Alright, we're on six. Six deaths. Oh yeah, because I had to purposefully... I had to purposefully take a death in the last level. Oh wait, that's cra- Oh. Isn't that crash? Hell yeah! I'm gonna read that in a second. Let me just... Oh. I thought it happened instantaneously. It didn't. Rip. Alright. Big ol' failure. Let me get, uh... False Dilly, $5. One of my favorite YouTubers. Love your content, your whole style to the videos. Thank you. Grew up on Starfy and Kirby Squeak Squad. Hell yeah. Thank you. You are playing Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch? I am. I, as a matter of fact, I am. Oh, I will correct you, it's Dreamland as two words, not one. Common mistake. Um, you know, I can't fault you for making a common mistake like that, but it is in fact Dreamland two words. Am I crazy? I'm not crazy. It's Dreamland... It's, 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 it's two words. 
Everyone makes that mistake. It's like I'm, when people say Mega Man as two as one word. It's weird. You guys are wrong. It's two words. Playing on that PS5? I would never. I would never disgrace my good name playing a PS5. Mega Man with the hyphen? Dreamland with the hyphen? Y'all are... Y'all are the dumbest people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Mega Common Man. Alright. Mega... Mega Man. The more important question is, without thinking about it, is it Kirby's Return to Dreamland? Or just Kirby Return to Dreamland? That's the question. The important question is, is uh, what's going to be on the final exam is which Kirby games are possessive and which ones are not. And you'll be surprised with what you find. Is it Kirby Air Ride or Kirby's Air Ride? Oops. Well. Is that another sphere that I've lost? Thank God. It's actually Kirby's Conquest. I sh that was good. <laughs> no, that was, that was good, Luis. That was, that was actually that was actually really good. You got me with that one. Kirby's Conquest. I'm good. All right. St stream streams over. <laughs> Oh god, Gil, what did you text me? In the middle of this? The day of Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch? Alright, I can ch I can check now. Let me, uh... Hold on, I have an important text message from another YouTuber. What, what did you send me? God, what is this? Okay. All right, Gil, thank you. I appreciate it. I want you to die. <laughs> Stupid. This is an important day, all right? Stop embarrassing me in front of my friends. Gil, it's crazy. Earlier on, Lonely Goomba was in here, Bonsai Pop was in here, Nathaniel Bandy was in here, and everyone was like, dude, all these YouTubers in one room, that's crazy. Gil's in here, and everyone's like, oh, cool. So, yikes. It's, it's pretty cringe, bro. Here's the poppin' music, though. So this is very much like that one indie game, Pizza Tower, that people keep talking about. Well... There was one instance where Mega Man is spelled as one word. It's the Net Navi and Mega Man Battle Network. That's a fair point. That's a fair. That's a fair point. Yoink! Give me. Ah. Well, that's fine. That was almost a catastrophe. Truthfully though, truthfully though, can't speak, Gil makes some pretty good content, so y'all should go and support the boy. He did a video playing every Yoshi game, and if you put in the time and effort to play Yoshi Topsy Turvy in the Year of Our Lord 2022 and or 3, then you should deserve support, so. Give me the stars. Bite! Oh, okay, maybe not bite. Took you long enough. So Gil say that Mega Man Battle Network isn't real. That's quite the take, bro. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection is genuinely pretty exciting. Whatever. Just I'm actually 
pretty excited for uh, the Battle Network collection, I'll be honest. I was considering a video on it, and the only reason I'm saying that is because I don't think it's going to happen. It's going to take a lot mentally to plow through six RPGs, so... I don't know if that'll ever happen, but I'm still excited for it as a, as a, as a gamer. I'm excited about it. All right, give me the, give me the super beam. There we go. He looks so fancy. I'm sleeping on leaf. I love Leaf as an ability. What are you talking about? Just because I don't default to certain abilities doesn't mean I don't like them. I love Leaf. Um, it's just however I'm feeling in that split second. God, the, the enemies hitting the screen thing really does add a lot to these uh, these segments. Easy. I realize also I should make some of the you people who are my friends mods, so there you go. There you go, Luis. Now you have you have even more control than you did before. Whoop! Oh, that was... Oh. Yeah, may as well, Luis, have you as a mod. I mean, granted, the chat's been pretty good. There's been one or two people that have just been, like, just saying dumb things to try to get a lull. But it's been pretty good. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah, you do, Luis. Leaf is a mid ability. That's I dis I, that I disagree with. Leaf is pretty top tier, um, but the thing is, in most of these Kirby games, all the abilities are fun to use. It's very rare where there's an ability that you're like, nah. Um, so I just haven't wanted to use Leaf whenever it pops up, but it's still good. Whoa. You can't say Kirby sucks, then you get banned. I think that's the rule. Um, Cause that's just a blatant untruth. Listen, I said that on Twitter and someone got mad at me for it, so. Yeah, it's... It's weird. I feel like on my list I would put Mecha lower than where I theoretically put him on the I forget where I even put him on the list. I'm just not ever gravitating to it. It's cool, but it's just not put in situ- I think it needs to be in, a, in an original game where there's elements of the game built for it. Because Mecha and do and Sand do feel a little bit, a little tiny bit forced, but Sand is just better. Maybe that's a hot take. I don't know. This game is still new. Oh, that's not good. Great! First time losing an ability during these fights. Just give me something. Good. Easy. Easy baby game still. Super abilities, Hypernova, or Robot Armor? Probably the Robot Armor. Although the Hypernova is really good. It's weird that Robobot, the armor gets associated, because it is that game's gimmick, but 
it's so much better integrated into the actual game than this and the Hypernova. But Hypernova is just funnier. Yeah, the Mecha Dash Down B laser combo is good. Um, I don't know. I just... I, I don't know. I think I just need more time with it. I think I'm just defaulting to a lot of ones that I'm more familiar with. And sand just feels like water. It just plays like water does. Um, and I liked water a lot, so it's easy for me to gravitate towards sand. Sand is just water with the cool dodge attack that has the upward attack. Um, and you can build a sand castle. How do I build- and that's cool. How do I build the sand castle? I forgot about that move. How do I, uh... Sand castle. Oh, it's the down up. I can build a sand castle. So that's cool. Alright, now we're in the deep, disgusting sewers. Yeah, Nutty Noon and this stage are in this world are definitely the peak of this game. We're dealing with themes you don't very uh, you don't see very often. I think sewer is a pretty cool platformer theme too. We're getting so close to the end. I can feel it I'm truly in the end game. All that said, we've been streaming for almost four and a half hours. Still got 600 people in here. That is crazy. Thank you guys so much for just watching me play a random old Kirby game. Appreciate it, as always. Give me, give me the hammer. All right, now we are peak power. Ooh. Easy. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Honestly, this part I'm kind of forgetting. I don't. I, I really don't remember a lot about what's what's happening here. God, even the hammer sound effect is good. God, it, it's hammer such a good ability. Just, just Kirby th throws around a big stick, and it's it's amazing. What beat is that? Oh, I... Is that just from this game? Am I just nostalgic for the song in this game? It just sounded like a theme that was familiar, and I don't remember hearing that underwater beat. Iceberg from Dreamland 3. Holy cow. Okay, yeah. Wow. I don't remember... Clearly, that must have been the song before, but I never knew. Uh... Because this is not an iceberg. They are playing this song in a completely different theme. That's cool. That part I didn't know. Normally I'm pretty good about the remixes. That part I forgot. It was such a it was such a subtle beat too. Hell yeah, gamer. Uh, oh no, it's a maze. Well, I'm assuming I have two spheres left. Do I have another super ability? I don't. I just gotta get lucky and find it. Uh... Oops. Uh... Stop! God. How do I get to it? Oh. Alright, I was, I was overthinking it for no... No reason. I think we're we're getting close to a hundred. How many does it say how many I have? No. Oh, there's Helper Magalore. It's there the whole time. I was one away from a hundred. Alright, we're getting very close. 
We're almost four fifths of the way done with all the collectibles. Ah! Uh. Woo! Okay. okay. All right. All right. So. No, that was dumb. That was all right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just don't throw me all the. Can I die? Give me a death. Give me a death. Just keep on eating. Just keep on chowing down. Nope. No, I just not. I said to keep on. I keep on chowing. Thank you. That can't kill me. Okay, I was about to say. Alright. Number seven. Did I miss a super chat? Oh, no. I have the page open. Kirby isn't mid. Kirby sucks. There you go. You spit facts, false dilly. Apologies for missing it. I have a separate page open just for alerts. To not- to try to not miss anything. Ah. I got a little too trigger happy with that switch. Not doing that again. Alright. Go for the kill. Nope. And... Okay. Easy. I love that Kirby emits a tiny glow. He is our bright child. Oh. Easy. Alright, that's a hundred! We have a hundred of them. I forget how long the final level is, but there's only 20 left and there's still one more level left of egg engines. We're getting close. We're, get, we're getting real close to the end. Why not? For good measure. Oh my goodness. I wonder... It, it's really a question as to whether or not we're actually going to hit 100 lives by the time this is all done. Is a, a big old mystery if that's the case. They should make a Kirby movie. That'd be sick. Yeah, you can shake the controller for Spark. I just don't like using it. It's just I'm so used to. Even with the Wii version, I didn't ever do that. So it's just what I'm used to. Because in my head, it was always like when you rub skin on carpet or whatever and you get static electricity. Once I equated it to that, I just... Kirby running his feet on the floor back and forth is what it, what it takes to get the ability going. Alright, so this level is the one with... Um, You know what, I, I keep talking smack. Let me play with Mecha. Uh, this is the one with the Howl room. This is the second Howl room of the game. I gotta know how to get to it. Because I actually don't know. If someone can find out and let me know before I get, like, too far in. Get out of here! Hot take, Mecha's kind of mid. I'm, I'm feeling that way. Um, it's at the end of the room in a corner. Okay. If it's in this room. On the conveyor belt later on. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm thinking Mecha's a little bit mid. It definitely looks cooler than it plays. It's not bad. Um, but sand is better in terms of the new ones. Go to the end of the room with the horn. Go to the place the end. Okay. Dead. Room three. That is even more help. Okay. The hell rooms are always so obscure, but I want to get them for footage. 
I feel like this music is different too, but I could be like, again, I could be wrong. A lot of just me grasping at nothing. It is different. Hell yeah. I'm not crazy. That's what I think this room, this room is room three. Okay. At the end in a corner? Oh, I remember. So now that I'm seeing these conveyor belts, I think I, I know. I think I know. So this is the part of Mecha I like. I like just flying through like that. It's like Mecha tries to do so much. It's like <clears throat> a little bit of bomb, a little bit of laser, a little bit of wing, um, and flight uh, jet, I guess. Oh, well, like... Ah! It's fine. I made it. <laughs> By the grace of God, I made it. Oh. Why did I go through the Gordos? I don't know why I thought the area was blocked off. I think I'm getting... I think I'm getting delusional. I don't know why I did that. Almost just took the... I took another death for no good reason. Oh. God, I didn't even see that! Oh, I've been streaming for too long. Yeah, okay, it's that room. Cool. There we go. The song sounds new too. I feel like I've never heard this song before in my life. It's the scope shot theme? The game that they got rid of? <laughs> they put the theme song in here? Alright. What a take. That's weird. That's so weird. They got they got rid they got rid of the minigame and <laughs> and threw its ashes on uh, the second HAL room. Interesting. Uh, you know what? Just for you, who kept asking for leaf, we're gonna load up. We're gonna load up a leaf. All right. Well, now we got both. We got both Hal rooms, so that's good. I imagine there's probably a HAL room in the, uh, Magalore section also. If that's all new level design, it would make total sense for them to make a new one. Get the hell out of here. That spin really do be fabulous, though. Kirby on the quick draw exists. They didn't want to be repetitive. Yeah, I get it. I know a lot of people really liked Scope Shot. I was not one of those people. Uh, I did like Ninja Dojo more. Um, it's just weird that they couldn't include both. But, I mean, it is what it is. Not a big deal. Bingo. Number four. Oops, that's not good. Yep. What do I think is the best copy ability? Well, boy, I got some good news for you. If you go on my channel... Oh my god, this is different. I don't think this music played here either. Um, I have a Kirby ability ranking video. Holy cow. If this was in here, I don't remember being this bombastic. I approve. No! <laughs> yeah, Heavy Lobster. Holy cow. Oh, it's the one from Scope Shot. That's why I don't recognize it. I didn't like Scope Shot, apparently, like everyone else did. You would look at comments, and people would be, like, really reminiscing about Scope Shot. Uh, meanwhile, I was just happy that Eggcatcher was in here. 
cool. Bop! Will I ever do a room tour? No, probably not. It's not very exciting. Room tour is this here, which is the desk, which is what gets filmed for videos, and then games on that wall. That's about it. There's not, there's, it's a very boring office. It just gets the job done. I appreciate the knowledge about scope shot though, because that's gonna play that I can I can call reference that in my video for sure. And pour one out for scope shot. Oh come on. Also, I keep forgetting I, to reiterate uh, for people who are consistently new with the chat. If you look down below me, you see sometimes the chat freezes and then catches up. That's a problem with OBS, uh, and I'm learning how to resolve it. Uh, it should be fixed by the next stream, because I have ideas on how to fix it. So, that's why, but I'm able to see the chat as it's happening, uh, as you are in the chat box. So, just so you know. Oh yeah, I forgot taunts. It's very important. Uh, I mean, Beam's gonna be the easiest, but I feel like Mech is gonna look the coolest. I'm excited to do this boss again in extra mode because of the additional boss fight. See, that move is cool. I feel like it, it should do more, a little more damage for how crazy powerful the beam looks. Easy. Oh. I'll read that in a second. I see it. Oh. Isn't he come down now? Yup. Oh, it didn't do anything. Ah! No! There we go. This fight would have been a cool one to do the Meta Knight thing of like the take this with the sword, but for Mecha. That would have been a cool time to do that. Alright, Nintendo Fan 85 with the 10, thank you. Always thought Nintendo was against re-releasing Game Boy games with tilt controls, but I guess they changed their minds and tilt and tumble is coming back. Yeah. You never know. If Nintendo finds a will, they'll find a way. Not many tilt games out there, but if they can get that and WarioWare Twisted, we are golden. And just never do Topsy Turvy. All right, guys. There's one more. One more world to go. I thought this was going to take four hours. It's taking... It'll take like five and a half. Uh, and then there's still Magalore to do, so... We're going to stop there. We're going to start another recording for Dangerous Dinner. The last world of the game. Party time. So it's the last world with 15 more pieces to go. I wonder what's going to happen at the end. I hope Magalore helps us. Our friend in our, our, our friend in need. I hope he helps us. The lighting I don't remember how reflective the lava was in this level, but it's looking pretty sharp uh bouncing off of Kirby like that. Deuces. No. Yeah, there's definitely a way to... Oh, oh, never mind. 
There's definitely a way to maximize metal usage uh, with the fire behind you. I just haven't learned it yet. Nope. Gah. Not doing good with these random hits. Boom. This feels very end gamey. Well, lucky for you, you're right. This is the end game. We're definitely in the end game now. And the end of this final world does have some pretty cool moments. It's a shame just ending ending with a lava world is such a cliche thing. That's like the only kind of not really a bummer, but the thing that makes it not super interesting. It's such a played out gimmick. Though, to be fair, I really don't remember much of how Triple Deluxe and Planet Robots, like, the, the, the entire final worlds are. I've been meaning to replay those games again. So. A lava level at the end of the game? It's crazy. This is the first Kirby game that ends with a the lava theme. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Kirby games don't really do this super often. It's just when uh, when this game first came out, I remember looking at the themes and being like, yeah, they really wanted to just make a, a polished by the books Kirby experience. Didn't really do anything crazy. Um, that's why, I, that's, I mean, that's kind of how I feel with Forgotten Lane too. I just think Forgotten Lane is more inherently fun. It doesn't really do anything groundbreaking. That's what the sequels will be for. But water is good for this stage. Kirby, Triple Deluxe, Final World. Yeah, the gym prison break. I remember that. That was cool. And I want to say the final world of uh, Planet Robot was the factory, right? Kirby Triple Deluxe Deluxe and a Kirby Robot Deluxe? That'd be sick. Yeah, my assumption is whenever the next main Kirby game comes out, it'll have some gimmick or art style uniqueness uh, on the level of Triple Deluxe or um, Planet Robobot. Uh, although my other, like, grand idea is if they ever tackle the Superstar concept again of multiple mini games instead of one big game like if they made another 3d game but it was just a part of a, a set of 10 games and you have a 2d game in there also um like if they had a game like this and a game like forgotten land in one giant package i think that'd be super sick uh, to have a modern superstar but you know that's just all it's always just grand thing like theming i could be a dream game producer all i want but it'd be a lot, it'd be pretty cool. Damn. They remade the Dark Matter trilogy. I mean, that'd be fine. I don't really think it needs to be remade. It might. Okay. No, son of a bitch. Fuck. Oh. Eight, right? Is that eight or seven? I, I should keep. I should really be keeping track. But you guys are doing a good job keeping track. Eighth, sick. Could just use the door at the start. Oh, whatever. A lot of these deaths have just been these like. Minor. Did, did it die? It did die. I did. I. Oh. I could just use the door at the start. Yeah, it died on that thing. The platform moving left and right. I don't know. Uh... See, it would have been faster to die.
I answered the question about a room tour. I said no. Don't spam the chat, please. Don't spam the chat, please. I feel like saying don't spam the chat is such a common courtesy thing. I'm surprised anybody does it anymore. Oh, I see what it... Okay. You're gonna die again? You're gonna die again? Yeah, you're gonna die again. Okay, I got it. I kept moving too fast. Paying attention to the chat. Messing me up. I'd rather die than save time. I would too, but now I have a bit that I need to maintain. Um, about trying to have as little deaths as possible. Clearly zero deaths was not gonna happen. Um, so. Alright. I thought the button kept mo was the thing that was moving the platform, not paying attention. There we go. Easy. You know a part of uh, Planet Robobot was cool? The part where you pick up the Game Boy and control the robot Kirby. That's... That's pretty sick. That's uh, that was That was a pretty sick mechanic. Because actually, I like the idea of those key-carrying things. It's just I wasn't paying attention. Alright, two more to go. Hell yeah! God, they, this means we're really close to, like, the super ability gauntlet. I'm very excited about that. Sorry, we can skip it. Oh, we can't skip it? Some we can skip and some we can't. Uh, I don't know. Oh, whoops. Right. I'm gonna be really lucky if we hit a if we hit a hundred lives. At this rate. No! Oh. Love it. Love to see it. Oop. Hey. Yeah, I don't think that's a different animation either. It's weird that they added that one animation of the tree falling backwards, but they didn't change any other ones. <laughs> that one tree just really got the developers like, we have to change this. I'm realizing how much I'm gonna- Oh! Alright! We're not at nine yet. Ho oh ho! That got disgustingly close. Do the crush. Oh my god. I was gonna say, this is making me realize how much I'm gonna enjoy doing the challenge rooms again. But oh man, that was- That was just- whoo! Your boy should be dead. Oh, I hear that. Pump the cannons. Been meaning to Dono for four hours, but will uh, will we ever get a ranking of every Kirby anime episode? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Love your videos. I have something in the in the idea phase for the anime. Um, just gotta wait and see. I mean, like, my initial idea was to do something for the 200th video, because it was my 100th video was the anime. 
Um, but some a lot, of, like a lot of other stuff was happening that prevented that from being a thing. Certain games were coming out. I was moving, uh, so that my time is being divided. But I do want to do something for the anime. You just gotta wait for the time to be right. I wonder, do I hold that hostage for a one million subscriber special? With that, whenever I hit that in five, six years, I don't know. But I have ideas. If someone pays me a million dollars, I will do the video just for them. Be lurking in chat. Thank you to all the lurkers. You're all, I still appreciate all of you. Ranking DDD designs? That'd be a good, uh, um, April Fool's video. How am I so chill? It's a good question. I don't know. See, I've always been this way, so when people say that, I don't think about it. But, I've always been low-key as a person. I think some people think just because I am YouTuber and I have numbers that there's oftentimes me faking things for views, but that's not really the case. I just get really excited for Nintendo Direct announcements and I am generally pretty chill. Um, it's weird. A lot of times I think because I have numbers, people assume I fall under, the, under this weird category of... I don't know if elitism, elitism is the right word. I've always tried to be authentic. Uh, it's just sometimes played up a little bit for the camera, but it's still genuine thoughts that go into these things. And I, I think that tends to come through. Sorry, sand better. There's another five sphere level two. Um... Dangerously close. Would I pay $70 for a Kirby game? <laughs> yeah. But I am not, uh... I'm not someone who is, like, super anti the movement. Like, obviously I want games to be cheaper, but I understand why they are not cheaper. Um, but I tend to stay so caught up with Nintendo that I would likely do it. Considering Nintendo game prices also never really go down in price at the very least you, you see games nowadays that came out like three years ago You get like a 10% discount or whatever um, Oh my god Oh, oops, give me the ninja uh, Thank you OMG he's still streaming. That's right. I committed to the bit. I said I was gonna and we're almost done with the campaign. We're almost done with the bulk of what the Wii game was. Oh, that was nice. That was clean. That was the first one. First kunai. I'm glad Tears of the Kingdom is a one-time thing. I don't think it's a one-time thing necessarily, but I, I think it's going to depend on the game. Like, I think Metroid Prime 4 will be 70 bucks, Just based off of how highly anticipated it is. I don't see Nintendo doing it, because Nintendo puts out a lot of smaller games all the time. I don't think those will ever make the jump. I could be proven wrong. You know, time will tell. But, like, I don't think they can get away with Advanced Wars for 70 bucks, you know? Uh, but Metro Prime 4, I think, will absolutely be 70 bucks. It's amazing that Metro Prime Remastered became 40 bucks, uh, and no one really took issue with it. I know it's a lot... There's been a lot of work done with it. I'm just so used to people being like, It was $60 on the Wii with two other games. $40 is not rage. Um, it always just depends on the game. But usually it's just Nintendo. I don't, like, you're not catching me spending $70 on, like, PlayStation games. Because those games drop in price pretty quickly. Um, but... It's because it's it's partially fanboyism. I just like to keep up with Nintendo. So yeah, whatever they ask. Taking me everything in my power to not spend a hundred dollars on Mario Kart Live. I still don't have that yet. 
and what do you know, doesn't go on doesn't go uh, on sale super often, from what I can tell. Oh, I can't. I was gonna look at the chat, but I'm, it's another chase segment, kinda. Oh, gimme. Gimme. Gimme! Oh, you stupid- okay. Well, that's not good. Oh no, I'm about to get crushed! Uh-oh. Don't Nintendo games go on sale a lot? They've been going on sale more often, but also not for much cheaper. Um, and again, Nintendo games, I like to be there day one. So. Like, Nintendo games, it's not really worth missing out on, in my opinion. Meanwhile, it's like I didn't play the New Horizon game on PlayStation, but now if I want to, it's going on Plus. Um... These things typically, the full price games mostly just affect like hardcore fans and casual people, I guess. I don't know. I'm not in the right mindset to talk about consumerism right now. <laughs> it's just, yes, I, w I would, I I I'll buy most Nintendo games, I think. Which of the mini games am I most looking forward to? Personally, you're in on Checkerboard Chase. Uh, honestly, Egg Catcher from, from Adventure. Um, Cause seeing old 8-bit Content remade in any capacity, I think, is super cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, when it comes to buying games, I said this earlier in the chat, I am a Switch collector. So I already spend... way more on... physical games than I realistically should. Um... So, that's my problem. Okay, an honest to goodness puzzle. Let's go. Yeah, I didn't want to hit that one. You have a surprising amount of Switch games compared to other consoles? Dude, yeah, same. Um, and I said this earlier in the chat, too. I think I'm just more predisposed to wanting digital on those consoles. Um, I don't know why. Um, I think I, I think it became part of, like, all these games just always install anyway. Um, like, the disc doesn't really mean a whole lot. I don't really resell games super often. Um... And something like Game Pass and PlayStation Plus, where I'm already loaded up with a ton of games digitally, why not add to that digital library? Uh, Switch. It's the Nintendo fan in me, plus, like, I like Limited Run and uh, all those things, so... Yeah, I have a couple hundred <laughs> physical Switch games. It's a problem. It's definitely a problem. Gotta go Max Hammer for this one. Would I buy a Kirby open world RPG? Yeah, of course I would. All right, we only need seven more of the, the spheres and two of them are in here. I don't think this is the last chase segment. I don't remember if the next one, I don't remember if the next level has one. Oh yeah, it does because it has a super ability segment. No, nope. Kirby goes through such traumatic stuff all the time. He's just in purgatory here and he's just trucking along.
Nope. Nope. Woo. Oh, I like that it's going slower just to add to my anxiety. Cool. I like this new Ant Dude era, making long form quality video streaming and also YouTube shorts. That's the plan. You kind of nailed it right on the head. You kind of nailed it right on the head. The bright side with the streaming and the short stuff is that realistically it's not going to impact video production at all because I have an editor. Um, so it just means more content and it comes in different forms. It comes in different forms without impeding on what you people I think wanted to subscribe for in the first place. So. If I'm going to be honest, I prefer physical over digital. I do... I don't know. I think... I have a whole other topic about this. I'm, I'm a big emulation boy. Um, I think if a game is readily available digitally, like Castlevania Advance, I'll throw that out there. I, I say I say support it because I think that's cool. You know, support with your wallet, all that sort of stuff. Um, but to deny the effectiveness of emulators and stuff, like, it would be foolish. Um, the convenience of having a lot of games on Switch, like, through the NSO app is cool, but I've had access to Game Boy games forever, you know? Um, plus, a lot of games that will never get re-released. And that goes up to GameCube, PS2, and all that stuff. You have a lot of games that are just not available. I think they play better in Dolphin. I have a Steam Deck. Um, so it finds it harder to justify physical for a lot of games. But for newer games, it, it, it always just depends. Um, so... Yeah, it's, I can go on about this, but I, I know people who are... I know the emulation people are considered annoying because they talk about emulating all the time. I can get like that, so I try to not, but that's where I stand. Um, but I saw the, the two Super Chats. Would I buy an insert con concept here Kirby game? Of course, I will buy anything Nintendo throws at me because I'm a blind fanboy. Uh... And that is fine by me. That's not a bad way to live. And then petition for Hal to add an Ant Dude Waddle D. Alright. I would not oppose that. Why does the lighting look particularly good on Kirby in this specific area? We're about to hit also like... Probably the best part of the game with uh, the super abilities. I forgot how epic this music was too. But the the final stretch of this level is really cool. Come on. And these are the last five uh, spheres. So that's cool. Outside of, I think, two? I think I missed two throughout the entire game. Had to go back. One of which was a dumb mistake. One of which I genuinely just missed. So that's, that's pretty good. All things considered. Can't go down right yet. God, I love Cowboy Kirby so much. There you go. Oh. Four more to go! Give me the spear. Oh! Oh! The first mix of the game! This game knows me well. I can't wait to get rid of it in 20 seconds because I need it for a, a sphere. Oh. God, this music is good. I really undervalued the soundtrack when it first came out 10 years ago, but God, it's good. The hell? IDR. I don't know what that is. What is that? You're gonna have to tell me what, what that is. I don't know what that is. Thank you, astronaut. I just don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's not $5,000, otherwise I would be crying right now. Indonesian... Rupiah? 
What happens if I Google it? <laughs> it says 33 cents. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's really cool. I learned something new. That's sick. Thank you. Wow, Indonesia. That's really cool. No. Uh, not not doing good. Give me the rice. I thought that would have been enough to kill him. Oh. Bye. There you go. I'll shake the controller for you people. I know you like that. God, I just don't like... I, I liked... I was always a big fan of the Wii. I was fine with doing Wii Remote and Nunchuck, shaking the Wii Remote, because that was a one-handed thing. I didn't really like shaking the Wii Remote on its side. Uh, don't like shaking a pro controller. You know what's mind-boggling to me? That they never patched Mario Odyssey to do fast rolling without shaking the controller. That's mental to me. I think that's that's really annoying. That speedrunning the game requires consistently shaking the controller for like the entire game. Something Kirby gets right, then Mario gets wrong. I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying. Another one. There you go. Yeah. Oh my god. You can't even do mid-air downward throws without motion. Another 5,000 Indonesian. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah, thank you. Hell yeah. This could have ended badly. Well, this still could end badly. There it is. Thank you. Bam. That's number two, right? Thank God. Okay. It'd be really embarrassing if I if I missed one like right right near the end. The last two are basically guaranteed. Thank the stars. Just gotta hope I don't mess it up. It has to be in this room, right? Make the most sense in the world. God, this, this song is so epic. What's that currency now? Damn, that says that's 762. J. Kim with 762, thank you. And even more Indonesian? Bro, you guys are... You guys are spoiling me here. Okay. This is a high pressure situation because I got this the, I got the key in a different room if I die I have to restart the level again, so would not want that Whoa Another donate god guys all right hold on ah! Oh no, oh no Do I I think I have to restart the level I think I have to restart the level now. Thank you for the- I have to restart the level. Cool! Alright! Do this real quick. <sighs> Son of a- Oh. Uh, Red500 with $5- I'm so upset right now. Uh, can you pressure Ben Briggs into collabing with you? Tell him his younger brother wants to see it and I'm sure he won't say I'm a- <laughs> I love Ben. I miss that boy. I plugged his Sonic Mania album. He can... He can deal. Uh, another 5,000 won? Forgot to put a message here. Fame from South Korea. That's awesome. Thank you. Got a lot of worldly travelers here. That's great. I'm so upset. God, I'm so upset. 
that I, I oh man replaying the last level that's such a that's such a shame well I'm just gonna blast through this and eventually die again because I'm getting impatient this is what I, the things I do to myself Get the hell out of here stop <sighs> yeah, the game does have amiibo support. I think it's just item drops. It doesn't really do anything. Um, in the trailer, it did the thing at the end where it's like, Oh, it has amiibo support. Get items. And that was it. Um, even if you use Kirby amiibo, it just gives you items. I think if you use like the Waddle D one, it probably gives you the spear ability, maybe. But nothing crazy. It's like most of most amiibo usage nowadays is pretty forced. But I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. The first one of the game. Now is not the time. I'm not in the mood. Oh my god! And donations keep happening. What the hell? All right. Oh, twenty dollars. What Kirby fanboy has to restart level? Unsubscribe. Yeah, dude. It's it's that's what I'm saying. I'm upset. I went through the whole. I've been going. Well, not the whole game, but I've been doing pretty good. Been on a good streak. So I'm a, I'm a little upset. At least I know where they are, so that's, uh, saves me some pain. Ooh. Okay. I'm realizing that this is probably Mecha's best move, instead of the... Yeah! Oh my god, that is clearly the best move. Um... Because you would you would think the explosion thing would be the best, but not really. Two dollars ready to kick some butts, and I'm getting a lot of these Indonesian five thousand. That's so cool. Thank you. All right, I gotta go to the sun again. God, leave me alone. traumatized right now. Open up! Speed run this. One. Another one. You guys are crazy. Okay. What was, uh... God, what the... What? Okay, wait. Oh, let me quickly, before that boot runs up. What is... What is PLN? Comes up to one dollar. I don't know where PLN is. And then there's one coming in that says PEN for with nine. Oh, from Peru. Nine dollars from Peru. That's really cool. I don't know what PLN is though. Let's see what if I what if I Google that? That is Polish. Holy cow. What is what is Mir? That is Malaysian? Wow. A lot of you people from all over the place. That's really awesome. I hope PayPal doesn't think that there's some suspicious activity going on now that I have like 15 different countries giving me money. Thank you. Seems like it's a learning experience for a lot of people in here too, which is cool. All right, can't make the same mistake again. Oh, 
Okay. Now I have to pay attention. Last bit of donation. I see another. Thank you for the 5,000. That's awesome. And then a, a dollar from Millbrick. Thank you. Okay. If only I was able to fly. Uh, I, okay. That's actually making it worse to control. Because I, I glide around with that. And it's making the jumps not as responsive. Which is interesting. Almost did it again. Okay, just, yeah. Alright, do your thing. Oh, that was it. It was really right at the very end, too. I hate myself. I hate myself for that one. Well, the other two are guaranteed, at least. Thank you, Retrospective J, with the $5. That's that's why I did it, because your your donation came in right then. I appreciate it. I was really, it was really at the very end. God. Alright, well. This part's cool, at least. And... Deuces! Bop! There's one. Two. Don't know how I didn't get hit. I think 100 lives is also out of the cards, so... I mean, I guess I could still collect these stars, but it's not... Not really looking likely. I like, keep getting the gigant, the gigant sword, so that's cool. I guess if I get close to 100 lives, this is the room to do it. Thank you so much for another 5,000. I love that it's 5,000. That's crazy. Conversion rates are crazy. Oh, only one of them. Nope. You know, there's a part in Pizza Tower that's like this. That's pretty cool. I am getting... I am getting... Uh, it, it's be if there was an additional level, I would be able to actually hit 100 lives. And if I didn't die at all, I would actually hit 100 lives, which is kind of cool. So, just peak performance would have gotten me 100 lives. Time to... Oh, time to cut a whole volcano! I don't think they did- I don't think they got rid of the fish sword, I just haven't- Just haven't had the good luck to get it. We're gonna do five swords- or ten sword strings. One. Just not doing, uh... Just not getting good luck with that one. I will not be doing a Pizza Tower video, at least not planned right now. Realistically, I'm also- just a heads up. I'm also not likely to reveal what games I plan on doing for videos. There's an element of surprise that I, I enjoy keeping, so... Typically, anytime someone asks, I'm just not- I really just shouldn't answer <laughs> and just leave it a mystery. Good. Good. Okay. Mm, oh. This is a momentous occasion. This is the final... This is the final chase.
Bingo. Alright, no more chase segments. I did do a video on DK94. I did a video on all the Mario vs. Donkey Kong games. That's where it's included. Oh. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I got the Meta Knight one like seven times. And we're gonna, just for the sake of the argument, I'm gonna do the big stone five times. One. Nope. 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 That's one of the new ones though. Every living moment is pain. At least I get- at least stone's a good ability. If I can kill him with the, uh, with the stone that I want... No. Would have been really cool, though. What ability... What's an ability you would love to see Kirby use? I don't... I'm not sure what you're... What, what you're really asking. Because I like all the abilities. I made a list on them. Uh, unless you mean new ability. Um, we already got gun. That's pretty peak. Um... I don't know, actually. Um, I would like to see, I guess, them figure out how to make metal and mini better. That'd be cool. Because those were not good in the originals. Alright. I gave me festival. What am I using festival on? It didn't reward me yet, but I have all of the, the spheres now, so that's good. Is festival just to celebrate, or is there another boss? I feel like there's no... Oh, it's just... Alright. Dang. Did get really close to 100 lives if I didn't keep screwing up. Wow, oh my god, a secret. Holy cow, wow! Knew that one. See? Got very close. Very close to 100 lives. Oh my god. That is the last time that jingle's gonna play, I think. I don't think it plays after the final boss. All right. All right, time to do like a little bit of a stretch. This is uh This is the end of the game now. Oh, my neck just cracked something fierce. Uh 120 energy spheres. Okay. What do you give me? Sand for this one? Okay. Um, bomb, ninja... I mean, leaf would actually be good for this one. I'm going leaf. Oh, no, because I have to go up in the air and, in the air and attack multiple. Sand is really good. I really like sand. Sand is definitely better than I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness. 
That just sounded like a cliche Bowser roar. They just used that same sound clip. Landia, my beloved. Sick crown. Oops. Yeah, sand is good for this fight. <laughs> yeah, sand is good for this fight. Oh, man. Jesus. <laughs> sand is really good for this. Oh, no. I just got a warning on my PC for something. Like a security, like, re-upping the security thing. I don't care about a free trial. Get the hell off my screen. Thank you. What terrible timing for that show. Oops. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. Easy baby boss. We beat the game! Oh my god. Oh, there you go. Dedede can smile in this form. <laughs> Landia does have teeth. Weird but cool. I love Landia. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. They even changed his font. This is crazy. This is why every Kirby fan has trust issues. This is why every Kirby fan saw Elfal in Forgotten Land. They were like, this thing's gonna kill us one day. The song is still really good. We did it. How are we ever... How are we ever going to... To succeed with this. There you go. Alright. Time for shooter segment. Another dimension. Yeah. Song's still good. I love playing Gallagher, bro. Well, this will be more Gradius, I guess, before someone comments. I always, I'm such a fan of, like, shooter segments in, uh, in Kirby games. Every time Kirby games change up the typical gameplay loop, it's always, like, really cool. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh, I got it. 
All I'm saying is getting to 100 is not impossible, uh, yet. Not totally out of the realm of possibility, just not very likely. I don't think I can get three lives before the game ends. They gotta start loading me up like crazy with these stars if they wanna... ...get me to my goal. What if I die 96 times in the final fight? See, every little star, every little bit helps. The fact that the dropped enemies, the enemies don't drop stars, is upsetting. Because that would make this a lot more possible. Ooh, dang. Ah! I don't remember if the squishing hurts me, but quite frankly, it would make sense if it did. I just don't know because it's purple goo instead of hard platform. I'm still playing? Yes. I said at the start of the stream I was going to beat the campaign today. And we're going to do Magalor after this. I'm amazed I'm not hungry yet. That's quite frankly the more miraculous thing. Time to fight a whole boat ship. Oh yeah, and it just it just fights like uh, Kabula. Oh, that's not Kabula. How little damage I do to this thing. Oh my god. Oh, well, I might be able to get to 97 lives. A little bit of uh, dark matter, I think, was that fight? Uh, uh. Whoop! Well. No, I can't turn around! My one weakness! Oh, I can attack from behind me. I didn't realize. Spin attack! Nope. Come on. One more. Boom! Now we did it. Now we beat the game. I don't know if people knew I was doing the final boss or what, but the the it, <laughs> chat's spiking right now. We're going. We're back up to 800 people. <laughs> Somehow telepathically, people knew I was approaching the end of the campaign, and we're like, "All right, now we have to join in." I did. I built the ship, and I can take it out. Look how cool. Oh. I say, look how cool Meta Knight is, but now they're all dead. All right, gamers. Um, might try to take it out with sand. Well, let's see. Oh, we're gonna take it out with sand. Sand really be the MVP of this. Sorry, Mecha fans. Dio's about to take out God. Which is kind of a reference. Oh. 
<laughs> Are you kidding me with the sand? Are you kidding me? God. Oh my god. I love sand so much. Oh, man. Bro, bro, come on. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? This is this this was really the most overpowered one it was going to be sand. I can't believe it. Oops. Well, it was fun while it lasted as much as I want to keep it. Man, holy. I really just canceled out all of his moves. Yeah, I'm gonna really, I'm, I'm really about to try doing a true arena with sand. This is the, this is one of the most disgusting obliterations of the final boss I've ever done. All thanks to the brand new ability. Uh, nope. That's cool that the for some reason for the boss fights they brought back the uh it uses the old animations, not the new the new fancier ones. Clearly that was intentional. That's just interesting. Pocket sand. I still think the time limit thing is dumb. Why is there a time limit on this part of the You're in the background, aren't you? Yep. All right. God, if only I had my sand. All right, boys going down. Oh. Walk right into it. Let's go, bro. Where you at? Adios. Nope. Adios. He was like one frame back. Oh yeah, fuck. Ah, uh, no, <laughs> I forgot. Ah, there you go. Ripperoni. Thank you. Pump the cannons. Also. Dead. dead we beat the game oh my god it's not done yet god this song crowned is so good oh god this violin this guy's wow such a good song sand give me sand no damn it i wanted sand God. No, my life is in shambles. I got hit. That's a shame. I saw the sand dragon and got very, or the sand lizard and got very excited. No. Oh. All right. Uh. Oh. Oh. Magalor and Marks would be would be great sand would be great friends. Oh. Almost said great sand. I'm really deluded right now. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't have this problem if I had sand. Taking out bosses without abilities is always so, like, it's definitely more of a challenge. It's just a lot of waiting. Let's 
this final goal. Not the one I want. Oop. It's not like this does a ton of damage either. Ooh, nice. Ah, oh, give me sand. I really would rather stars at this point. It's going to do more damage. Really tempting fate here with uh, just purposefully getting hit. Uh, great. I wouldn't be in this position if I had sand. Sand, my beloved. And it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. At least I can attack upward now. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> Suck it. And he ascends to heaven. <laughs> I just love watching New Deity. What that what that was right there was Kirby accepting death and just ready for it to take him. He was ready to go. He was like, this is it. You can tell it's a big deal because it's like piano music now. Oh, that quirky D to D. There's the butterfly. There it is. Butterfly's just chilling. There he goes. Off to plot. Off to plot his evil ways. Butterfly jump scare.
and it ends with the butterfly. The butterfly is the last character you see. I swear to God. <sighs> and credits. We did it. We beat we beat the main campaign on day one. I couldn't tell you last time I beat I beat a game in a single day. I don't even remember if I beat Forgotten Land the day it came out. Um but yeah. That's that's forgot that's uh Return to Dreamland. Uh we still obviously got more to go. We're gonna jump directly into Magalore after this. Um I know it's getting late for some people. I appreciate, you know, some of you guys staying up. Good thing it's a it's a weekend now. Um Cosmic Shake wasn't beaten in a day. No, it was not. Um yeah, but we're going to keep going. So before anyone considers dipping, we're still going for like another couple hours cuz of uh we're going to do we're going to do the Magalore epilogue, which I think takes like 2 hours to do. Um and that's finally the new content. Like, it took so long, but we're finally going to do the new content. Um, there's Mr. Duder, dead. Um, but if anyone does decide to leave, I know some people say they don't want to deal with spoilers, uh, which is fair. I appreciate everyone who stayed and all the support and everything like that. This VOD will stay up. Um, and yeah, YouTube stream a success. Um, but once again, we're going to keep going for like another two hours. Simply Soar, $2. More of the story, never help anyone in need. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there it is. We can probably skip the credits, however, this is also for the sake of my footage. I like to get everything. So, I'm just gonna let the credits roll, and then we'll, uh, we'll jump right to Magalore. No waiting. I'm just gonna jump right in. There is Merry Magol Magoland too, but that's gonna, you know, at that point, I don't want to do a 12-hour stream. Uh, I'm gonna need to eat at some point. So, yeah, we'll just let we'll just let this go, go through, and then finally, I am well accustomed with the game to be prepared for any new content. I don't think. So what else will be, is there to do after this? There's going to be, um, Arena, True Arena, Merry Magoland, and Extra Mode, right? I think that's the extent of it. I am capturing raw gameplay also. Um, I think that's it. I just, yeah, I don't think I'm going to end up doing a, another stream for just cleaning up 100%. Um, because video, because work is going to go immediately into the production side of things for the video. Because I want to get that done as soon as possible. Um... So I think it, t tomorrow it's best if I play it a little bit loose and not work with the schedule. Um, but... I guess it depends. I, I don't know. I don't know. Some people really seem to want me to do the true arena. Is the game worth 60 bones? Keep in mind they added the new swimming animation. That's true. Um... 60... Uh, whenever things are worth it financially, it's hard to tell. Um... I mean, it's good. This is definitely one of the better Kirby games. Um... Better than Star Allies, not better than Forgotten Land. I mean, if you only have a Switch, and you're like, you only play a Switch, then yeah, this is, it's good to see what is a really good 2D Kirby game, as opposed to a 3D one, um, in Star Allies. If they ever do Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot, those would be the wave. Uh, but 60 bucks, I don't know, 60 bucks is a lot of people, is a lot of bucks, a lot of money for some people, so it's hard to say. Um, it is very good though. Definitely a really good Kirby game. I know I beat it stupid fast, but there is a lot of other uh, there's a lot of other content in this game to, to dive through. I definitely think there's hopes for Robobot. I know a lot of people are worried about the console transition into the next gen hardware, but I think if they maintain the Switch li the Switch name, they can keep this trend going of just re-releasing things whenever they feel like it. And I think we can get a combo pack at some point. So. Do the true arena, there's new stuff for it. God. God. We'll see, maybe I'll do a 100% cleanup stream. 
If there's new stuff in True Arena, it might be worth it. There's more! Yeah, the game is also definitely... It's, I mean, all Kirby games are technically beginner Kirby games. What the hell am I missing? Story mode... Oh, the challenge rooms, I guess. I got the Traitor Magalore mask. Extra mode. I forgot about the challenge room, so I guess I can tag... I can, like, tack that on to the... I definitely don't think I'll stream extra mode. I don't think extra mode... Um... Seems... I mean, that's just playing the game again. Um... Thank you. Alright, is there a... A mask menu that might be back in the story? Um, let me just see what masks I have. Alright, do that whole game without jumping. Got you. That's a Nathaniel Bandy video. Can you beat this whole game without jumping? Oh. Oh, I got... <laughs> I got the ability to store items now. Oh, God. Alright, just when I needed it. Oh, my God. Thank you. Getting my copy tomorrow, so I want to spoil it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the game. Make sure to grab a snack. And enjoy the game. I can't thank you. I can't. Uh, they make noises. I can't believe I got the item thing now. I thought that was just for helper Magalore mode. Now that I beat the game, I got... Oh, I swear to God. Oh, he doesn't make noise? Only some characters make noise. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I hate it. I hate... I, I... I am going to the epilogue. I was just checking my masks. Relax. Man. God. All right, I'm going to take just a second of a bathroom break. Um, and then, yes, we're going to dive into Magalore uh, nonstop. We're just going to plow through the entirety of it. And, um, yeah, so just give me a minute to go to the bathroom. This is your guys' bathroom break, too. And, um, yeah, we will. I will be right back. The song do be very pleasant. Uh, welcome, welcome back. I'm here. I'm here, ready for for more. I realize the poll has still been up there. We can end that poll. I'm just pretty confident that we're doing uh, two in the epilogue. Didn't miss any donations. Good. I want to quickly send a thank you to uh, on Twitter. 
Who is this? Creative Creature 156, proving to me that I'm not absolutely crazy. There's the There's the Dream Buffet stone transformation. See, I'm not crazy. I know people said it was real and I was just having bad luck, but someone re directly responded to it, so uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Alright. Whew. Okay, new content time. We are gonna dive right in to Magalore Epilogue. Finally, the new stuff. So this takes place directly after. This is why you had to play the game first, because this is immediately after, apparently. This is when, when Magalore ascends to heaven. I think this is when it, all this stuff happens, so. And all I know about this is uh, some of the bosses have different designs. And it's about two hours, because there are some people who already uploaded the entire playthrough. Um, so that just gave me an idea of how long to expect to play it. So likely two and a half hours for me, probably. And I appreciate all 700 of you staying with me late on this Friday night. There's going to be new music in here, new mechanics. I'm very excited. This is the stuff I, I really like, so... All the color's been sucked out of him. Oh no. Alright. Much of his strength. Tale of his triumphant return now begins. I, I, to be honest, when I watched the direct, I didn't really super pay attention to this because I wanted to uh, to absorb it um, while I'm playing it. Uses points to boost abilities. Oh. Weak baby. Uh, very weak baby. Oh, pathetic child. Uh, he can slide somehow. Alright, that looks weird without having feet, but that's okay. Alright. Magalore Country Returns. This is it. Oh, there's combos? Oh. No. No, my combo! Okay, good. Oh, look at my combo go. There, okay, that's the combo. Got it. Is there a... Oh, he looks so sad. Levitate. It says new. Now you... I, was it saying new for, like... That's weird. Okay. Uh, tap B. Upward spear. Okay. There you go. Even that, like, jump sound... That double jump sound is very pathetic. Oh! No, tiny guys! That music was going hard, like, immediately. Oh, no, here they come. This cute little <laughs> demon spawn. Ah! Face me, coward! Ah! Oh, God, the health bar is so tiny, too. Get me something. Beautiful. Is that a necklace? What is that? Huh. We did it. We beat the game. Okay. That was a smooth little remix. There's not much to spoil. Listen. That's, that's, whatever is considered a spoiler is always subjective. Just because you don't think it's worth spoiling doesn't mean it wouldn't be for me. I don't want to know anything. Um, more than I already know. Um, so, not calling you out on this specifically, but whenever someone's like, it, people consider this a spoiler? I see that comment a lot from some people. A lot of it, like, on Twitter. And it's like, yes, for some people, people want to go in blind, so... I don't know if you said anything that would be considered spoilers, but yeah, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna get any spoils. Uh eight fragmental spoilers. Okay. 
Oh. Bomberman style. Okay. Uh, horizontal attack, upward attack, double jump, fly for a little while, health. Oh, you can do the barrier. You have a laughing attack? Trickery. Oh, that would be good. And then the bomb. Yeah, thinking that one. I'm always big on improving my attacks. I'm always a very much enough an offensive uh, attacker instead of defensive, so I'll save health for last. Oh, it is properly. Arrow Gree Dimension. Alright. I wonder what this is going to spell out. Ugh. Gotcha, Cody. Yeah, I wasn't personally saying anything against you. It just came to mind. Ooh. A little funky? Not the vibe I thought we were going for with this? Okay, I can dig this. I was a little worried, because I thought aesthetically this was just going to try to be more of like, um... Heroes in Another Dimension from Star Allies. It's like a little more color going on, from what I remember. Ooh, and I hit that, that jump, too. Okay. Blocks build you up your combo, don't give you stars. Learning. There's definitely a way to play this with peak performance. Yeah, music's good. What a surprise. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a new level design, too. I guess I just... When, the, when this was initially leaked, when the box art was leaked, I was thinking it was just going to be the same as, like, DDD Tour and Meta Nightmare, where you're just playing through the main game as Meta Knight. I'm glad this is not that. Um, more just genuine new content, which is really cool. Uh... No! God, not being able to fly is really messing with me. I'm gonna need to upgrade my flight. Get the hell out of here. Oh, I like- I really like combo-based games a lot, so... Oh yeah, just take all the hits, build up that combo! Absolutely, oh yes! Absolutely. Oh, short stage. Oh, there's rankings? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. I'm not going to replay any stages until I'm, like, fully maxed out. But that's going to lead to trouble about trying to get, uh... Trying to get platinum on everything. Okay, see, I didn't even know this had a traditional level setup. I was I was really in the dark on this. Ordeal doors? Oh. Oh. This this has its own set of challenge levels. Man. These guys always know what they're doing with these soundtracks. I don't know why Kirby soundtracks always hit, like, different. It's, it's... I made a tweet, I uh, forget how long ago, I think it was after the direct. I think it was like, find someone who loves you the same way Hal loves Kirby. Cause they really just be giving this guy all the love. Make sure each level has a gold or platinum. Okay. Noted. I would assume I would be good enough to at least get gold in all of them, but I did make some stupid mistakes during the main game, so. We'll see. I think this is the first time I'm ever streaming, like, brand new Kirby content, which is pretty cool. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need that. 
Um, bigger blasts. Travel further. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Everything's gonna get maxed out anyway, so... It's just a matter of when. <laughs> someone else asking if I played Pizza Tower. <laughs> it's amazing. Every 20 minutes, someone's asking me if I play Pizza Tower. I love it. Yes, I've played Pizza Tower. Game's, in ga game's incredible. Ah. Yeah, I can already feel, like, the... The speedrun urge to get everything maxed. I'm gonna make sure by the end of the game I'll have uh, the trickery one maxed out, I guess, so that way I can run through the levels again and get those guaranteed platinums. Oh, yeah, no life count. Thank god. Life counts are so antiquated, uh, I, I wish no game had them. There's no reason for them. I get it in this, it's a remake, remaster, so the original game had it, whatever. Forgotten Land didn't have them. Right, I don't think it did. Definitely didn't even come close to touching a game over screen. So I think, this is what Magalore was doing all this time. Yeah, they definitely make sure you, like, you need to get fully upgraded for you to be able to get a full combo. Because combos go away before the next enemy can spawn in. Really need to get that uh, trickery leveled up. Holy cow, they did a lot of damage. The fact that I'm noticing, like, a decent amount of gameplay depth. It's pretty impressive. And they're short levels, too. This is pretty... pretty good. <laughs> I'm liking this a lot. The levels are a lot shorter than the main game, but if it's combo-based, I like that. Short bursts. Oh, there's levitation, too. Ooh, I didn't even test levitation yet. That's pretty good. Prepare for a lot of grinding? Uh-oh. Well, whatever happens, happens. Nope. There's one! There's one. I would love to continue the stage. Not being able to just fly like Kirby is, uh... Definitely messes with the muscle memory. Oh, I can do a little... Okay. Am I auto-scrolling right now? Or am I just going really fast? Okay, I'm not. The way the camera panned out made me think. I'm surprised these aren't timed. It just... Do them. Stream Earthbound? Not likely. I don't even really like Earthbound, honestly. If I had any hot Nintendo takes, it was that I'm not much of an Earthbound fan. So. Oh, we got chase segments. Sick. Ah! No! My combo! Ooh, ooh. There's so much to do with- okay. There- this. I'm already liking this sort of chase more than, uh, the Kirby ones. Because the Kirby one was just pushing forward. Here it's making sure you're actually stopping along the way. Get- get bent! Get bent! Okay.
Another one? Man. Oops. Didn't even notice that. Okay. Kind of repeat level design now? Oh, a little bit. Not really. Ah, damn. Sucks. Do I have a guard? I do. You know what I missed from Forgotten Land was the dodge roll. Oh, man. That elevated that game. Any game gets better if there's a dodge roll. One of the reasons why I like Pokemon Arceus <laughs> more than Sword and Shield. Or uh, Scarlet and Violet. With a 22 combo. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. I'm getting combo hungry here. Yeah. Oh, my God. This boy's got health. Oh, my God. That guy had a lot of health. Jesus. That was, uh, not, I did not anticipate that. Come here, big boy. Go, 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 go. That's crazy. How much health does he have? What do you mean? Oh, my God. That dude was packing. Wow. Oh, platinum. Alright. I'm glad I died then. I got to better my craft. I really like Forgotten Land, but personally I think the series should stay 2D. I think the series needs to just do more adventurous stuff with 3D. Because Forgotten Land is super good, but it's very typical. Uh, I, I, I would like Kirby to adventure a little bit more. Uh, this is something I have to return to. Okay. Oh, I'm in area... Oh. That's area two. Okay. Um, yeah, let's... Um... I really want to just boost up attacks. I'm going to regret not getting this, so I'm just going to... This is reminding me a little bit of Fighters with the uh, extra stuff I can unlock with points. It's not a roguelike, but I really do like upgrading things. I should have upgraded my health. Alright, I'll come back to that. Alright, who do we got? Uh, Mr. Duder. Alright, redesigned Mr. Duder. Electric Mr. Duder? Ele electric y Duder. Alright. Whoa! Aw, oh, damn, my combo. Oh, hello. Duder's got some new moves. Oh, it's a re okay, it's a remix of the. What? Excuse me? Ah, what? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, my God. Uh, oh, 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 wow, new moves, hello, what, what is, what is happening, oh, now the rock part of the song decided to kick in, what is, what, what is that, what is that, what is that snake, what do you mean? What? Oh, 
I'll pause for the lore. I'm glad I paused. Uh, Focus electricity. He loves to perform shocking tricks. As an underling, he was told to gather fruit fragments for their powerful life source. Okay. There was nothing really there. There was not much lore there that you were hyping up. All the lore was is that he has to do the thing. Which, of course, he's the bad guy. All lore is useful. No, that's fair. Ah, oh, silver. Well. Alright, well, I gotta fight this again, right? We gotta get all golds, at the very least. You wouldn't know. It was garbage lore if you didn't see it. It's galaxy brain play right there. All right, I got. I'll. Uh, I'll fight him again. Now that I know what I'm doing, I probably got hit too many times. Who is he an underling of? Oh yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, like yeah, uh, Magalore was the bad guy, so of course, who is he an underling of? Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Oh. Energy? Oh. Oh yeah, and it's an apple. Holy cow, I'm really not even thinking. It's really not registering to me. It's a gem apple. Wow, from uh, Clash. I'm really just not. It really, it really just didn't register with me. Listen, I said I went into this blind. I did not know what to expect whatsoever. Wow, we're really making that... I mean, I guess there's no reason why it wouldn't be canon, but... Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, save up. Yeah, I'll go and get the gold. Let me just do this first. Oh, I can charge it. Did it say that? See, when I... the thing, This is why I don't really stream new games super often. I'm not having a bad time, but I don't end up paying attention to things and people call me out on it. I feel like that's a very typical new game... Like, a uh, thing streamers deal with. It's just not something I deal with very often because I don't do this. If it said I could charge, I didn't realize. But that's cool. Ah, whoa. Open up. Man, I... The fact that this looks as crazy as it does makes me think the final challenges are probably going to be pretty wild, which I'm... Very excited for. I'm really digging this mode. Woo! I have no I, I have no idea. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus, okay. I'm excited. It's almost like because I played this game so much, the main campaign was the thing I was the least looking forward to. I heard extra mode had different stuff. There was this. The true arena apparently has extra stuff. The mini games. Like the main campaign that we'd spent five hours doing was the thing I was the least looking forward to. Um, so we'll do this for the sake of attack. Nice. I'm working on the minigames for the last six hours? Are the are the missions or the achievements or whatever in the minigame mode tough? That might be annoying to stream then if I'm just grinding. But I don't know. Oh, oops. Alright, well, we're gonna just we're gonna try to not get hit. Some of them are, yeah, okay. Sharina has 21 bosses now. How many were there before? There's a hundred missions? Oh, Jesus. I, oh, okay. I got my work cut out for me this weekend. Go for the P rank. Let's go. It's pizza time. Can I charge it in midair? I can't. Uh, okay. <laughs> Damn it, my combo. Okay. 
Round one. Oh, there's... Okay. This is wild. The fact that there's new moves? That's crazy. I had no idea they actually changed the bosses. I thought it was just Duder with a... Uh, with an additional attribute. What are you doing? I forgot! Oh, Might have to do the boss a third time. Hey, I'm gonna have to do the boss a third time. Get, get the, hit him with the thunder! Oh, with the Kamea Blast! Okay. Oh, and he giggles when he does it. That's adorable. There's no chance that's a platinum. Potentially a gold, but there's no way that's a platinum. I'll be shocked if it's a gold. I got hit so many times at the end. It was bronze. I did worse. Jesus. Is it dependent on combos? I don't know. I just started. I really have no idea. Alright, I did worse somehow. Uh... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna progress, and then I'll make sure to go back. Um, I wanna get upgraded, and then I'll go back and redo bosses. Is there fast travel? Probably not. It's probably not that big. Okay. I believe I get more with large combos. That makes sense. Magic points. Okay. Yeah, I gotta just make sure I get my combo game good. It's, it's this music. At least it's not time based. I kind of thought this was gonna potentially be time based. Um, because I'm so used to Star Allies modes, but I'm glad that's not the case. I can see you becoming really unstoppable by the end of this if everything is leveled up. Man. This actually feels really satisfying. Oh, I get instant sick. Good remix. Damn, that was a 15 combo? Love it. So yeah, so I guess platinum rankings and all that stuff, that is just based on getting good combos then? Does getting hit or anything play a factor? I mean, it technically does, because you lose combo when you get hit, as evidenced. Platinum is literally P-Rank. Yes. It is It is just combo-based. Okay. Probably a little bit of everything. But getting hit does reduce combos, but it, I don't think it's a game where, like... I'm thinking of, like, a Bayonetta-type thing where, like, it counts how many times you got hit. It doesn't seem like that's the case. Alright, yeah, so that's what I'll do. I'll play through the campaign. If I need to go back, I'll be fully leveled up and be able to just dominate through it. Yeah, Devil May Cry at Bayonetta levels, yeah. When I think of rankings, that's usually where my mind goes to. Where it factors how much health I lost, how my combos were, stuff like that, how much time it took. Alright. Uh... Magic barrier. If enemy attacks that, I won't get her. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm just gonna focus on combos then. Try to go for the gold on the. Is to try to go for the gold on a boss after defeating the next world's boss. Yeah, that's that's valid. Before I do the final boss, I may I'll make sure I, I'm I'm golded up. What are you, what is this? Okay. Okay. 
Easy. Easy energy balls. Easy peasy. It's the Avenger Ant-Man, that's me. Why did the song just do the Wild West thing? Oh, not far enough. If only I had it upgraded. No! Oh, that bomb looking pretty big, though. Why are you going fast? Man, he's, he started speeding up. Damn it. Combo game looking good, though. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, he coming. Damn it, I lost my combo. Adios. Nice. Nice. This is really satisfying. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how much I'm really enjoying this. Uh-oh. Man, you going right for it? Can't stop him. Oh, why'd you jump? That would've been great. Riding the butt for those points. Hell yeah. So m oh man, I really got a lot. Got a lot of the shards of uh, energy balls out of this. Energy bulbs. Yeah, that was definitely a platinum. I say, knowing exactly what it takes to get a Platinum now. <laughs> he sounds like a squeak toy, with his squeaker broken. Uh... Oh, he's like, whoa. He's meditating for a second. Yoink. Ooh. See, that's actually really cool, like, game design-wise. The fact that I upgrade the thing, and then they put me in a room uh, where I get to see the change immediately. I like that. Man. Uh... Damn. Yeah, not easy to do mid-air. Got it. Can I do mid-air at all? I can. Yeah. Very nice. I'm seeing a lot of people yelling beam attack. Is that is that a reference that I should be getting? Am I am I am I deluded? Am I just been streaming for too long that I just don't get it right now? Fail boat meme? I'm gonna have to attack him for that later. I'm gonna I'll see him at some point. Tell him his cursed, not funny memes are invading my chat, and now I'll start a B4 with him. Uh Okay. Oh I goofed up. I goofed up. I under anticipated. Oh no. <laughs> Who's Failboat? He's another stupid YouTuber that makes some pretty good content, and he's only, like, he's a bit of a friend. And, uh... I could fake YouTube beef if I want to, but he's a good dude. I realized I'm doing this, and then I passed by the ladder. Really not hit with a ton of- okay, I can't. I was gonna say. Really not hitting a ton of bright spots in my, uh- oh. Can I even...? Yes. Oops, oops. I wanted to turn around. Hit the thing. Ah, not... Oh, not again. 
Ah. Wow, it's like I'm playing this for the first time. I can't believe Professional Gamer is not perfect at a game first time through. Insane. Really getting a gist of all the mechanics, though. Sudden answered short notification? Well, that was yesterday, I think. It was yesterday. So. Man, when I'm, when I'm quiet for a second, I get to really appreciate the music. And I, I, I like these new somber uh, tracks. No, turn... I definitely need to upgrade my flying. Cool. Give me the margarita, thank you. Buff le levitation, I figured. Man, I'm just happy there's new level design. I really thought this was just gonna be the old game. This is cool. No. That was a rainbow gem. Almost got like a perfect combo for this fight. Still pretty good. I think I still get the description of what Magalore says for the upgrades. Each magic power it could help me make decisions. I mean, the goal is to have everything upgraded, so it's not like um, it really matters to me. I'm gonna have them all upgraded. I would say, I would assume. Um, that's the plan. Every time there's like an upgrade tree for anything, my goal is to try and, and maximize it. Gotcha. Get busy. That's a YouTuber meme, alright. Alright, uh, and then Bomb has to get buffed up too. Oh, it's max is four, so they can't even upgrade all that much more. Uh, I can't even access that now. Uh, so sir, oh no, levitation. And I'll do that too. Wait, do they do they all cap at four? Six for a couple, two for that one. Okay. Uh, upwards for okay. I know there's a bunch of new people. Oh, we're gonna. I know there's a bunch of new people in the stream right now. I'll reiterate again, just for people who don't know. But um, when the chat freezes and then goes crazy, I'm looking into it. Looking into fixing that. Two bombs now. Too much, too much. Too much. Ah, damn. Okay, so I got two surges now. That's good. Definitely feeling like the overpowered god Magalo always wanted to be. Okay. 
Oh, I should've. That's fine. It's not fine. Uh, that's not, that's very much not fine. Um, there. Not really a penalty, so... Is it... Oh, it's just a barrier. This whole time, I never get hit by it. I thought it did damage this whole time. I've been playing this game for years, even the Wii version, and I did not know that that did not cause damage, because I always run away from it. Learn something new. Wait, so what? Am I just not able to get that yet? Am I crazy? Um... Do I... The dash? No. Surge has wind property? Are these things that the, that the shop menu is telling me and I'm not, i just not getting it? I'm not the type who's gonna blame the game for my own not reading ability. Ah, oh, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, my B. Listen, I'll take that. I'll take the L on that. This is what I get for trying to just focus on chat the whole time. It had wind in the in the beginning. Man, it just had not really been relevant, uh, I guess. Um, press and hold B, yep. 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 Okay. Adios! Ah, oh, damn, almost got a full combo. Man, that was that was that would have been a hundred combo. Damn, that's a shame. Shame. Still good though. Still a platinum. Is platinum the max? Is there like a a pure platinum? There's no downside to this game compared to the old one? Yeah. I agree. Pizza Platinum. Uh, I gotta get upward, so I'm gonna save. Read the shop description for trickery. Not all of it is combo length. Alright, I'll do it. <laughs> Before I forget, I'm such a not reader. Let me, let me check. I thought I, I was just used to everything being more powerful. Make the charge time shorter. Upward flame. Okay, hold. Fly for even longer. If I fall, if I start to fall down a hole, okay. More health. Yep. The magic barrier. I could walk and run a bit faster. Interesting. Okay. Mighty bombs up down. Okay. Interesting, okay. Okay. What happens if I click on them? I don't know. Let's see what happens if I click on them. It just makes a fart noise. I think I got them all. TV trash, please do not spam the chat. Easy. 
All right, what do we got? All right, it's a rockfish. Oh. Jesus, already we got something. Okay. Get bent. Did that not do damage? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, he's super armored. Oh. Okay. What? Whoa, what? Uh, that may have been a thing in the original, and I take him out so fast, I never know. What? Oh. 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 Bro, stop! Oh, those bombs do crazy damage. Damn. Alright, definitely not platinum. Those bombs do crazy, though. Oh, the... What? Oh, my god. The, okay, I'm gonna hop back in. I'm such a not-reader in games to my own detriment. Okay, there we go. It's still there. Lava beast from this dimension. Born from the elemental heat. Uses scorching moves that'll do more than melt. He still has to take the fruit fragment he found back to his boss. Oh my god. Silver. Yeah, so the... the the lore is that there's another, a newer big bad, so I'm, uh, definitely interested to see who that is. Time to head back to the first boss. I guess I can do that now. I can head back to the first boss now, or I can show up even more powerful. Ah, big ol' apple slices. Oh, there's five. Okay. Things I'm, there's things here that I haven't been paying attention to because I'm also focusing on chat and talking. I didn't even notice there were five... Fires back there. Nice. Oh. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's get the upward charged up. We'll do that first. Oh, and then I can do the bomb. Hell yeah. Ooh, ooh. No. Favorite Kirby bad guy and why? Probably Susie. Mostly because of her very depressing backstory. <laughs> I think I would think I would say that. But I also have a soft spot for Dark Matter. Because he kept showing up multiple times. This is Grand Evil. Try using the spikes they do a thing. I mean, I did it. Alright, let's go do the bomb thing. And then we'll go kick the boss's ass. Oh, god. Okay, there's wind. No, okay, I got one. Very nice. They remind me a lot of, like, the ability challenge rooms in Forgotten Lands. 
The spikes are great for damage over time. Got it. They know that Trickery 2 can make enemies drop food when defeated. Did it say that and I didn't notice? Oh no, I did, probably, probably didn't. I mean, that's good to know. Alright, let's go kick the first boss's ass. And then I'll power up. Well... Uh... Oh, uh... Nice. So I guess then... If they get such high praise... I want this beefed up. I want. I, I can't wait. I'm glowing blue. Oh, that's for the beam. Press minus on the ability for details. Good to know. Also, I can start. Well, uh, yeah, I can start with the the beam. Goodbye, Duder. I gotta get that combo. Get bent. I was I was holding charge on the spikes, but it didn't seem like it was actually. Charging yet? Maybe I have to power them up. Yeah, because he does that, but nothing happens. So I probably have to level that up. No, I want. I wanted to dash. Sick. Sick. Not doing hot. Once again. Goodbye. Oh, duh. God. Not good. Why is Do Duders dooting me? I don't like it. I don't like Duder be dooting me. He'd be dooting me hard. I don't like it. I don't like it. Duder be dooting me. I may come back when I'm even more powerful. I probably got bronze again. Okay, this is... Alright, I'm... I'm coming back to this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to this. I don't want to waste time grinding a boss if I can continue to upgrade. <clears throat> oh. Uh, oh. la dee da Very nice. There was a lever? Why are people just saying things? I'm gonna progress. Above the gems I picked up? Oh my god. Oh, it's fast travel then. Alright, cool. Good. Thank you. This world music is pretty good, though. Alright, world three. Oh, the, the world names start with APP now? Okay, so it's Apple then. 
very cute. No, go midair. Music's going real fast in the background. No! Where's the big boy? I have a beam. I have a beam ready to go. Son of a... I'm so not good at this yet. I'm gonna get so good at this, you guys have no idea. It's just gonna take time. Whoa. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Boo, get off the stick. I'm a, I'm such a fake Kirby fan. I should have this mastered already. Damn, 1,100 points? 500 first time cleared. Holy cow. Haven't been saying Poyo enough. It's fair and that's a fair. That's a very fair complaint. I respect that. Okay, time to get those. Shorten the charge time. Oh yeah, I can charge him now that I upgraded him. Uh, I didn't even get to try that yet. I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be handy. So that's maxed now. Uh, there we go. There we go. Much better and nicer. Good. There's so many noises happening right now. Overloading my senses. Jesus. I really, I, I really do like how the levels are shorter. That more compact style, I think, very, that very much helps. <sighs> and I imagine if like. You had the option to play this from the start, then you'd probably be upset with how short things are. But I don't know. I, uh... I'm digging this. Up. I would have to assume there is there is a way to perfect combo every level. No, oh, oh. If that was a miracle. Nope. 
I just, the only comment I got to see was they should have added Ridley mode to Metroid Prime Remastered. It's a fair argument. No! Alright, gamers, where are we doing? Oh, I attacked the burger. I didn't even realize the burger was a burger. That was another enemy. Oh, damn. Hasta la bye bye. Hasta la no. That was a fail. No! No! Okay. Give me more combo. Okay. Almost a disaster, but turned out alright. My glasses look amazing. That's a good compliment. Thank you. Add Duder as a playable character. If you want to make the best-selling Kirby game of all time, that's the way to do it. Alright, what's next? Uh, the extra shield. Sure. Needed to eventually, anyway. Alright, so, there it is. I like, it, it's cool that it's, it makes sense why it would be, but it's cool that it's the star. Man, wow, okay. Wow, every time it redoes the five? Holy cow. That's... Kind of busted? I'm gonna die? I hate it. I hate everything. Thank God this isn't... Graded. Upset I missed those gems. Will I stream Tilt and Tumble when it comes to NSO? Probably. I may as well, right? May as well capitalize on all this Kirby stuff. It just makes sense. I will say, just again, because uh, I, I used to see the comments going by so often, if I miss anything... I apologize. I try to catch what I can. Once again, the only way to guarantee anything is with the super chat thing. But I know that's not for everybody. I do what I can. I promise. Yeah, once I got that flying going, man, everything really clicks into place. I didn't need to do that, but that's fine. Am I gonna keep this up all night? No, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna beat this mode, and that's when I'll call it quits. That's so broken that it's five hits, and you just remove it for like a millisecond, and it uh, recharges the five. That's crazy. That's gonna make Mr. Duder a lot easier. Sick. Sick.
Oh my goodness, all right. I can't believe I've been streaming for s seven hours. Almost full comboed it if it wasn't for not being able to reach that guy. That was a really slick run. I was like entranced by it. Dang, she says. I don't know what was said, but thank you. I didn't even know you were in here. Thank you. Holy cow. Right when I was in the middle of that like tense moment, I didn't even see that. Thank you. Oh, another YouTuber in the chat. That's crazy. Thank you. Oh, man. Uh, which one's that? Oh. The Vanish. Alright. Let's do that one. I'll just save them for when they're required of me at a door at this point. So much further. That worked out. God, I'm loving this. Magalore is <laughs> feels so overpowered. Oh my god. No! Nice. Not nice. Kind of nice. Very nice. I did not know that get busy, but I asked for no spoilers <laughs> for anything. Um, yes, Yarkaz, this will stay up on the channel. There is a live tab. Um, on the channels now, and it'll just be preserved there. So. Which is really cool. I really like how YouTube handled uh, having a separate tab for live streams as opposed to just putting them all in the same like video page on a channel. Oh, that's too much. Too fast. Too fast. This is a particularly long chase segment. This is a particular- oh my god, it's still going. Okay. Whew. Ah, jeez. No, no. So this is why a Kirby Warriors game could easily work, is all I'm saying. It clearly feels really good to just overpower these guys. So, just put it in a 3D setting. Golden. Whew. 
Oh, I should have waited a second. Damn, that hit one thing. All right. That dude got juggled. Oh, dominated. Oh, I got dominated. Having a stupid Gordo in the center. Cheap. Oh. Getting these Platinums pretty quick, though. Someone mentioned something about grinding. I don't think I really have to do much grinding. Maybe on the bosses if I were to try to tackle them in the moment, but... Clearly I don't have to. Unless there's something crazy that's even... that's gonna happen. I could probably tackle Duder now. But let me... I'll tackle this boss. Get whatever ability this third boss gives me. Um, let's charge this up. And then I'm going to save it for whatever ability this gives me. The issue with Kirby Warriors is trusting Koei Tecmo with the IP. They've shown that they can only really do Zelda well. I disagree. I think Three Hopes, uh, yeah, Three Hopes was super good. And I want to say all the the original warriors having uh, mostly Fire Emblem Fates, I think was... I don't know if that was a Koei Tecmo decision, or... Who? Oh. They gave him an instant transition? What? Jesus Christ! <laughs> They turned my monkey into a fish. Are you gonna tra teleport again? No. Oh, it's gonna bounce? Man, that beam really be doing no damage. It's the flashiest thing in the world. Does no damage. Just, just die. There you go. Give me that bronze, baby. Give me that bronze ranking. I know it. I know it. Give me that bronze. Give me that bronze. I know it's coming. Yeah, I know we need to upgrade the beam. I know it's my fault. Bronze? Dang! Alright. Even if gold is the minimum, I will try to go out of my way to... Uh... Oh, I did... Oh. I'll go back. I'll go into the fight again. I do forget to pause. I'll jump right back in. It's okay. No, the lore's coming. Everyone relax. Relax. The lore doesn't go away. Oh, nice. I have a bad memory? I do. This just in. Person does not have impeccable memory. More at 11. Hydriath? Hydriath? I don't know. Uh, lives in the oceans of this dimension, born from water and ice. His powerful brawler moves flow smoothly and effortlessly. His fruit fragment will go to his boss unless you steal it first. You all are yelling at me and there's nothing being revealed in this. It just is, there's a bad guy at the end. Stop yelling at me, I'm sensitive. 
Did I attempt playing the game with the GameCube controller? No, is that possible? That'd be cool if that's possible. Uh... Yo, Duder's about to go to the Shadow Realm. Oh no, yeah, it's de the lore is definitely neat, but everyone's like, Dude, you idiot! You effing idiot! Go look, you didn't pause the game again? And I'm like, bro, I, just, I thought I'm missing something crazy. Uh... Alright, let's... Let's see, now that I have the... All of the moves, I can probably do this dude out of existence. Uh, where's the beam? There we go. Um, fit a lot more hits into each. Yeah, that's. Um, I feel like I should probably upgrade the black hole at this point. Uh, uh, no, I'll save it. I want to save points from whatever doors are in the fourth section. All right. Duder's gonna... Oh, Duder don't know what about what's about to hit him. Well. I'm gonna start. We're gonna start that again. good. Damn, no! I hope that doesn't really ruin things. Come on, I got hit once. That was so much better. That was so much better. Come on. If it has to be flawless for platinum, fine, but... 480! I need 500. You kidding me? <sighs> All right, I'm saving this for the end. I really need to, I feel like I need to be maxed out to just just for the sake of the combo. I got hit once early on that ruined a combo and I think that's what ruined the whole thing. So, I'm saving the bosses for last. Oh yeah, I guess when he summoned the snakes. I guess you can get a platinum I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna wait till I'm more powered up. Right before I fight the final boss, I'll 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 make sure everything's at least gold. I need to get more points to level up. May as well. Surprised I dodged that. Where am I? I love every time 
any of these Kirby songs si like sort of call back to the song that was used in the canceled GameCube game. I think that's super cool. Just knowing the history behind that song. GameCube game? Yeah, I guess it's been so long now that maybe some people don't know. There's a pretty infamous GameCube Kirby game that was cancelled. Nintendo kept saying for years that it was coming out, and then it never did. If you look up Kirby GameCube, you'll see the only known footage in existence. Um, it was at E3 2004 or 5. Uh, but randomly, like last year, more footage showed up from someone who like had a video camera at the event. But it's it's pretty it's pretty cool how new footage just happened to show up last year. All right. Jesus, that's that's terrifying. Block messed me up. I was doing good. Oh, it feels exhilarating actually trying to main it, like uh, maintain a good combo. I do believe there are just more unused files left in this game as well. They weren't in the original, probably because this was based on the Wii game, which had some of those canceled files in there. But I haven't done any deep dives yet. That's oh, at the cutting room floor or whatever. No, this isn't better than Forgotten Land, but it's still very good. There were three cancelled GameCube games. There was the one that has footage of it from E3 that year. Uh, and then, like, in an Awada Asks segment, um, they revealed that one, as well as a um, an isometric one. And a... Uh, excuse me. And a normal 2D side-scroller that had a... Like a cell shaded art style. Um, and all of those have kind of manifested themselves over the years. I figured this game having a uh, cell shaded art style may be a callback to the original, well, one of the original GameCube games visions. It's fun to think about. Go! Go! I love they just gave him an energy blast. Oh, I guess I could have used it there. stacking up on gems. What I think looks better between this and Star... I think this... I said earlier in the chat with somebody that I, I, I don't really like how Star Allies looks. Uh, and, like, Star Allies just kind of looks like the 3D Kirby models thrown into Unity. Um, plus the 30 frames per second thing is annoying. This looks better for sure. 
Oh, you didn't have to retract it. That was the question. Yeah, it's a little too plain looking. Um, plus, it didn't help that like the themes of the level weren't really like really original either. Um, but I try to limit the Star Allies, you know, bad mouthing because some people are actually fans of it. Um, just not for me. Guest star mode is hot though. This extra mode is sick. Um, yeah, building up my, my skills and stuff has been really satisfying. It's way better than I thought it was going to be. And I really had the bare minimum in my mind for what I thought this was going to be. Someone's about to get sent to the Shadow Realm. It's just a matter of who wants to go first. You guys. That's terrifying. God, I messed my combo up again. I need to hit that 100 combo at some point. I love that move. That move is great. Damn. There's a mod that removes the outlines. That's true. It happened with the demo, like two days after the demo was out. Oh, you're so fast. Very good. I might argue that epic, extra epic yarn is bad, but I mean, I don't like... I don't like extra epic yarn either. If you only have a 3DS, then sure, play Epic Yarn, but I would, I would rather say you just straight up emulate Epic Yarn than play the 3DS version. I just don't like the, the new additions that are forced upon you. Alright, 5,000 uh, gems I should upgrade. There's something. Well, not yet. There will be. Oh. The only thing I don't like about Return to Dreamland is the half-assed hard mode they shoved in. Makes replaying the game feel like a slog. Well, apparently... Um, apparently extra mode is harder in this one, in Deluxe, compared to the original. So I'm interested to see what that's all about. I'm guessing it adds some stuff in here, like the bosses. Um, I mean, that's... See, this is what happened. I was focused on the question. Ah. <laughs> I got chemical planted. I hate that. That's such a that's such a specific reference. I like this black hole thing a whole lot.
They managed to fit a lot of moves into this moveset with such few buttons. It's quite admirable. There's a wide variety of enemies. Are there enemies in this that weren't in the main game? Man, I'm really... So, because I'm, I'm like, in a chat, I really am not super analyzing these things. I, I didn't want to look anything up. This was going to be something where, like, after I was done, I was going to really analyze what I've been, like, what this is all about. I just really haven't noticed. I'm a, I'm a clown. Alright, let's, uh... Trickster. Walk and run a bit faster. I've had a... If I had a lot more time for my combos, there you go. Um, I'm going to save that. This is more important. Cool. Definitely moving faster. That's nice. There's a mini boss tower here too. Is there that does that mean? There that does. <laughs> Oh, but I missed that. Okay. It's such a small place? What the hell? Damn. Why'd they make the arena so small? I'm fighting on the Game Boy again. Duder as a mini boss? Oh no, my worst enemy. Oh, there you go. Ah. Oh. King do. All right. All right, my boy. All right. All right. Okay. What was that? That was disgusting. Didn't like that one bit. That was abuse. Yeah, we're not dealing with this. Wow, I'm still dealing with this. That didn't that did not do as much as I thought. Bombs are really good. Oop. There we go. Not taking that abuse again. That was disgusting. That's a file or a piece of police report type of uh, abuse I just had right there. That was that was not good. And man, that was so bad. Let's get. Oh my God. The, the spikes on only one wall is really... And the arena's so tiny, too! I hate this. I hate... Oh. It's been seven hours. You're doing good? I'm actually doing totally fine. I'm doing better now than I was a couple hours ago. I think because I actually like really enjoy this mode, so I got it. Nope, nope, I got it. There you go. Nope. 
That's gonna be a problem. There you go. Oh, how many more of these? Goodbye. I do be expecting a black hole to just kill a man, but clearly not. Oh, oh, oh. That's what hurt me. Oh, I didn't even see the spikes. I hate this. Why are there spikes on one side? This is cruel. No, I didn't want to do that. I don't like this. It's getting too close. Whatever. Gone. Woo! Wow. Yeah, Andrew, yeah. I figured the, end, the hidden doorway would be harder. But man, I'm really, uh, I'm out here struggling for my life. Oh god, a defense section? God, why you? Oh, there's spikes again! Get bent! Okay. Oh, cool, more. That was... Nah, that's not what I wanted to do! I didn't want to do it twice. 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 <sighs> Listen, there comes a time where you just really regret everything you've ever done. God. No, I didn't. I changed my direction. The 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 gust thing. It could be a little floaty. I'm not gonna lie. Damn it. I didn't. It's like I I pressed the button like one frame before I changed my direction, and it's it's causing me to run. Into the same, into the wall. God. Thank you. Jeez. It was bad. But, it was the harder path, so. Whew. Eh, yeah, platinum. That was, pl that was platinum performance right there. That was flawless, would not change a thing. I can't believe I had a perfect run. It was wild. You wish you were all as good as I am for that. Oh my god. Alright, uh... Yeah, I guess health I should do next, clearly. <laughs> Just spitball in here. Ah, uh, not yet. Are there any more challenge levels? I guess not. Oh? There we go. Oh, fully tricked out. Okay, I can't do that.
And, he, and Mr. Duder is silver. Listen, I don't come into your house and make fun of you. Lay off. I'm sensitive. I feel like some of these levels are levels I've done before, but in reverse. Is that... Is that accurate? Like, that 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 area looked like one of the levels from Egg Engines, but in reverse. Yes, okay. How much of this mode has been stuff in reverse? Has it been the whole game? Quite a bit of it. I was so absorbed with like trying to get good combos, I didn't really notice the level design until I saw the guys trapped in the cages. I was like, that looks familiar. There's a void in that. That would have probably killed me. No. Oh, I thought I had a thing. Oops. I hate, I hate that they knew exactly to put spikes on both sides of any of these arenas, because it's just, it's making me livid. <laughs> I hate it so much. Yes, the VOD was going to stay up on the channel. No worries there. Stupid idiot ran into my spike. Idiot. Idiot, Dubior. Idiot. Big, stupid idiot. You went out for at least two hours and I'm still playing? I said I was doing it! Did people doubt me? You're not about to catch me doing eight-hour streams very often, ever again. <laughs> Until the next Kirby game drops, I guess. So, is there there's a, is the fourth boss the final boss, or is there a fifth boss after this? Is there an entirely, like, is there a fifth world? How much content is there? There's six boss. Oh, so there's a whole other world left. Dang. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna pause the game first to get the lore. Alright? No more no more abuse. What the hell are you? Four how many doomers? This is this a new thing? Doomia Doomia. Doomer in the form of Landia? Rampaging Doomers. Alright. Another dimension. Instead of hunting spheres, someone is making them seek fruit fragments. But wait, haven't we met the big boss of all Doomers already? Nani? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Jesus. Oh. That's going to be too far away, isn't it? That worked out, kind of. Not super. Oh, nice. That worked out. God, the explosion bit is what's really... Ah! One, two, traumatizing. A lot of spheres. Holy cow. I think the Doomers are connected to Landia in a way. We're about to find out. Shock and awe abound. Gold. Sick. A thousand for click. I guess. Man. That was pretty good. future reference, make sure you watch the credits. Yeah, I, I figured I was gonna anyway. No more levels. That was sort of what I guess I was asking uh, about about another boss. Uh, so now I'll go back and try to gold everything. Or, yeah, I guess every stage, right? Every stage needs a gold. Oh! Oh, damn. Limit break. Ooh. Yeah, so now the grinding thing makes sense. If everything else goes above. All right. So I gotta do... Can I even get Trickster up to six? It goes up to nine now? Oh my god! Alright, here's where the grind comes in. If I need to grind more off camera, that's fine. I want to at least beat the mode tonight. I didn't even re- damn it. Earn more magic energy. I think I can go faster. Probably fly higher, maybe? Oh, nope, I held the button. Oops. Man, so much. Uh... Alright, it's like some ultimate challenge. God! I did notice I have a second health bar, and then now that there's a limit break, I can fill up a second bar, which is cool. I figured as much. You didn't miss any Duder. I'm gonna go and uh, do Duder now and see if there's any other levels I, I passed up on somehow. So, all gold and platinum. 
I'll go in reverse order at this point. All gold and platinum. Just the boss. We're gonna we're gonna do the two bosses. Chief, I'm gonna be honest with you. Duh. <laughs> I should be taking damage right now. That was kind of that was kind of okay. That was kind of okay, but not likely. That was, that was that's tougher than I thought it was going to be to really nail them. Okay, so I guess it's five hundred for gold, a thousand for platinum. That makes sense. Which level am I on? I'm nearing the end. Which, uh, it's been a little, almost two hours. So basically exactly what, uh, they said it was gonna be. Alright, it's dootin' time. <laughs> Not ready for doots, but, uh, let's see. Alright. Stupid Mr. Dooter is the only one giving me trouble. Um... Three surges in a row. I feel like that's gonna gonna help out. I like the surge a lot. So. Alright. No, I want... Definitely powerful. So help me when you come down from there. That's not gonna mess up my dootin. Oh, that might mess up my dootin. Two hits at the end, come on. That was so much cleaner, are you kidding me? I saw 500, so I got a gold. That was definitely a gold at the very least. Definitely a gold. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Platinum is le le not a thousand on this one. Let's go. Champion. Champion. Alright, so we are, we're good, right? So someone said early on, gotta get gold or platinum on everything. Now I gotta get gold or platinum on the last boss. I can arrange that. Can I upgrade anything else? Eh. May as well. Alright. This, uh, eight-hour stream is getting close to finally wrapping up.
Is it Galacta Knight? Showing up like always? Is it Grand Doomer? What is this? Evil Grand Doomer? Oh my god. Oh my god, Apple Duder. Crowned Doomer. Is there a Trap Kirby song? Black Mountain. Oh, interesting. This was the song! Oh, he's using the elements! Oh, damn. Sneaking suspicion, my uh, my first attempt on this boss is not going to be gold or platinum, but we'll see. I tried to just dodge it, but... Oh my goodness. Not going good. Thought I held the button down quick enough. Woo! What? Oh no, them again. That's it, we beat it, right? Well, I have... I have Beam ready to go. Alright. What's... what's the... what's the final thing? Had to load... Th Excuse me? Whoa! <laughs> what? The hell? What, the, what is this? What? What? What is happening? What? What do you mean? What is this? What is happening? Is Wispy Woods out for revenge? What on earth is this? Oh my god, is it because they're apples? God, what the... What, you, what is happening? Oh, I gotta break these. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Can't believe I saw that. Alright, uh... God, what is this franchise? This is the most insane franchise of all time. Oh, it's... It's playing crowned a little bit. Oh, uh oh. Oh, this is a Mark... Oh, this is a Mark's move, right? Yeah, it's a Mark's move. Oh man, I only got like a third of the health? Alright. There's no way I'm winning this. Oh, pause, thank you. Those who wear the Master Crown will gain power, but so will the darkness in their hearts. Thanks to the red fruit. Oh my god, it's because the the apple had a crown on it. Called the Tree Crown. Wait. From a wrathful wreath, a destroyer called the Tree Crown without a ruler. Oh. Oh. They turned Wispy Woods into a god. I'm I love this so much. Yep. 
Do I have to start back at the previous fight? Oh, thank God. Okay. I don't even really have, like, time to charge my moves. I should be well equipped for it. I shouldn't need to have to go back and grind for, uh, for what I have going on here, I don't think. The Surge still does, like, really good damage. That's not good. Clearly, this is because the crown absorbed the power of premium currency. Can't believe freemium games are the sacred to true power all along. God. Yeah, I guess it, it, this also... Oh, I didn't realize it's a wreath over Ted. I thought it was just a normal... Oh, oh. This is all tied into Kirby Clash somehow. Where Magalore was in and nice for some reason. Somehow. I guess that's the deep floor. We're gonna make Kirby Clash canon. I gotta just really stay shielded up. No, I wanted to dash. I wanted to dash. Okay, I saw the shadow. Jesus Christ. Ho ho! Jesus! That was terrifying. <laughs> I love this so much. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. Jesus! That was crazy! That's it. We beat the tree? Wow! Uh, that shot! Oh, that shot was so- the shot is sick! Bro! <laughs> That's so cool. But I'm gonna die again. <laughs> Bro, come on now. <laughs> what do you what do you mean, bro? Oh. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> my god. That was amazing. I thought there was gonna be another phase, but... Oh... That's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and he shed a little tear. Dude. Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good. Oh. Oh, man. That was incredible. That was so good.
Oh, that was eight hours worth it. Yeah, I'm not, uh... I ain't gonna not pay attention. <laughs> it- it put- Sonic Frontiers pulled the same thing! <laughs> and it was amazing there, too. Yeah, I'm watching pictures. So what do we think overall? I mean, yeah, awesome. Um, the main game was always great. This mode was way better than I thought. I, I'm gonna go back and try to platinum and max out my character for the most points. Um, I'm still deciding whether or not I want to stream the other stuff. I don't know. Um, I haven't done any of the minigames yet. There's extra mode. There's the arena. I still have to do all that stuff. But apparently True Arena has more stuff. So I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'll think about it. Um... The thing is, a lot of the remaining stuff is going to be very grindy, because I'm going to need to... There's ten minigames, and apparently a lot of missions, so that's going to be very grindy. Arena is going to end up being very grindy if I die, so it may not make for as interesting of a stream. So, I may not, honestly. The game's difficulty, the main game is, is very easy. Um... So the main d game, you don't have to really worry about difficulty, besides maybe end game. Uh, but there are harder difficulties. Especially this. This got pretty tough. Now, that's the thing. If the, if the remaining modes... If the remaining modes weren't grindy, I would consider um, streaming them. And I'm fine with grindy content, but... I don't think it'll make for an exciting stream if I'm just doing the 10 minigames over and over again and fighting the same bosses over and over again. Um, so, like, I think if everybody's just waiting for the, like, a reaction to the final boss of True Arena, I don't know. Also, someone said there's an extra level that I have to get. Yeah, Hidden Hal Room. I figured there'd be a Hal Room in this. Oh, is this Kirby Clash music? I don't remember the music from Kirby Clash. There's not a different final boss. The only changes are quite small. Okay, I'm hearing the music now. There you go, okay. I'm almost have to just pull up a video of the final boss, if it's just that. Because everyone wants to see it. Oh, Goodfield got credited, that's cool. Oh, Rick! Let's go. So yeah, this ties into Kirby Clash, which is, is kind of cool. That explains why uh, Maglor became good, randomly, and now has a green outfit. The true arena version of Maglor Soul is giga buffed. It's gonna be so grindy. If anything, if the final boss is different, I might pull up a video, which I'm gonna end up seeing it anyway. Um, but just for the sake of not having such repetitive content. I don't want to sit uh, at this desk again for another eight hours. Very nice. See you around. And now, now he's off to sell things with actual human money with microtransactions. <sighs> Just because. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I wonder how uh, Magalor learned about economics to actually charge actual money for things. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, I can stop recording the footage. Okay. 
so what what is left for 100 percent there's the challenge rooms um all of extra mode arena and true arena and then all the challenges there um i'll ask again if, if, there, if there's such a desire just to see one specific part of the true arena i could just load up a video um because I'm going to see it anyway. It's not like I'm not going to. Let's see. Uh, Thirteen hours ago, by a Weebo, no damage. Is it just the final boss? Let's see here. Do I have a thing ready to go? No, that's the stream. Let me. Uh, There you go, I can full screen it. So let's do this. I'm doing this on the fly, so it's gonna be a little scuffed. Okay. Uh, let me stop the audio for the game. Only because everyone wants to see a reaction to this. Alright, so we're gonna change that. Oh, uh, yes. Window capture. Okay. So this is on the, the YouTube channel Aweebo. Shout out to you. I think I'm subscribed to this guy. He does a lot of good footage stuff. Sorry, this is not professional. I was not planning on doing it. And if this is not it, just let me know. And we'll find we'll find the thing that we need. Oh music's still on. Oh that's why. Apologies, we should be good now. Uh, are we good? Are we good? Okay. I know what the mistake was, cool. Alright, let's see. I'm assuming if this isn't it, let me know. So this says, true Magalore soul boss fight. <clears throat> what is that? Was that, was the, was Popstar in the background before? Holy cow. Okay, this should be it. So all of his all of his moves were buffed out. I'm seeing a new mask. That's kind of cool. He's way faster. Jesus Christ! If this guy, if this guy gets the dream buffet, I'm gonna get so mad. Oh, it's the Star Allies rendition. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I wouldn't have pieced that together. That's cool though. Stone is an interesting get for True Arena. But it does a lot of damage. There's a change to its phase two. Yeah, the pop star being in the portal thing. Is it getting closer? It's very much like Forgotten Land was, which is kind of cool. There's the Magalor one. Let's see. Yeah, the beams are faster. Yeah, I never got the fish sword either. That's upsetting. Jesus. Oh, he got it. This pe this piece of garbage. He got it. He he do it. Mmm. For a split second, he got it. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Garbage game. Good for you, Oweebo. Swear to God. Did I get the fish sword? Oh, the, 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 yeah, that one. Not the, um... Not with the actual sword. What? Oh. 
We're big dark matter. Sand! <laughs> oh! They called upon the sand. I'm telling you, bro. Sand is, uh, is all powerful. That's what I keep saying. Guns? What, okay, was any of this in the original? Because I do not remember how different Magalore Soul was. But this does not ring a bell. Yeah, that's Mecha too. Oh yeah, because it's Mecha. Holy cow. That's cool. That's so cool. Yeah, that's just Sand and Mecha. That's sick. I've said this before in videos, but I adore when bosses use the powers that you have. I always think back about Wario from Mario Land 3 or 2. Love that. Boy, that's great. Oh, oh, and the other's it's using the super fire. Yeah, and the portal is just getting closer. I wonder if this is a time. It'd be. Oh God. I wonder if this is a timed thing. I always think back about like the nightmare battle in Adventure that was kind of timed. I doubt it, but. Also, for those who are coming in, again, I'm not playing this. <laughs> this is a video by Oweebo, because uh, I don't have the time or patience to do to get through True Arena right now. Yeah, I can see why they picked Stone. It's immune to everything. How long does this stay inverted? There you go. It's barely done any damage, either. Man, yeah. This would have not been good for me to stream, because I would have realistically gotten mad... And then just been replaying this on loop and showed frustration, and I don't want to do that. Is there anything else? Uh, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, and the stone is just sitting there. This is good advice for me. Where if you take too long, Kirby tussles the ground and dies. Yeah, it'd be cool if there was something like that again, because there was a good lot of pressure there, but... Because in my mind, I'm picturing the portal just getting too big and engulfing everything, but... Juggling quicker. And bigger enemies. The music got faster. I might have to listen to the song when I'm not playing the game. I can't tell if the music has weird backing to it, or if it's the, uh, the compression with this video. It's running at 720 or at 1080, but it's still looking a little crusty. That just could have just been him. Okay. Let's watch the end of this. During the song, you can hear Magalore's cries for help. That's crazy. Oh. Is that two Popstar or a portal that just happens to be on top of Popstar? Could that have implications now for the next game? That'd be cool. You can hear Magler saying help Kirby in the background. Oh my god. God, these, these guys. Alright, and then it just ends. Ooh. That's a good fanfare. Alright, shout out to Oweebo. Good job, dude. Okay, remember to put that in your video? Yeah, I have a lot to go over, clearly. Um, okay. <sighs> Let me, uh... Alright. Well then, it's been quite the stream. Oh, uh, the pause me screen for the boss? Uh, is it, is it just more like really sad lore well we at least got uh we at least got the main the the chunk of this game out of the way i won't stream this again um but i i'm, I'm gonna go through everything else over the weekend get this video cranked out as fast as i possibly can 
try to not miss anything. I learned a lot of good info from you guys telling me in the chat, so thank you. Um, eight and a half hour long stream. Holy, my throat is destroyed. Um, <clears throat> but I appreciate all the support. This is crazy. You will likely not see another eight hour stream for a long time. Uh, I have pizza in the other room that I'm about to go demolish. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I told, I told guys at the start that I was going to play through the whole game. I wasn't lying. Um, and now I'm, yeah, now I'm going to go relax and probably play more. I'm going to probably do the minigame stuff right when we're done with this. Um, but, uh, yeah. Stay tuned for more videos and more shorts and I'll stream on here again and all that fun stuff. This, this video is the next, is this the next one in the works? Yes, this video is the next one in the works and it'll be done soon. Um, but yes, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great night and a great weekend. And if you're playing Kirby, <clears throat> tag me on Twitter. My throat is shot. I'm gonna go. Bye, everyone.